membership I appreciate that. Bradford, hello. Good morning. Wherever you happen to be. Good morning, good evening, good night. I'll say them all. Because I don't know where the hell you are. But we are here in Stratford, Connecticut, 1031 AM. And there's a very special reason we're here this early. 
Because, let me tell you. Dump, triple. There it is, Gru. Gru with the triple pig. That's a 64x win. That's what could happen. That's how dreams are made. Here on WPIG 1651. Supporting your gambling addiction every day. Big up, screw. But anyways, we started early today because, honestly, let me tell you a quick business story because we got to get right the fuck to it. Because I thought this was a small topic. I picked it, I found this topic, and I said, you know what? This is small. So yeah, this is perfect. A little time, I'll put it together, and then we'll do this little quick plunge, and then we'll get to the normal, you know, pre-show style music. This topic got deeper and deeper and deeper, and I wanted to start early to make sure we have enough time to go through it all before I have to clock out and pick up my non declawed sons. So that's why we're here so early. Hey, strap in, right? Strap in, strap in, because you need to for this one. It's a, it's a, a winding road we're about to go down. As you know, this is part of our WPIG uh, iceberg. And all, those, all the things you've seen on your screen have already been covered on this channel. All those are commands you can put in the chat to figure out, uh, you know, if you want to watch those videos. Also, in the commands, uh, in the commands, commands, I'll put in chat now, all the links are there as well. Monkey Spank, getting pulled by minus five stars. Four Gout Crystal Monkey Spank. Nice pull there. Uh, so today we're going to cover East Coast Customs. And I already pretty much know this is going to go to the bottom. But we're going to, you know, we'll see what everyone thinks first. It's going to be close to the bottom, I can tell you that. Because this is a deep fucking topic that goes very deep. But a lot of people know about it too. So, you know, how deep do we go? That's what we're here to figure out, right? It's what we're here to figure out together positively. All right, quick business style announcements. Another business style announcement is now you can change the person behind the chat. You can do change Jenna to get a nice Jenna pick up there. Don't prove me wrong now. It's not an intro outro any vision. Oh, you know what? I got to move away this. Thank you. Thank you, Kat, for telling me that. Let me put away our iceberg. And now I can change Jenna. Thank you so much for that, Kat. But always let me know what I can and cannot do. You should see Jenna pop up there. Or there's Officer Sanders. Excuse me. You can also do change dudes because there's not so many dudes. So I had to put them in a uh, kind of combination. Let's do change dudes. Now we're going to get a dude coming out behind the chat. Wanted to make sure. And who is this? We got a nice Rambo. And you could also do a change random, which will give you a random collection. Could be anybody here coming in hot here. I believe. There we go. And we got a change random. And that is a very hard to see Jenna in the house. There we go. Cool. Also, of course, we do, of course, always have barrel roll. Which is very stupid. Very meaningful, though. Meaningful and stupid. <laughs> and new addition is Titus. If something funny happens, you could say Titus, and Titus will come up. <laughs> That's not free, though, because it could be spammed. I think it's a thousand. I'm not sure. It's in the commands. But, anyways, enough commands. Let's get to it. Cust East Coast Customs. East Coast Customs is here. <laughs> And I'm changing it back to Cat because I feel comfortable. I feel more comfortable with her watching. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get into it. We're going to be here a fucking while. I have more tabs on my screen than I ever have before, before we started a plunge. So let's get right to fucking <laughs> Those aren't free, by the way. Don't, that is costing something. Uh, anyways, let's go. So, we're going to start in 2009. Can you believe it? We're going to go to 2009. And we're going to talk, uh, to start with, we're going to show you a little bit of history of, now I think it's already 5,000 Lemtex. So, I mean, if people want to spend that kind of coin, go ahead. But not everyone has that much anymore. Uh, so, anyways, let's get to it. This is Darkseid Phil talking about his custom Xbox 360 a uh, joystick. This is Mar uh, May 31st, 2009. Okay, a very old video here. Let's get to it. Uh, by the way, all of these videos today, uh, were most of the videos we're going to see today were from the King of Hate HD, which is the channel that if you go to, it looks like there's no videos there. But alas, they are there. Uh, but they are kind of uh, region blocked very oddly. And apparently, according to people on the agriculture website, there's only three countries that can visit. It's Kosovo, uh, somewhere else, and somewhere else. Very obscure countries. Uh, and I, my VPN does not have an option to go to those countries, but you can still download them if you have the link. So this was some severe, severe archaeology done by your boy here for this episode. Uh, I, had to I had to find all the links 
and then download all the videos and then upload them to WPIG channel to be able to watch them uh, because the, you can't see them any other way uh, because all the King of Hate HD is gone. Um, but anyways, enough of my rigmarole. Let's get to it. Our first video today is Dark Side Phil's custom Xbox 360 joystick uh, from 2009. Let's go. I've got something that I would like to show you that I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, it's actually what I used yesterday at the tournament in Stratford Street Fighter 4. Shout out to Stratford. This is my custom Hori Real Arcade Pro joystick for Xbox 360. And Shout out to Blanca. See, there's a lot of modifications to it. Um, this originally started out as a Hori uh, Real Arcade Pro EX for the 360. Okay. And uh, I did some modifications, so just to kind of show you. First of all, new top, and as you can see, custom art created custom just art. for this stick. Um, custom art created just for the stick. Okay. Um, these buttons are not the original stock button. These are Sanwa replacement buttons. Sanwa. As you see, I have removed the two extra buttons that would normally be on the right-hand side here, Whoa. which sometimes are very annoying. Um, the joystick itself. Yeah, that, that's the that's what I'm getting at, Pandaria and other people. The custom art, meaning I Googled this art and found it, and that's custom, right? Right? That's going to be a big part of the story today. Self is the original stock stick that was in here. However, I replaced the ball top, the gray ball top, with a uh, <laughs> green, green ball top. Green and ball uh, top. as you can see right there, got my little DSP logo on there. That's, a That's that qualifies as a DSP logo in 2009, my friends. <laughs> That's the DSP logo. Sound good? <laughs> It's a plexiglass top. So I just wanted to kind of show everyone. A lot of people always ask, hey, Phil, what stick do you use? Well, this is now going to be the stick I'm going to use whenever I'm playing on Xbox 360. Whoa. Uh, how did I do it? How? Where did I get the parts? Where? Uh, what kind of work goes into creating a custom stick Yeah, like this? what? Well, what kind of work goes into that? This is pretty much just a preview because what I'm going to do is eventually put up a series of videos on this new channel, which is the King of Hate HD, Ooh, big ups. Uh, where I'm not going to have gameplay footage. I'm going to have all kinds of different stuff. Uh, uh, and the first series of videos that I'm going to make is going to be how to make your own custom joystick for Whoa, fighting games. Cool. Uh, and I'm actually what I'm going to do is modify my PS3 uh, real uh, real arcade pro stick to also have custom art and custom uh, pieces. Sounds good. And when I Sounds do very that, positive. I'm going to actually do it with a, a friend of mine, and we're going to make a video series of step by step how to do it. So you will be able to create your own custom stick, cool. hopefully after uh, that series is completed. So uh, that's it. Just just wanted to kind of show you guys what I play on. Uh, I really do like the Sanwa buttons a hell of a lot better than those stock Hori buttons that were in there. They're a lot more responsive. They uh, they go up and down a lot more quickly, and they <laughs> actually have more of a, a blocked off edge as opposed to a rounded. I got more of a blocked off edge. <laughs> edge at the top of the button so you pretty much when you press it you know it's gonna fucking come out now of course when you press it you know it's gonna come out okay <laughs> sound good can't complain about not coming out then right doesn't actually do much for online play since online uh oh never mind he's gonna correct himself doesn't here doesn't actually do much for online play since online play sucks monkey tits and has oh. lag has dropped inputs all the time which oh. is why you're still going to probably hear me complain as I play oh. the game but uh. this is pretty much the best you can get right now for a joystick for Street Fighter so uh, I will uh, talk to you guys again soon uh, regarding starting that custom series alright sound good so there's the start there's the start we know he can do it now we're going to go to those videos. He did not lie about that. He's going to show those videos. Let's see how much Phil does in these videos. Again, I have not watched these. I really wanted to be, you know, discover along with you here. Uh, it's a tough dance to go to like kind of watch and know what we're talking about and also kind of try to be surprised too because I want to learn as well. I think that's kind of the most cool way to do this. But here is, here's the logo. Let me show it to you. East Coast Customs. This is the start. Now we're going to uh, the the same year, uh, this is November 19th of 2010, sorry, next year, uh, November 19th, 2010, uh, this is how, this is when he's starting the East Coast Customs, which is a business that he makes to sell these things, and uh, we're going to go through everything, we're going to go through everything, let's watch it here. Here, and uh, we are going to show you, at least from our own experiment trying to do this, um, <laughs> how to make your own custom artwork and how to upgrade a joystick with a professional grade. <laughs> Whoa, so look at that logo, dude. To doing anything like this is if you... Whoa, look at that logo. That was pretty hype. <laughs> Ready? 
a joystick with uh, professional grade parts. So step one to doing it. Yeah, so these videos are not on YouTube. They're not They're not on YouTube. They're still, they're avail They're on his this King of Hate HD, but you can't watch them outside of those three countries. So uh, here we go. This is fresh for, for, this is fresh for me. And I'm assuming most people except outside of the most epic lore masters. But here we go. Anything like this is if you want custom art, obviously you have to do some image manipulation and some funky stuff in Photoshop. It has to be Photoshop. Don't try to do it with another program. You're just going to have problems, especially because it has to be Photoshop. You cannot do it with other other programs. Okay, so we're going to see Phil Burnell use Photoshop, something that I thought I would never see. Let's see. Most of the templates. How about uh, what paint from Windows Paint? You could do it in paint. It's only going to take you five years to <laughs> edit it. So, um, <laughs> the first thing you need is a template. Now, like we've been saying, we're actually. That was Cell phone. Special or a standard edition Street Fighter 4 uh, joysticks from last year. And there are templates on the internet for doing this. What I'm going to do, we actually have the template here. We're going to put it up on the website, uh, kingofhate.com, on the forum. Big ups, so kingofhate.com. Find this. There's actually going to be a thread that we're going to create up there, kind of documenting this step by step in this video series. So, anyway, here's the template it's a .psd file, which is a Photoshop file. Uh oh. What you're gonna this is a rare shot of Phil on the computer. <laughs> what happens when you open up your Photoshop is it's going to have a, looks like a blank top of a joystick. Uh, see, so it would, the top of your What is this picture, by the way, on the right? What is that? <laughs> is that fan art? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> your joystick layout, this is where your turbo buttons, your guide button and stuff like that are. Your joystick Currently itself, 40 this likes second. and climbing. It'd be great if we could get a bunch because we have almost 200 viewers. It'd be great if we could get some more likes. It helps the stream and the channel in general for discoverability purposes, okay? Thank you, Phil. ring is the dust cover of the joystick, and then your standard eight button layout. Now you can choose to do eight buttons if you want. You can do a six button stick. In this case, what we've chosen to do is we're like do a six button if we get 100, I don't know why people would come and enjoy the stream and not like it. That's just really weird. That is really weird. Because that's the standard for tournaments. That way you don't have extra button drafts. And that like imagine having that as your desktop. I mean, seriously, like, <laughs> like, come on. When you're trying to do stuff. Um, so what do you do with this template once you have it? What do right, you do with it? The first thing you need to do is you need to get artwork. And okay, artwork. Case, How do you get this artwork? It's custom, right? Who do you, who do you commission to get this artwork, Phil? We had several pieces of high quality artwork, which we were able to scan and create digital copies of and uh, get them oh. on the computer. So for example, what I will show you here is this image. Wow. Once it was scanned, very high quality scan. Beautiful. That's pretty hype. Who made that? I wonder. It just so happens I have a really high quality scanner, really random, but most scanners these days are pretty decent. So for this, for these intents and purposes, unless you're trying to make a stick that's like this fucking big. Uh, I might have to say body emoji, guys. It's kind of annoying with, with, with slots, but what do you guys think? I'll do a poll. Emoji, yes or no? There's the poll. You know, Enjoy. standard scanner should work. So here you go. How do you do this? How do you get this to work? Well, the first thing you want to do is you have to open your artwork, okay? So you're going to go file open. File open. Here we go. Your artwork is this is like one of those tutorials you see on YouTube. That's awesome. Okay, let's see how Phil does his tutorial. Computer, which now I don't remember. <laughs> Joystick logo is an art. It's in there somewhere. Okay. It was, here it is, image two. Okay? Now. I know just from my head that this page is bigger. It's like eight and a half by eleven, which is a standard sheet. The standard. I know that just by my head. I know that just by my the head. Joystick from Mad Cats is eight and a half by eleven. It'll okay. Cool. Guys, seventy paper. likes. If you're having so, a good time tonight. You give the stream a like. We hit a hundred likes. We'll do a celebratory bubble blow. That would be swell if you could do that. Skip right over sixty. Thanks everybody. Need to manipulate the size of this image whatsoever. But if you have a smaller picture, one that wasn't filling a full sheet like this, you may need to blow up the size of your picture. Whoa! Um, to do blow that, it up. <laughs> Let's the blow image, the roof off. Image size, and then right here it'll actually tell you what the size of your picture is. It says right here it's eight and a half by eleven, and you can manipulate it to become eight and a half by eleven. That's all you need to do to get that picture to be the right size. Okay. Now what we actually need to do here is rotate this because as you can see, it's not the proper. <laughs> orientation it's portrait <laughs> not landscape so we're going to actually rotate this which here we go image rotate canvas we'll do it 90 degrees clockwise and then we have a nice picture that'll be superimposed onto there now cool this is the step that no all right one four three I'm, it's interesting but i'm kind of getting bored and we have so much more to get through no one tells you how to do it, and it pisses me off because the other day john and i were trying to figure this out and we couldn't figure it out i had to fart for around for a half hour to figure it out i had to fart around for half an hour to figure this out let's see what happens i know the zoom on the camera is so crazy like zzz. 
How do you get this picture on top of this joystick? Yeah, how do you get that happen? Yeah. He was farting around with this. You go up here to layer, duplicate layer, and what this will do, it's gonna say save as background. Excuse me, sir, I can't see that. What are you doing? Copy, that's correct. You want this picture to become the background for your joystick. And it's gonna say, on what document do you want to do that? You actually select the name of the template, which is the Mad Cat's Fight Stick Panel Template. Hit OK. Excuse and me, sir. See, what it just did is it super wow. pulls that onto there. Now what you're gonna do is click on there, okay? So this is now your joystick artwork. You can just by clicking on it and then pressing your down arrow, you can actually move the artwork as you see I'm doing right now. I'm actually adjusting the orientation of the artwork. Whoa. I'm get to reuse face a little bit lower. Maybe I want some of this more on the top to show. Maybe I want, you know, more Captain Commando's head to be visible. So you can move that around. That's always important to get Captain Commando showing. Edge of your artwork. You don't want to be printing out blank or gray. <laughs> so for example, we'll just adjust this just a tiny bit here. And I think that's good enough right there. So let's say, okay, you know, I got Strider's face now is out. Ryu, I got all the Street Fighter characters down here. This is good. This is, you know, what I want. But let's say that you do not want an eight button stick. Let's say that for whatever reason you want a six button stick. Or yeah, I want forth. six what buttons. What you do is over here you're going to have a little window that floats around in Photoshop. This is called your layers, okay? <laughs> what this is showing you is there's actually several layers of art that are laying on top of each other right now. Just think of it like a sandwich. There's a bottom piece of bread, a couple pieces of meat, cheese, Swiss cheese, and then a top piece of bread. So they're all. <laughs> think of it like a sandwich. Like it's not wrong, but it's just funny. <laughs> think of it like a sandwich. <laughs> think of it like a sandwich. <laughs> Oh, come on. ...of each other right now. Just think of it like a sandwich. There There's a go. bottom piece of bread, a plumple piece of meat, cheese, Swiss cheese, <laughs> and a top piece of bread. So they're all stacked in this order. Basically, the background's at the bottom. Your okay. Your cover is next. Then your openings, which are your openings for the holes. And then Work. there's the negative, which is the actual blank template. So what you're going to do is click on the layer. This is openings. And what you've basically done now is you've selected these circles, the buttonholes. And by hitting this magic wand icon up here, what you can actually do is hit whatever you don't want. So if, let's say, eh, I don't need this extra button. You highlight it. It's a magic wand, dude. And it goes away. And you can do the same thing here. You hit it, press delete, and it goes away. And then by just clicking one more time, we'll get rid of that outline. Now you have a six button stick layout ready to go. Um, awesome. What I recommend you do is you can print this like we've done. I can show you. We actually printed this last week uh, on a regular piece of paper. But I don't have a very good printer, so it comes out pretty crappy. Uh, you know, all curled and everything. The colors aren't very vibrant because Ooh. that's just my printer. What you're going to want to do is save this file <laughs> as a PSD file, which is a standard oh. Photoshop style file, so that you can bring this Pho to Photoshop style file. Got big ups. Photoshop style files. 80 likes, everyone. 20 more to hit 100. That's the goal for the night. Oh, don't do this to me. I downloaded this shit for a reason. What are we at? In this file, as a PSD file, which is a standard Photoshop style file, so that you can Photoshop print this style. to your regular Kinko's, FedEx, wherever has a really high quality printer so they can print this out for you. So I'm going to go file, save as, save as the template. I just, incidentally, I've already saved this template, so I'm not going to save it, but I'm going to save it here. And uh, what you would do is you'd save it to a thumb drive, such as this one. Bring it to your Kinkos, and when you get there, what you're going to want to do is go to Just one of the uh, computers with a high quality <laughs> printer. Explain to them I'm looking to print out some high quality art on. Uh, on <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm looking. I'm looking to print out some high quality art. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm looking to print out some high quality art. High quality printer. Explain to them I'm looking to print out some high quality art on uh, on like a high a thicker stock paper, a matte paper possibly. And thicker get stock, better high quality paper. <laughs> and you're going to go ahead and basically print this out onto that paper. <laughs> if you talk to a lowly employee. If you talk to a lowly police, don't talk to them. Ask them for the manager and say you want high quality art as opposed to the low quality art they sometimes print. Until, you know, it's to your liking. And it should be a lot more. As you can see how vibrant the colors are on the screen. That should be how it comes out if you print it on a high quality printer on the right kind of paper. So it's vibrant, bro. That is it for step one, basically making your art. Keep in mind great guys, stuff you our goal do. is 100 <laughs> likes on the stream. We're at 90. Go on, we get 10 more likes, please. Please. You know, like you have a logo, as you can superimpose certain things over other things. All you need Whoa. to do is drag that art into Photoshop, like I did with this. Uh -huh. Layer, duplicate layer. It'll show up uh, as a layer listed here on your your picture, and then you just drag it up and down. So, for example, oh, I want my background to be on top of everything. You can drag it up, and it blocks everything, covers everything. So, if you want nice logo you want to put in the corner, you just yeah. make a duplicate layer and you drag it to the top here, and it'll show up on the top, and then you can move it around to wherever you want. So, okay, I know this is great. a really quick tutorial, but it's just the very basics. Um, we just learned how to do some of this like five minutes ago with the logo stuff. <laughs> It's hit or miss. Sometimes you're gonna find there's files that you want to do stuff with. When you click it, the whole program errors out. That's just the nature of, uh, of uh, photo <laughs> editing. <Trailer. laughs> I don't know if that's true. Is it some? <laughs> click it, the whole program uh -huh. errors out. That's just the nature of, uh, of uh, photo editing. It's trial and error, I guess. A lot of yeah, trial and error. Trial and error. Do it and, and toughen through it. But. Just just try all the fucking files you can. You don't need to search anything. Just try files, and some of them don't work. Some of them fucking close it down. <laughs> so you'll figure it out. Yeah, it is 1.3 speed. That's the basics of step one. Uh, we're actually going to probably head out to Kinko's, try to print out some of the yeah. artwork here on map paper, and then we're going to do what's called a Oh, puzzle, puzzle. We'll talk a little bit about that in the next step when we get to it. So, see you later.
All right, so we're getting the, the knowledge here. We see how they're putting it together, and I love how, keep in mind, keep in mind, they keep saying, make the art. They will keep saying, make the art, make the art, make the art, okay? You, you decide how much art they're making here as we go. Uh, so here we go. Next one. This is only two minutes. Another. This is step two. Lammy labeling the artwork. Same day. Shout out to the tree decorator. Don't know who that is. All right, so we just got back from FedEx Kinko's, which is now called FedEx Office. They've uh, ousted the Kinko's name. <laughs> and what we did, here's what we did. We said, listen, we have these 8 by 5 uh, eight and a half by 11 um, pictures that we... Whoa, the, the, the puzzle piece is gone? Did I miss it? Listen, we have these 8 by 5 uh, uh, I miss, Oh, it's just sped up. Shout outs to the speed up. Look at these. Look at these uh, production style decisions that Phil is making. They're, they're sped up style what we did we said listen we have these eight by five uh, eight and a half by eleven um and by the way look at this art like it's whatever but like that is so like you know phil right now is 2010 so that would make him you know damn near 30 you know and it's like come on man is this kind of art you're gonna have i know he's selling it so i guess he's selling it to a different audience that he knows is fucking younger but all right pictures that we want to print out on high quality paper but we all that's one of those pictures fly those fucking posters you see at college when you know first year college freshmen come in like yeah you got my poster dude it's hot you know it's like all right so want to create them on llama label and what they said there was well we don't have an eight and a half by 11 llama label we have an 11 by 17 i said well that's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to trim these anyway we don't need the full size we're going to trim these anyway we need the full size i downloaded this you have to play this part of your job hello all right so all right. We don't need the full size. And what she actually was able to do, the woman there for us, she put two on one. Oh, I'm sure that woman was loving this. <laughs> I'm sure the poor woman. Where is she? <laughs> Excuse me. Can you look at these? Uh, Land me label, please. Thank you. It's very serious. It's high quality. Okay. So. <laughs> it's pretty damn sweet. Uh, as you oh, can it see, was this sweet. John's perverted <laughs> stick. It's classy. Oh, that's John's stick. John, come on. Which was pretty damn sweet. Uh, as you can see, this is John's perverted stick. It's classy. Which once we mod this fully with the buttons, the color, everything, it's going to be for, pretty uh, sweet. Your mother, grandmother, your aunt. <laughs> any, any woman in your family for Christmas. Oh. That laugh you just heard was Howard's laugh. My God. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can see, this came out amazing. The artwork is super high quality. It's a glossy top. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and basically take a X-Acto knife, cut around around cut out the holes and when we peel off the backing it's supposed to actually have an adhesive backing on it it's like a big sticker basically oh hi uh, we got these two we got this one which we made for howard the don't blow this stick <laughs> commemorative of uh so don't blow this real quick for anyone that doesn't know is the website that howard made to um to kind of show to record uh fighting game matches and stuff and tournaments and film it so that was don't blow this.com was their website and also youtube channel a uh, twitch channel excuse me getting his arcade set up and the stream going and then of course we have the Mega Man stick over here which you can't there you go which you've already seen but it looks really nice on this laminate sheet really high quality so <laughs> <laughs> Now, the cool thing was, guess how much all this cost us? How much? Less than $15. We were able to get all this for $13.50, a really good deal. But, Phil, if I want to make my own, how do I go about doing that? That's what we're doing. Oh, Bearded Howard, shout outs. That's a rare sight, isn't it? <laughs> That's what we're doing this for. Really? Yeah. It's a video shower. Actually, we already made part one where we showed how to superimpose the art on the so template. <laughs> oh, this looks to be Howard's house, maybe, then, I guess. I guess. <laughs> so, behind, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start disassembling the sticks, uh, which we will show you in the next part. We just wanted to show you what the art looked like when we got it back from Kinko, so we'll be back in a second. All right. We're going to get back. We're going to be back in a second as well. And this is part three, joystick preparation. All he did was he took the four big major screws out of the back of this. That's how it starts, by the way. It's just literally boom. All right, Yo, so what Howard has done all... <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Dude, I'm an alcoholic. This is Sparta! No! Big up J-Dog says, he always sounds insufferably smug in old vlogs. Oh, yeah, because he was. Because he fucking was. Shout out to Cinnamon and Raisin, by the way. Legends forever. Rest in peace. All he did was he took the four big major screws Thank out of the back of this. Thank you very much for the engagement head. today. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. It's time. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your fucking butts. <laughs> now you can shut up about the bubbles.
That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. Kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. SE edition stick. This is what the sucker looks like on the inside. The good thing about these is that everything is color coded. Whoa. Which I love about these sticks. Everything, you know, if you know that this is your button has yellow wires, you write down yellow is this button. Actually, such you don't need such. to do that. If you, uh, can you zoom in? Sure. Between the, the wires right here, Jesus. there's labels. Like Get out of here. X, Y, A, B, <laughs> start. No, ha Phil, you're wrong. Here. I select it. Wow. So I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, so you don't really... If you, Great tutorial. If you look all the way in there, in the middle of the two... Uh, oh, in, you can't see yeah. on the camera, but there's, you can see A right there. That is... It actually has a letter of the button on there. <laughs> so what you would just write is like A, black. So you know the black... Oh, black. Black wires yeah. go to that. Why black. Why does red shit all over everything, Howard? It's a security thing, so then they know that if you were to open it and start fucking with it. Yeah. Wow. There isn't any words in the first place. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are we going to do? This is going to be the Mega Man stick. This all right. This is... Yeah, so what we're going to do... Yeah, maybe that's why Howard's not Phil's friend right there. We just saw it. Debunking Phil live. Oh, we're not friends. <laughs> we're going to replace these with Sanwa buttons, yeah. and we're going to replace it. Should we do a Samitsu or a, or a Sanwa joystick for the Mega Man? For, this, is a this is a 360 stick. I've never oh. done this, so uh, I've, I've modded these things, but I've never done the art on these things, so this is the first time for all of us. Right, exactly. Oh, so I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> so, so what I'm photo. going to do is... You remove the ball top. You remove the... Yeah. <laughs> Phil's just saying, like, literally, I, I tutorial, remove the ball tap. Uh, Dust gonna, cover. I'm going to try to see if I can peel this artwork off. Well, actually, actually, from, uh -oh. what, from what I saw online, a guy doing it, he <laughs> took his X-Acto knife and he took one of the long blades in here. Long blades? There's a long blade, this one, the broad one. Oh, shit. Broad. And what he did, he stuck it under the edge here, and he was able to slowly lift up this, and then he was able to peel it from the corner. The Whoa. Off, but you gotta take the buttons out first before you be able to do that. Okay. Um, okay, I'm assuming... So they don't know what they're doing, is what I picked up so far. <laughs> this is the wrong one. It's gotta be, well, yeah, it's gotta fit one of those. Shit, I just realized I should have done this the other way. Oh, come on, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Shout-outs to Chris. Who's Chris? Don't say uh -oh. that. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, new, new character. We have a new, uh, someone in the running for the most niche cosplay character, Chris. No clue who that is. Chris. The blow is Chris. Chris. I'm dead. You know. <laughs> So now we're going to, I guess... Yep, just, well, do we need to write down what color goes to what? Uh, no, just, uh, look, just look on the reference. Oh, that's right, we're not going to disconnect from down here. Yeah, so. Mario guy's OJ, so it's not OJ. But if you've seen Chris, then, hey, Pandaree says she's seen Chris, so... I, I respect that, but from where? Who's no, Chris? Yeah, just That'll be easy. I think... Do they Liquid have, do Chris. They have, shit. Are we going to remember, though, what goes to what? Yeah, uh, just follow the map on there. Is there a map? We'll call, we'll call Howard over and over again. Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah, it's, it's all, it's all No, what I'm saying is, all right, so we know we're disconnecting green from here. And <laughs> Come green on. Is X, but how do we know that X is that button later? Well, just look at uh, the, the 360 remote. Yeah, X, 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 Y, Z. Uh, oh, yeah, the colors. Faces. It's the standard 360 yeah. layout. And then the triggers, right? Yeah, yeah. R, B, R, B, and RT are always uh, the f the last button. Right bumper is, is yeah. Yeah. heavy punch yeah, and right trigger. You, <laughs> right bumper. <laughs> Lunch meat sandwich. Call me crazy, but did Phil just say what the buttons do for no reason? Big ups, Swaggy Davis Jr. Love it. Good luck in your pull. And it is the Dead Sea Scrolls. Nice. Big pull. The, f the last button. The right bump. And then the triggers, right? Yeah, yeah. R, B, R, B, and RT are always uh, the, f the last button. The right bumper is, yeah. is yeah. heavy punch yeah. and right and trigger. You... Yeah, so why did he say... Why did he say... <laughs> Why the fuck did he say right, right, right? The trigger is heavy punch. Like, what is the what the button does matter there? Am I going crazy? Right bumper, right trigger. Yeah, <laughs> left bumper, left trigger. We're leaving out the left. Yeah, so you can just look at the uh, the art. We'll keep oh, the so art. You're gonna do a six buttons. Six yes. Buttons. All right. Yes, because we all know that uh, fighters are in eight buttons. That's right. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Was there an eight button? I'm sure there's been one or two. No. What? Do you play Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi? Oh, Kaiji? my God. That's <laughs> how so you have your uh, times three kick button and your, uh, your, your fucking... For cheaters. FADC button. If you're Van Geef, you need that extra button. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is an amazing tutorial. Now we're just, like, just having fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> is that true? You played on pad, I'm sure. I'm learning a lot from this. <laughs>
to use the shoulders. Right. You know? I don't fault him. It was legal in the I, tournament. I used the taunt button on my, my game. The, you know? the taunt button? Taunt button. That's excellent. Just the taunt button. Uh, macros are for... Macros are for all fun. Macros are for what? Say it, Howard. I'm gonna say nothing. I'm gonna Ooh. go Ooh. Ooh. Turban full of what? <laughs> Start that. Yeah. Macros are for Mexicans. He was gonna say... Holy sh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I heard turban? Way, we now have over 110 likes on the street. Did I, did I hear turban and then to the Mexican combo? Hold on a second. Uh, macros are for... Macros are for all fun. Macros are for what? Say it, Howard. I'm gonna say nothing. I'm gonna well, get I'm in trouble. Turban full of what? <laughs> <laughs> turban full of... Uh, okay, so he said turban full of something. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know it, get, know it enough to say what he's saying. But there was something turban. And then it goes into the Spanish, the, the Mexican comment. <laughs> so dead. Yeah. Macros are for Mexicans, he was going to say. <laughs> ah. ah, Mexican uppercut is an Alex Valle phrase. Thank you, Frankie the Wild. That's what we need you here for, brother. But turban full of, I don't, I don't get the turban comment. <laughs> The turban is, is a little bit different, right, Frankie? Didn't say himself. <laughs> Didn't say nothing. <laughs> you know, I have a poll up on my site, the top 10 most racist moments of this year. Yeah, mine came Yours up is there. definitely up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have seen that video before. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't put options up. I said just post up what your favorite one is. I'm going to say more racist ah. things. Than the so far. There we go. Rompo, Romp of Otter says, representing a turban full of bombs. And that does ring a bell. That does ring a bell. So that was it. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Pandari. Also, there we go. That's the turban full of something. So we've got Gangster Kitchen. We've got uh, the guy from Indigo Prophecy, the black, uh, I forget his name, Tyler Kane, I think his name is. No, no, Tyler something. He's the... the Tyler the, Rex. The, yeah, he, he basically, he hustles white people for money and then challenges mm -hmm. them to basketball games instead of paying them back. And he's always late for work and he sleeps with a white woman. Oh, and yeah. that's the game. <laughs> It's a racist stereotype. What else did I have in there? Because a black person sleeps with a white woman, that's racist. Is that what I'm to understand? <laughs> Let's just keep moving together positively. Yes. You're uh, 40, huh? No, these are not 40. What are these? Um, you know that old racist, you know that old trope of black people sleeping with white people? That's that's the old thing. That's the joke. Cats <laughs> brand. Yeah, these, they did not, yes, Hori did not make the buttons for the SE style stick. Made some, they didn't make the buttons. So Mad Cats made these fucking buttons? Yep. Yes, that's why they're shit. Daigo made these? They, br they break so easily after pressing them, it's so stupid. Yeah. It's you like a thumb thumb bootleg button, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're filming? Alright, 1.3. Uh, Howard just just learning they're filming right now because he's like, how could this be a fucking video? But it's going. Oh, uh, Reese's comments. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Make sure you don't see anybody. Get your fill for the year. Uh, I had my fill. Yeah, you reached your quota. <laughs> what was the other one? When I was playing Medal of Honor and I was acting like an Al Qaeda operative. <laughs> I heard about that. Classic. Never, hear the end of that. Never use hateful slurs except for when I was an Al Qaeda pretending I was an Al Qaeda operative. Gotta love that one. <laughs> you know who doesn't love that? You know. <laughs> 514, come on. All right, so. Uh, who doesn't love when he's at? So Al Qaeda operative. Uh, racist comments. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. You don't say anybody. You've had your fill for the year. Uh, I had my fill. Yeah, you reached your quota. <laughs> what was the other one? When I was playing Medal of Honor and I was acting like an Al Qaeda operative. <laughs> I heard about that. Dude, you'll never hear the end of that. Welcome to Al Qaeda Cops. <laughs> Okay, I guess we removed everything. Right? All right. Now yeah, just ju yeah, just keep yeah, just do it again, just in case you forgot. Get the art off the top okay. of this guy. So he started from this corner. He went. He was actually started over there. He, he was trying to lift up this corner so he could start peeling. It is a thicker sticker, apparently. It's a thicker sticker. Mm -hmm. Howard, he cut himself. Don't cut towards Careful. Howard. Yeah. Get your hand out of there. Yeah, you, got you got a bleeder. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm, I'm fast forward. I'm going to 1.3. Annoying. Careful. Good shit. Can we watch this dance and how to the piano? Don't shut up. <laughs> All right, so you're dressing. You his, his new nickname on Xbox Live is. <laughs> it's, so it's what? We'll fix them for free. What? <laughs> you're a nice guy. What? Free is not for me, bro. <laughs> I come with a price. All right, not to get so deep with this early, but this laugh is such a. It's not that funny, but like, hey, we're laughing and having fun, right, guys? <laughs> I was like, come on, man. It's not that good. I know he's... Uh, <laughs> Free is not for me, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. Why is it going so slow? I download this shit. Piss me off.
All right, we're not going to stop at everything then. It's going to be like this. We have so much shit to get through. But that, that's, that's very bad, right? <laughs> it's so funny, dude. I'm losing it, dude. How many tabs open? It's fucking up. Freedom costs a buck of five. <laughs> How many times did I show up at your house with, with stuff to work Oh, with? shit, I broke it. Oh, come on! Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. He, he snapped the exacto knife. Damn. <laughs> oh, look. He snapped the edge right off. Oh, shit, and I got glued in here, did it? Might have got oh, glued yeah. in here, too. Okay, whatever. Remember, they're going to sell this money, by the way. They're going to sell this, by the way. That's coming up, but. <laughs> you do it. You're the fucking Hulk around here. Yeah, yeah. Put Rambo some the Hulk. fucking muscle behind that, baby. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. It is tough. So I'm trying to fucking peel the rest of it. <laughs> it's, been, it's been tough, dude. No, no, no. Don't pull that way. You gotta pull it. So you're gonna fight yourself if you fight on that corner there. Fuck. You're gonna fight yourself if you pull on that corner. Cock. <laughs> fucking cocks and dicks. Okay. Oh, say, say, your, say your catchphrase. Brick and nil. Say your catchphrase. No. Say your catchphrase. What am I? Just like a fucking Urkel? <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> this video is something, man. What the fuck is going on? All right. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. You yeah. got some progress. Nothing, Rambo. You're the best. Careful, yeah. careful, careful, careful. Not this guy, not this guy. Are you gonna return that exacto knife set? No. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. We you don't... ruined my plans, you dick. <laughs> he blew it. He blew it. No. <sighs> You know, Chris, you. you know what Chris's nickname is, right? What is it? Pirates. What? Because every every program that he owns a pirate. Wow. Whoa. Arr. You hear that, FBI? Thanks for that arg pirate sound. This is very cringe. Take that one off. Yo, ho, fiddle dee dee. <laughs> hey, FBI, you hear that? He plays the, the Lazy Town song on a loop. Oh. <laughs> Arr. They don't get that reference, the Lazy Town song. La is Lazy Town... I don't remember it. I never heard that band name before, but anyway, let's move together positively. Hey, it's all right. Why is this on Rambo? Because it's balls. It's such cock. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Like, you know how it's kind of thought of by everyone that, oh, Lazy Town's a kid's show, so I'm going to be thank you for that. <laughs> but, like, you know how everyone kind of thinks that Howard was the cool and funny one? But, like, the more I've seen this old stuff, like, Rambo's not that funny. You know, <laughs> like, in this case, too, he's like, just adding cocks to everything. Like, maybe it's just him, you know, going down to Phil's level. Like, he, this is not funny. <laughs> what? This is like cocks. He's randomly saying cocks. Rambo is a fucking man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rambo's fucking Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> nice. Look at that. So Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno taking heat now. We just gotta, we're gonna have to probably clean the stick. Scrape the glue. Yeah. Scrape it with your teeth. What? <laughs> Lick it. Look, look how ghetto these people are. They fucking they screw the the mounting bracket in and then they grind it down. Yeah. Yep. It's mad ghetto. Why? So mad that, ghetto. Uh, they don't have to uh, weld it. She's taking the stick out, dude. It's gonna come out anyway. All right. Yeah. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out anyway. What up? It's gonna come out. Clear the bathroom. Oh, fuck this. Oh my god. You got that, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's coming out. Clear the bathroom. That? <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's coming come out. out. Let's hear that again. I'm risking it. It's going to come out. Clear the bathroom. Very funny. Very chill. Dude, Don't... it's going to come out anyway. All right, yeah, it's going to come out. It's going to come out anyway. What up? It's going to come out. Clear the bathroom. Oh, oh. oh fuck this art. <laughs> you hear that, bad cats? <laughs> fuck your shitty art. Yeah, this is not 12-year-olds, right? Thank you for that, Lux. It's not 12-year-olds we're dealing with here. This is 2010, all right? 13 years ago. So, Phil was a 28-year-old gentleman right now. <laughs> We're improving on your product for you. All right. That is your bare top. Now, what we'll probably do, it's got, obviously, leftover sticky a little bit. We'll probably wipe it down with something to try to get as much off as we can before we apply the new art. So, that was step three. Uh, going fucking... Ape shit on it. I don't know what to call it. Go, go, go for broke. Going commando. No, that's that. Going commando? That's something else. <laughs> 
in while you do it. Okay. <laughs> I actually, no, yeah, that'll help. I actually am today, so. Wow. Oh, Alright, so now we're going to remove the stick, and then we're going to see what else we can do. Remove the shitty mad cat stick. All you, do, all you do is you remove these screws, correct, Howard? The yes. four mounting correct screws Howard. on the horse mounting screws. Then you have to unscrew this. The what? The center. No, you don't. Oh, you don't, because you took the ball off. Center. Oh, okay. The password. No one knows how to do anything. Yes. What was this? Is this nipple talk? I believe it is. The password is nipple. <laughs> oh no. Never mind. The password. Password. Oh, that to my mother. I'm not saying that. Wait, mother. I like that movie. It's under It's funny. Oh shit. Fuck. Come on. It's right there under the chair. Classic. Come on. On the other chair. What is it? It's a screw. Freedom isn't free. <laughs> Freedom isn't free. No. Freedom fries? Mmm. Here. Where's the other one? Where did I put the other one? Oh, oh Cable Guys. You were sloppy, man. I'm sorry. You used to be like this. No, I wasn't. Wow. You been drinking today? No, I got a beer. You been drinking? Buddy? I don't know, man. You been drinking? I'm all fucked up. You and Chris been drinking today, huh? <laughs> That's why Chris did that backwards. <laughs> Usually when you follow Kahlua with tequila, it doesn't work out to a... <laughs> there was one person laughing in this room. I had, a, I had an Irish coffee and then a kamikaze. It didn't mix Ooh. very well. All right, so what kind of stick are we doing in here? No Sound one's laughing. We'll no one's laughing. Sticker, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're just disconnecting this stick yeah, right now. Yeah, so it's four the, basic screws and that's the, the wire connection. Yeah, probably. Fuck. Where's the board? It's right here. All right, we're getting the puzzle fading away, so I think we're ending this. All one, right, all God. right. So the next step, John's gonna actually cut, start cutting the art while we try to clean up the top of this stick yeah. a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's get to the next part. We're in this together, right? Part four. Two minutes. Only two minutes. Thank God. Yo, know, Howard was just cleaning the stick with nail polish. <laughs> oh, God. This high pitch. I cannot. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I cannot do this high pitch. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, know, Howard was just cleaning the stick with nail <laughs> polish. <laughs> Yo, he knocked oh. the whole bottle on John. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, go wash your arm, dude. That's gonna hurt. Go wash your arm. What are you doing? He's standing around with covered, around like... covered in nail polish removal. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this shit is awesome. Shout outs to Howard's house, I guess. <laughs> Yo, that was a hefty yeah. slam against the bottle, too. Yeah. Why? Shit, Howard. <laughs> Is that is that Howard art? Let's see. Fly Howard. <laughs> is that Howard art <laughs> right there on the right? I guess it is. <laughs> oh God, nice art. That's one of those arts you get at like a you know touristy place, like you know boardwalk or something. Nice character, yeah, caricature, caricature. This is what you're doing to me. <laughs> where's that? Where's that emergency uh, shower that you did? <laughs> yeah, he needs one of those medevac showers. You know the one yeah. with the fucking. There's Chris. Okay, well they're getting little. Look at Chris or this liquid Chris. We've been told so. Big ups, liquid Chris, in the house in Howard's house. We're guessing. Oh my god! Oh my god. This joke has run its course, boys. Come on. Right, this is the step that you don't knock nail polish remover your all over your friend. Change your clothes. <laughs> we'll go to your girlfriend's closet. Put her clothes on. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's not Liquid Chris. I was joking. I don't, I, I, stop saying jokes. <laughs> but that's Chris. We all know that person's name is Chris. Who is Chris? Who the fuck is Chris? Let us know. That sucks. She went all over the floor. <laughs> wow. I'm off the floor. <coughs> This is a toxic room now. Poison. I don't know anything about Chris Chan. Nothing. Zero. Zero point zero. Yeah, look, and look, he taped the, the windows. We can't oh, open them to get any ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> Let us out. Let us out. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> John's vomiting on the floor. <laughs> This joke, man. How he finds tape. Look at this fucking as, soon, as soon as he covers you with nail polish remover, he finds tape to help you. <laughs> Where'd you find? Uh, 
this is an indoor right now. This is a fucking indoor. Listen to this laugh. What is this? Are you with nail polish remover? He finds tape to help you. <laughs> This is clown mode before there was even a money buff, right? We're pre money buff clown mode. I'm sorry. This shit's fucking poison. It's starting to loosen it. Yeah, I love this tutorial. This is step four, by the way. Step four, spill dangerous chemicals on your friend. It was nail polish remover. Reminder. This was an advertisement for the company East Coast Customs. The, the company we're going to get to. Oxygen. Oh, we have, this that saga, though, is just getting started. Like, we're on level one. We're going to get to, like, level ten. So we're starting out with how the company started. Then we're going to get to what SRK thinks about it. Then we're going to get to eBay. Then we're going to get to hate, 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 uh, uh, king of hate forums. Then we're going to get back to what Phil said about it. We got a long way to go. This is a fucking odyssey. Uh, All right, back to work. <laughs> that was funny as hell. All right, great. Thank God that one's done. That is getting deleted ASAP. Step five, artwork, preparation, application, and parts installation. How many shuns can I add? Here we go the holes into the artwork for our stick. He's using an X-Acto knife, which is extremely sharp. Be very careful while you're doing this. Now, what he does... I don't want to bump into you, Howard, you know. Yeah. You wouldn't... Oh, the, the puzzle pieces slow down again. You notice that? They're slow again. Don't fuck us like that. Come on. Don't do it to us. The fast All right, is right now, Howard is cutting out the holes into the artwork for our stick. He's using an X-Acto knife, which is extremely sharp. Be extremely very sharp. careful while you're doing this. Now what very he does- careful. I don't want to bump into you, Howard, you know. Yeah. You wouldn't want to knock any nail polish remover on Howard while he was- Fucking chemicals on Cutting the holes in there. Very funny. <laughs> so what you do is the technique for the buttons is you actually do a cross through the buttons, like an X, and then you carve out the individual fourths of the circle rather than trying to cut out a perfect circle, which you'll never freaking do. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> trying to do similar things with the others as well as well. So Lux, no, ECC is their own biz. They start, that's their, they made a company for this, not a company. I'm sure they didn't like register a business, but they started this East Coast Customs to sell this shit. And this is supposed to be an advertisement for that. It was on King of Hate HD channel. We'll show you in a second, but there you go. Howard's going really quickly here because we just found out he's kicking us out of his house in about a half hour because he didn't feel like telling us earlier today party. that that was the case. <laughs> but you know, he's at a party that'll spill chemicals on each other. And That's right. <laughs> it's going to be kinds of like acid and uh, other kinds of dangerous uh, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. And so we got the blue buttons. Now? We've got the blue buttons. Blue buttons. Which we're going to install in the stick. Sanwa. Sanwa joystick and a clear top with bubbles inside. Blue ball top, which is pretty <laughs> neat. All right, that was intentional. Come on. Blue ball. Blue ball. And a clear top with bubbles inside. Blue ball top, which is pretty <laughs> neat. Blue ball. <laughs> um. For the Mega Man stick. Yeah. Pretty we cleaned neat. off as much as we could, but there's still a lot of adhesive left, but there's nothing really you can do about it. And you gotta kinda roll with it. Should be okay. Gotta roll with it. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be good. The paper's thick enough that it won't matter. I think so, yeah. I thought you said the company was ghetto when they did that same thing, sir. Paper's pretty thick. So now Howard is trying to cut out this rectangular shape. It's a little bit more difficult, obviously. Especially with this corner over here, that's all. With no, exactly. There's, exactly, there's no right. lines on the corner, which kind of sucks. Definitely. The other sticks will be easy because it's not white. But... Seen, yes, this is some of the best stick art I've seen, I think. <clears throat> stick art that. How did you acquire you this art, out? gentlemen? You might. I hope it wasn't just a Google search, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. I'm, bid I'm bidding on them. You're going to bid on your own sticks? Yes. Wow, okay. If I if hey, I wait. eBay some of my stuff, you want to take that out. <laughs> Next thing you know, you would be like, "What's that? What the hell is this? Why is this guy shoving my bed?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna bid on my own sticks. I can make my own whenever I want. I can make my own wherever I, whenever I want. Mm, how much have you seen Phil do here so far? How much has he done? 
I think I might have to put an X, a big X on that one. I like my own sticks. I'm, I'm getting tired of this making sticks for other people. I know. It's, it's ridiculous. Really, really nice stuff. When do we get to I reward it for our hard work? I want something nice. <laughs> Look at that, Howard's got it. Professional. Howard's got it. At this point. Now we've just basically got a couple of the, the, the actual border of the, the artwork. Mm-hmm. And the fun uh, part. Yeah, getting it on here flat, which we've never attempted before. <laughs> it could definitely be hit or miss. It'll probably suck. The good thing is, once it's on, the buttons and the joystick should hold it in place. Yeah. It shouldn't well, slip. No, that thing's way sticky, though. But, I got to slip my hand before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Very... So Phil has no idea how this works. You hear that? It's fucking adhesive. And he said, oh, the buttons will hold it in place. Is that what the adhesive's for? I don't think the buttons are doing much uh, load bearing, are they? I don't know anything about this shit, but you tell me. I'm learning as we go, but come on. (laughs) I thought it's a sticker. What do the buttons have to do with it? Adhesive. not fucking around anymore. Let's go stand on our way. Not tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm in a Vietnamese sweatshop. Whoa! Holy shit. I don't see any Nike what? shoes around here. <laughs> Jesus. Great at East Coast Customs. This is the commercial for East Coast Customs. Where it feels like you're in a Vietnamese sweatshop. Yeah. Who was that, uh... Kathy Lee Gifford, that's who it was. All her yeah, products really were made. Yeah, actually in sweatshops. I actually worked at one of those things. It's horrible. Wow. You work in a sweatshop? Basically, yeah. They have those things in the U.S.? Yeah, they have. No, Josh from Lithuania, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that question is, uh, is U.S. From the uh, Orient. Citizenship. <laughs> what is a citizen? <laughs> I do not understand the question. What the fuck is this? This is all these dark jokes. This is just dark joke video. Maybe that's why he blocked all these videos. Maybe that's why you can't find these videos on his channel anymore. Because, I mean, come on, man. Green card? I don't need a motherfucking green card. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> funny stuff. Very funny. Let me see the back of it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you're smoothing that? It's probably gonna be a problem there, you have thing. Yeah, and especially on this stick because there was no color to go by. And, uh, very funny. By, you know, very cool. Free, so. It's made with love. It's made That's with right. Love. Moral support from Chris Doyle. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Doyle, we get the full name out there. Chris Doyle in the house. Shout out to Chris Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Border. Now the big one. Border toss. The actual. The border toss. What the fuck are you talking about? The, uh, oh, top 10. The what? The border toss? <laughs> Come on! This is the most, one of the craziest racism style videos we've ever seen! The border toss? You should be ashamed of yourself, Rambo. <laughs> God! The border toss. The border toss? Yeah, I agree, Phil. That was kind of shocking, wasn't it? <laughs> the All right. Border. Now the big one. Border toss. The actual, the border toss. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The, uh, top ten. <laughs> At least he was ashamed of himself right away. You see that? He was, <laughs> he, he was ashamed of it right afterwards. Most racist moments in 2010, the border toss. <laughs> the hell is that? Did I make the list? The yes. border toss. I'm trying to make the list. <laughs> Big up Creed and Cannon, you're a legend. Thank you. <laughs> Crescent Cannon, excuse me. Calls himself Dark Side Phil, skin paler than paper. Oh, that's true. The dark side is only inter. Oh, ant poison. It's sweet, so your cats won't eat. Nice poll. Bronze one star, though. We can get that higher. <laughs> John trying to make some last ditch efforts to make the top 10 uh, the series of this year. I'm just going to go to a Reese's Spiel for no reason. <laughs> well, definitely. The most, uh, the, the biggest conspiracy of the year was how you said that JFK was set up by the government versus yeah, Gangsta uh, Kitchen. Don't, don't talk about that anymore. JFK! <laughs> There's some people after me now. <laughs> this is unhinged. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I may or may not pay my taxes last year. Whoa, oh, shit. So calm down, okay? This is unhinged. Oh, man. <laughs> Everybody's cool? Obama's yeah. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. How's it going here, Howard? Do you have any thoughts about what's going on here while you're doing this? About, about your, uh, your tax about evasion? Me, about how great a person I am, what do you think? About your tax evasion? No, about the sticks. Fuck it. 1.3, we're only five minutes into this one. 12 minute long video, come on, go. Give your enemies, but never forget their names, John Rambo. <laughs> all these sticks are naked, yeah, I personally purchased myself, so I think it's a plus. Hmm? I said all these sticks are, I would actually purchase myself. Yeah, all the art? Yes. Especially the one that you designed yourself, John. Wow, so they were actually so, selling it, so... Wait, 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 they were selling them for $30? $29 yesterday. Stick and a copy of Street Fighter 4. Secrets. Walmart? Walmart. Were they doing it online as well? So that, keep that in mind. That You could buy the, the this stick. They said $30 for the stick and the game. That's nuts. I mean, that seems like a great deal, doesn't it? And that's how much they bought it for, so keep that in mind. Let's see how much they think they should sell it for. We're going to figure that out later. Let's go. Farting Chihuahuas in the house. Big ups. Love the Chihuahuas. Always Chihuahua fan around here. I searched border toss uh, on Pig Pig Go. Didn't find anything. Well, then you're just yeah, out of luck, buddy. Oh, oh shit. You have better stories today. Get your own ideas to make, you know, yeah, entrepreneur, you, entrepreneurial life. He's complaining about this, the shopping experience he had. <laughs> He's talented. The food selection's awful. <laughs> just free it's hard to get a, a good round of stick around here. It's hard to get a fucking Walmart. It's like fucking everything ever. I know. It's open all night, too. <laughs> yeah, 24 hour, you know. How's our super fighting robot doing? End this video. No, I didn't End put it. Man on the stick books just in case someone in Japan wants to order it. They got six rock man. Okay. Obviously, or no. I'm just it's not rock man. It's the lock man. What? Lock man. Lock man. Lock man. Yeah. Oh my god! You trying to get on your? Uh... Big ups, Logan K. With the Hogan pull, single pumpkin. Hogan. Oh, Swaggy Davis got the single single pumpkin. Big up, Swaggy Davis. Logan, you're coming next. But you say they are trying to make a commercial for a company. What is? Oh yeah, racist inside joke, boys. No wonder these didn't hit. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. Here's Logan K's pull, by the way. Uh, but this is supposed to be a commercial. You heard there for a second that John kind of brought it back to real life when he was saying like, you know, like, okay, so let's talk about these sticks, but they're still just doing like joke, 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 joke. It's great. We're going to see how much they sell for those. Don't worry. That's, that's, that's coming up. Block or, uh, Mexico's pinata, man. Oh, oh, oh. That's not racist. What the fuck? That's just fun. That's pinata, right. man. That's not a racist guy, man. Right. Who's his first boss battle? Burrito bot? <laughs> well, that's kind of racist. <laughs> Burrito bot? The enchilada enforcer. <laughs> the enchilada enforcer. <laughs> Dr. Chavez. Whew, I can't keep up. Dr. Hugo Chavez. Dr. Hugo Chavez. <laughs> oh my God. Are you hearing this? <laughs> this my stream might get shut down <laughs> for playing this. <laughs> uh, we just created like seven more races. <laughs> Absolutely far away, man. Now I, it's not a question for me. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, Howard's uh, Howard's uh, Dr. Hugo Chavez. Howard's racist energy. <laughs> Dr. Floyd, Hugo Chavez. Floyd room. Phil can knock it over. <laughs> that to Hugo Chavez. He is loving it. Dr. Hugo Chavez has invented eight robot masters. <laughs> Hugo Chavez is more like my whole desk. The coffee guy. Uh, okay. Whoa, dude. Sorry. I almost knocked the coffee off. It's that boy. Holy oh, shit. Boy. Well, the art lines up perfectly. Woo. Little subtle boy there. We'll keep moving, though. How do we do that? So we just... You just peel it. But make sure... Hold on. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Like, if, if you say, like, clever racism stuff, all right, well, now we're talking. But this is just not even funny, right? It's not even funny. You know, in 2010, I'm saying. You know, at that point, it'd be something, right? But there's not even... What's funny here? Hold on, right? it lines up perfectly before we take that shit off. Because once it's off, it's off. It's good to man. For the most part. Yeah, man. Those wow. buttons will hold it in place perfectly. It's fucking beautiful. This stick is going to be amazing. Yeah. Super fine, ain't robot. So how, do we, how do we do this? There you go, man. You gotta have like a... Uh, either a nail or... Curly. Maybe we use the exacto knife to set... I've gotten 125 likes on this stream. Separate it. You got, you got, it. got it? Oh man, this is fucking better than you, man. No one, careful, no careful. Bed. Don't waste the adhesive. Here we go. Adhesive, boys. Strap right, in. Be perfect. Perfect placement. Cock. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my god. Get the bubbles out. Detention. Bubbles. Yes. Holy shit, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, Howard. East Woo! Coast Customs. Live from nice. Howard Town. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, that man. is an amazing fucking joystick. I can't wait to see that done. The art is, uh, is great. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up before the, the light comes and beats me. 
Get these guys out of here. What is happening? You can't crack it. It's not flexible. Right? Crack it. So much oh, hands. man. Let's crack a lacking on this stick. Don't crack my balls. <laughs> no, I said. Don't crack my balls. No, I said it all, sir. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this, man? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican Mega Man stick. <laughs> So yeah, you guys tell me when you see the custom part, okay? We're still waiting for the custom part. This is a Google image taken to Kinko's, taken apart, changed the buttons, and now we have art. So there's the custom. Scalpel. Any screws? Oh, who, who, who made the template? Some random dude on SRK? SRK it was the SRK template, yeah. Which we SRK template. SRK template. Don't worry, we got plenty of SRK to get to today. It's a mini Dense Sea Scrolls today, by the way. We'll be listening on thekingofhate.com, of course. Of course. Okay, where's... Um... <laughs> Well, did you order the, the covers for these or no? What covers? That's covers? Oh, no, fuck that. You're dead. What are you talking Freaking, about? Freaking, uh, talking about the, the condom shit. The condom? No, 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 no. Then he gave you the wrong dust covers. That's good. So about the sticky condom, Phil. Oh, yeah, the thing that goes around the stick. Yeah. You don't necessarily need that. I don't like that, actually. I used to, I don't no, like you don't, but he gave you the wrong dust covers, though. Let's see if I have. That's good. Can you actually get it? What? The dust covers are separate? They're different. It's too loose. No, so now we're doing now is installing the stick, which is very easy. You just basically line it up with the holes there. Just make sure it's straight, because if it's not straight, your directions will be crooked. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Thanks. But if the joystick's not in there straight, the directions will be crooked. Thanks for your no input. I'm it in. That's not my problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. Why are you insulting the viewers? There's nothing wrong with a crooked dick. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Phil has this pattern. Right? Of like, he'll say a joke and then, like, he la has to initiate the first laugh. If you listen for it, you cannot unhear it. You cannot unhear it. Every sentence comes with a laugh of varying degrees, right? It's usually the ha 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 that level, that, that kind of high pitched one. Listen for it and you'll never stop. You'll never stop hearing it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what was that, John? <laughs> what? Hold on, we got to hear this now, too. <laughs> Video of too many fucking tabs. I got come on. How much, how much right, RAM now, do I? How, how much RAM do I need for these? You just basically line it up with the. Oh. What? If the joystick's not in there straight, the directions will be crooked. Yeah, the problem sticking it in. That's not my problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen. Why are you insulting the viewers? There's <laughs> nothing wrong than a crooked dick. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, well. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that, John? <laughs> I didn't get that. To actually comment on it. Nothing <laughs> wrong with a crooked dick. Actually, yeah, that's true. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. Quite actually loops around. It's tied in a knot. It's like a belt. Sorry, <laughs> fucking that guy from Fantastic Four. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mr. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh, Phil is 28 right now, by the way. 28 years old. This is 2010. All right. So, Howard is mounting the stick. We're actually going to cut the part right now because it's starting to get long. And then we'll come back. Oh, we'll God, there's read, more. Uh, basically, attach the wires to the buttons, and then we're going to finish this sucker. All right, you ready for more? I know I am. Part six, final assembly and testing. Here we go. All right, so now we are reattaching the wires to the buttons. And again, is that the wires on these SE sticks on the board actually say what they are. So if I believe it is... What is the layout? Is it Y? Heavy breathing. Uh, X. X, A, Y, B, R, B, R, well, hold, well, hold on. Talking about, if you're going across the top, it's X, Y, <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> R, B. <laughs> wow, great tutorial. Verbal tutorial. <laughs> a, B, R, T. A, B, C. From left to right. Four, two, so, you know, three. Jab, strong, fierce. Light kick, medium kick. I will, Francisco. I still didn't do that. I will. Was in old I'll fix the command. It was not always light punch. I did a lot of other stuff. Yeah. It was jab, jab strong, fierce, short, forward. short forward roundhouse. That's right. Okay. For all you newbies. And start was start the game. Brilliant. <laughs> start was taught the game. <laughs> well, that uh, didn't happen until uh, Alpha. Very funny. Very Street funny. Fighter Alpha Very was the funny. first Street Fighter game with taunts. Oh. Back then they did jack shit. 
<laughs> Some games now, they actually have an effect. Back then, it was just to make fun of your opponent. And let him know he was a fucking scrub. Whoa, uh -huh. whoa. Right, right. Are you one that taunts, Phil? Yes. You taunt a lot? I used to taunt like crazy with Ken in Third Strike. Yeah, but that taunt was, was worth it. I know. It actually did something. Yeah. Where's X? Can't see. X is red. Great video. Can't see anything. Right. He's taking a shit. Yeah, it sounds like Chris is helping him. <laughs> <laughs> These are easy, quick disconnects, which basically means you just take them off, you pop them right back on. But make sure that they are secure because sometimes they have a tendency to pop off. Uh, Japanese parts aren't like American parts where it matters what wire goes to what. It does not matter. American parts have a ground and a signal wire, so don't have to worry about that. Well, it sounds like Howard knows what yeah, he's talking about here. It, I guess. Just got to put this bad boy on. All right, 1.3 speed. I gave it a chance. You gonna put on the ball top? Oh, I gotta put the put bus, bus cover in the ball top. Bus cover in the ball top. The it's too wide. Yeah, it's too wide. Because they're supposed to be. Um... Yeah, you're right. It doesn't move a tiny yeah, bit. He, he, he put that on the Samitsu sticks. He no, put... these are sound ones. Oh. Don't have them. Oh, so he ripped me off on this stick. Yeah. See, this one has has it too. I got I got them. Oh, oh shit. All right. Well, your part should come with the thing. It didn't come with it for some reason. Wait a minute. Your your dealer actually ripped you off. My dealer ripped me off, but you know. My he has my more dealer. Guns than me. <laughs> So I can't go over there. <laughs> oh, man. My Where dealer are, ripped me off. Where is your dealer at? Uh, Shit on me. <laughs> whoa. No, it was Howard recommended uh, the website. Oh, Howard, you recommended well, Howard recommended the website that I buy the parts from. <laughs> Who calls the website they buy shit from? Dealer. Amazon's my dealer. <laughs> Amazon's my dealer. I mean, I'm sure it was a mistake, and his parts are pretty. I mean, look at the amazing amount of parts I bought of all different colors and varieties. It's a really good site. I like the pricing. Wait a minute, I put it off to the side. I'm sorry. What? It was right here all along. Sorry. What? Sorry. Sorry. Howard had it the whole time. Oh, it's a dust cover. Oh, it's just the wrong dust cover. What's <laughs> uh, your poor nail polish remover all the stick out? You know, prove a stick. Take that tulip and shove it up your ass. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. <laughs> Where are you going? We gotta test it. Well, before you close it? Yeah. Now the testing. Testing it. The live testing. testing it oh right. god, I'm gonna be sick. We have three more to go, which probably John and I will work on. Yeah, we're at the tonight. Tonight, see if we can get some. Me and John will probably work with it. Yes, Sensual Todd. That we're gonna come to that conclusion together though. But yeah, you're 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 jumping ahead. Spoiler, but yes, they're gonna sell these. Done, if not all. I think we wanna work on yours next. I think we should. That means begging <laughs> to have hands all over it. <laughs> The people are probably going to get arrested at tournaments. That's a classy photo. Two of them that are adults. And, uh, yes. If you're an adult... And you, all we need to do is put a little fucking penthouse logo in the corner and we're fine. If you're, to, if you're an adult, you're to do whatever you want with your hands and your tits and whatever. <laughs> but not during tournament play. <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh, what was the last God. time? You're going to have people whipping their cocks out during matches. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay. Oh. Nothing? Help. Is it Help. <laughs> Help. Here we go. Point fit. Look at that. Point fit. Right, right, left, left, up, up, down, down. Um, Two or three sixty. Don't do it, Howard. Don't know. He said, don't know, no. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You play that one, not the one I'm talking about. We're going with two. Here's the test. Got right, out the test. I'm going to show you guys how to rock. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Zeroes. <laughs> Good Do laugh. La laugh at your own joke. Good luck doing it in HD because it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> Great. Look at that. Training mode. I'm gonna take you from behind. I wonder how many super funny people said that laugh to. I'm gonna take you from behind for the intro song. I'm sure that was like said a million times. Three cables. That That's fucking professional. What the fuck? You do realize we're the best at doing this right now, right? God, man. <laughs> we're the only adults who actually put time and effort into this. We're the best at doing this. We're the only adults that take time and effort to do this. Keep that in mind. It's going to come in. Uh, it's going to come back to to mention a people how how Phil, how much work Phil thinks this is. Some other people are going to have some comments about that. So remember that, please. It's going to lag, dude. Go to Bunger before you break the stick. There you go. You're not used to the laggy TV, that's all. <laughs> Fucking playing this game in HD is like playing it underwater. Playing this game in HD is like playing it underwater? Does anyone agree with that statement? I can't try, but they can't do that shit, right? <laughs> Oh, 
let's try it. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Good job. Yeah. Should I stop recording? No, hold on. Right. Just Just good good. No, Phil's gonna play. You only have you only have like ten minutes left. What? <laughs> I have ten minutes left. No, I'm saying though. You'll be in trouble. I am gonna be in trouble. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Here we go. This is probably, you know, never seen in many years Phil okay, go, gameplay go. here. Let's go. Uh, in the kitchen. In 2000, uh, DSP was named uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2 King. Not working? Yep. Just, uh, oh, you want to know why? Because you, I didn't, uh, watch, hit start. Do, uh, oh, you didn't map it? No, I probably didn't map it. It's probably mapped for something else. Yeah, see? I did default. No, just go through it. Just put, you know. Oh, oh it's like a remix. Uh, okay. Okay, we have to work on that. Oh, no. All right, turn around. All right, dead, dead button. Oh, dead button. That would probably be why that's uh, not working. Oh, okay, it came out? Yeah. All right. There we go. Sweet. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's right. This is buggy. Remember the menu doesn't work, right? Hit accept. Play fix. All right. He's at the mashing. <laughs> Back in the fuck out of her. <laughs> God damn. This is a mismatch. <laughs> Has to justify not knowing the rules. I'm never going to play this game anyway, okay? Dude, who cares? You're not going to play this game. You don't have to justify everything. I'm not going to play this game anymore. So whatever. Oh, Mr. Uh... The hypergram. Woo! John, some of our viewers would like to know why you don't play games like Marvel 2 and uh, Tekken. Tekken. Oh, that's cool. It's good. So it's good. Dude, but you're like, uh, right, you're better that's than good. Chuck Norris. <laughs> it was fine. Look, weight dash and like, look easily. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Great. I got Sentinel. Fantastic. Looks fantastic. Later, minus five stars. Lovely. A lovely cover for you, but yeah, it was fine. This is weird. It looks like one of those uh, POV porns. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what did you create at this point? Uh, I know, Come right? on. You know, every, every time I one of these things gets sold, I, I cry a little inside. <laughs> what the hell? You guys are a little dead. I do, I die. But I know that my children are going to a, a better place. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new balance. Let's, I hope we get a shot of those shoes. I think we have new balance hype. <laughs> I probably picked the wrong thing anyway. That's good enough. Alright, that's good, man. That's the first stick. And that's one of uh four we're gonna be working on. Came out nice for in my opinion. Very nice. Beautiful. I'd I'd pay for that stick. Lovely. Very cool. Yeah, that's just button mashing. That's all it is. Oh! There it is! New balance hype! New balance in the house. You can see the faintest end there on the right on the left shoe. New balance. <laughs> Lovely. Sweet. Well, if it gets John's uh, two thumbs up approval, I'm assuming that uh, I do. Yeah, not I mean, to the and Bruce Lee, because you're wearing a shirt. <laughs> This is the first time deal for uh, right. DSPs. We're almost done this one, thank God. I've never done this before, and I think Is that a phone clip i saw i believe i did let's see we got a phone uh, dsp's i think we got a phone clip hype yeah shout outs shout outs to you phone clip don't fuck with it you got a problem look at the clip don't make me get out my clip i'll unlock I'll, <laughs> I'll unload this clip on your ass <laughs> and, and he absolutely is the kind of person that has a phone clip 28 with the phone clip. Those customs. Those customs. I've never done this before, and uh, I think I did a pretty good job. What do you well, think, no, Phil? Sirs. Do you well, get my approval? Know. Besides the fatality of oh, fucking nail polish and whatever. I'll probably drop it later. <laughs> oh, fatality. Big ups. And DSP and company is signing off now. Thank you. Okay. We're done another one. We're almost done this initial set of videos, so we know the origin story. All right? 
Oh my god, how's it 12 minutes again? I'm starting to lose it here. This is called Disassembling the Mad Cat Stick. Okay, the same, the different, I believe this is a day earlier. I'm uh, sorry, a day later than what we just saw. So this is the next day. Leg. Um, we are working on some more of these custom joysticks for you guys. And Cody, uh, he's, help myself. He's cutting the art with a very dangerous exacto knife. Distracting me. I am actually going to disassemble this SE edition 1. joystick. 5. walk you through step by step how to do it. I know that we did a video and Howard kind of did it, but we blew through it because we were on a, a, a rush against time since he didn't tell us that he was going to kick us out of our, his house because his wife was coming over with her family. So anyway, we're going to do this now. And uh... All right, so now we're doing the same exact fucking thing, but it's going to be Howard uh, DSP and Rambo version. Sound good? Sound good. Uh... This way, at least you'll have step by step exactly what to do. So the first thing, this is, as you see, an SB edition Mad Cat joystick. This one's actually for PlayStation 3. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to open it. And all you need to do is there's six screws, three on top, three on the bottom, that you need to remove. Any standard, uh, oops, any standard screwdriver can do it. And I always forget what's a Phillips head. Oh, Phillips head is the one with the diamond or the uh, cross. So <laughs> you need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these. Uh, so we, we get a little look into Phil's tool knowledge, which I'm not sure what a Phillips is and a flathead is. Okay. These screws <laughs> look tool time. It is tool time. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. <laughs> so this is a screwdriver, and you turn it. <laughs> Where's Heidi? She's fucking hot, man. You need fucking Heidi. We yeah. need a Heidi. We got to get a Heidi over Welcome here. to the customs. Whatever. Welcome to the East Coast Customs. She, like, fucking shows off the sticks. Pamela Anderson was before Heidi. You know that? Yeah, she was the first season, and then Heidi came season two. What was that chick's name? I forgot. Who? Oh. Second chick. Heidi. Her real name was Heidi? No. I used to know her real name. <laughs> Home improvement lore, everybody. Hope really? you're ready for yes. that today. That's pathetic, John. We'll look it up. I only know where it's Heidi because, uh, you know, I don't stock models from TV. Comics. Oh, what are you going to do with yourself? <laughs> so many hours in the day. Wow. Wow. All right. You take me to the hospital if I cut my hand out? Yes. Really? You don't have insurance, though, do you? I don't have insurance. I'll have to pretend to be someone else. <laughs> I don't know if I can help you. Get health care plan, Don Obama. <laughs> very right. funny, very hey, funny. This is awesome. If you're wondering why it's taking me so long, it's because unfortunately my screwdriver is starting to strip, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to buy a new set soon. Your finest screwdriver, please, sir. Mine is starting to mean? strip. <laughs> Do it. You need Phillips or flathead? Well, I'm not sure the difference. Could you please explain that to me, sir? Yes, I don't know. We can speak to your manager, sir. I, I can't believe like you memorized the name and now you're bad that you forgot it. I've never so upset with Debbie, Debbie something? Debbie. I can't this is a great Debbie video. Dog. Now we know how to that unscrew six right screws. That sounds okay. familiar. <laughs> All right, now once you've removed the six screws, <laughs> the top comes right off, as you can see, or the back, I'm sorry, comes right off. Put that aside. Right. Now, what you have here, obviously, is the inside of your stick, and there's a couple things you have to remove. The first thing you have to remove, obviously, what? are all of the wire connections for the buttons, uh, and then you need to unscrew the four mounting screws for the joystick so that the joystick can be removed. You also need to loosen the ball top, which I'm going to show you how to do There's the ball top. That fucking um, ball it's top. It's important you actually do that first, because if you get all this off, then it might be too loose to get the ball top off properly. So what you do, this actually needs a flat head. So I'm going to remove my oh, Phillips flat head. Oh, God. Throw it viciously on my coffee table, just like yeah, so. Man. Then we're going to put on the flat head. And what you okay. do, it's just a flat head attachment. You put it right here <laughs> on the back of the joystick, the flat head. <laughs> I feel like I knew it, Deborah Dunning. Deborah Dunning? Yes, Deborah Dunning. Deborah How are we still on this topic, Howard? I mean, Rambo. Come Deborah on, Rambo. Let it go. Burbank, California. It's very sad. Um, so you hold, has several pictures. you hold the back of your joystick in place, and then basically you turn the ball top the other direction to loosen the ball top, okay? Loosen the, the ball, ball tap. The ball top will come off. Ball tap will come off. How many fucking ball tops do you And also, when the ball top comes off, you can go ball ahead top. and remove that dust cover as well. You're not going to need that rounded dust cover. Take that off. All right. Big up. Okay, that's step one. Now step two, we'll remove all the lead and contacts on the buttons. Now, you can do this with your hands. I actually personally prefer using needle nose pliers because it's a little bit easier, especially if you get one on there that's a little bit tight. Um, so all you're gonna do is put the contact between there and just pull straight towards you, okay? 
Okay. Be careful, be gentle. You don't want to accidentally rip anything or, or destroy your This is a your tutorial metal video. Foundation. Can you we'll see what's going you. on? See that? <laughs> we'll towards you. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. We'll look towards you. I know this is very exciting for most people. <laughs> yeah, let's put it to YouTube. Put it on YouTube. This guy thing is exciting. Yep. It's helpful as well. And any joystick that uses these snap in style buttons, Japanese style buttons, you do it the same way. See, Howard's a hands-on type of guy. I like using special tools. <laughs> what is this shot? I guess we're trying to show what John's doing and what Phil is doing. You take is that, that however you want. This? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I've got my little bag of tricks. People have different tastes. That's right. What speed am I at? Because it's not fast enough. I'm at 1.5 already. All right. Come on, man. Flying through the scenario. Cool. Whoa. All right, we got seven of the eight button wires have been removed. Uh-oh. Well, that button came apart. That's okay, because we're not using that button. By the way, you don't need to show the button people. Some people are freaking out about that. Well, I understand some people like it. But so, at some point, you're going to go somewhere, and you're not going to have that. Here's the reason why these buttons are shit, as you saw. By me just removing the contacts, the button just destroyed itself. So that's the Mad Cat's fucking buttons. They're garbage. Um, the regular Sagwa buttons don't do that. These are really low-quality buttons. That's why everyone replaces these on these joysticks. Um, uh-huh. Right, right, right. But yeah, you know, John was saying, gee, you know, a lot of people did complain and said, why did we remove them all? And real tournament players who played in arcades only had six buttons. So, you know, we didn't have the options to do a shortcut. Yeah, eventually you're going to go to a tournament. Gonna... Real tournament players? Maybe they're going to have, you know, they're gonna have a kick or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it destroyed itself. You mean what you did with your Needle's pliers pulling the fuck out of the back? Yeah, that might destroy it. Because they allow that now, like, you know stuff? They allow eight button joysticks and uh, controllers that you can I thought have. you could, I thought you were allowed to do that. So, like, some people do, like, throw buttons? You could do that. I thought you could. You could do that. You cannot do map rows. Like, you can't map a special move. You should have a throw button. Yes, you can. I'm sure about that. I'm looking this up. So, we removed all the contacts. That <laughs> Rambo doesn't trust Phil. You hear that? Actually, take the buttons out. It should be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, the way the snap on buttons work, if you've ever seen them, um, Okay, how did they work? I'm not going to show you close up. All right, the way the snap-on buttons work, as you can see on the sides here, they uh -huh. actually have pieces that push in with your thumb. And Whoa. the way that they work is they push into the hole, and then those knobs push back, and they snap out like that, so they snap oh, into place. Oh, okay. I get that 0% more than before you did this, this this graph, but okay, cool. So what you need to do if you're going to remove one of these buttons, How? you have to actually put your hands on the sides of those snap-in pieces and basically hold them like this with oh, your okay, fingers now and I push get the it. button through the hole. I don't know if you saw uh -huh. how I did that. Story Cat, we have exact numbers on that coming up in the future. Edge in you. Yeah. No, the button, that button that broke, the shitty Mac ass button, was all fucking disassembled in here. Oh. They're such garbage. They break like so easily. Right, yeah. right, right, cool. Same thing. Taking my, my pointer finger, my thumb, I'm pushing both of those notches in, and I'm pushing the button through the hole. Oh. You don't need to oh, keep these it, buttons, trust it, me. It. You don't want to keep the Mad Cat's buttons. They are in not good. Maybe you want to throw them at a neighbor or Whoa. a small child. Soon for Halloween, throw them to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna. I'm just doing this for leverage. I'm putting it on my lap. I'm doing the same thing. Thumb, pointer finger, pushing the two notches in, removing the buttons. Ah, I'm gonna stab the joystick. Stab yourself. Do that. If someone does it, they hurt themselves. Following your your steps, can they, they sue you? Absolutely not. There's no way that that would be this possible. Um, Let's leave around the videos. Don't try this at home unless you're intelligent. Right. It's not. A, it's not a very hard process. I think most people can do this. Yeah. Well, this is child's play. There's no soldering required. There's no danger. <laughs> no soldering required. Besides, you know, the cutting itself, there's no, nothing really dangerous cutting, about... Cutting nothing sucks. dangerous. <laughs> nothing dangerous about makeup. <laughs> Thanks for that disclaimer. Nothing dangerous here, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but... How about the nail polish bath? That's not necessary. <laughs> We're still on this joke? A friend decides to implement that. All right, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the joystick. Now, it's important when you're removing the joystick that you keep the screws. You're going to need to use those to remount your new joystick. Whoa. What we're going to do is take the screwdriver, and the first thing we're going to do, there's a wire right here on the right-hand side of the joystick that needs to be okay. removed. All you need to do is pull it this way to remove it. So we're going to gently wiggle it, wiggle it, and there it goes. It does have a little bit of adhesive on it, but that's okay. That's going to be come right off easily. And now we're just going to remove the four mounting screws. You'll probably be able to tell what they are because they have a little bit of this pink stuff on them, which is supposed to be... Uh, Rubber cement, however, it's laughably easy to remove it. In fact, this one didn't even get it properly in the screws, which is pretty funny. They missed the screws completely on this one. They're going to be doing it. Is from. that true or not? I really wonder about that. Is that really supposed to be adhesive? I mean, maybe you guys know, but that's kind of... I'm wondering about that. In a factory. So it's like, dude's like, oh, mamma mia, I have to remove the frost. They go, the Italian guy? Oh, 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 yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, Italians. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? I don't even know what that came from. You did a process. I got a factory. So I was like, dude, he's like, oh, mamma mia, I got a little bit of frost. They go, the Italian guy? Oh, 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 yes. 
I'm sorry. Okay. No, so, so I'm probably like getting up or something. I'm probably like, oh, I don't need I'm not Why did you make me say? Oh, well, that's new. That's new. All right, we're going one point speed for this one. One point, one, uh, right, normal speed for this, for this. Let's, let's hear this again. This is a spicy one. Yes. I'm sorry. It's really, so, so I'm probably like getting up or something. I'm probably like, oh, I don't need apply on the Ah, so like the ding dong die style of Asian. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> John, why did you make me say racist thing? I didn't make you say nothing. I didn't want to say racist thing. Totally not anywhere to... <laughs> no. Alright, so we're moving the four mouth experience. Say anything, I'll say some racist I didn't want to say anything. I say hello. Hello, hello Phil. Man. <laughs> and he repeats it, by the way. Let's go. Hey, why not, right? <laughs> You're in for a dime, in for a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Hello. Hello, Phil. Ding dong ding gang. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Very chill. Meaningful. Terrain. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing too much Black Ops where you're the Vietnamese half the time. I could never run for public office now because of these videos. I know. It's over. I'm fucking destroyed my political career. Me either, man. Dude, I was going to run for president. Dude. Really? Right. <laughs> it's like, really? You were? I didn't know about this. That was a bad choice. <laughs> it might not work out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to be like, what, 35 at least, I think? I think so. So you got some time to, to uh, mend, to mend sponge things. my record? Yeah. And it's funny enough, he tried to get rid of these videos to do just that. Not to be president, but to expunge his record. <laughs> exactly. People love a comeback story. People would vote for me. The common man. Vote for these other folks. Uh -huh, right. make stuff work. It's funny as the guys that actually do run are much dirtier and like filthier people. Oh, they're just, but they're just disgusting. The public persona is clean, so it's... All right. Shit. Oh, good. It caught my jeans. Jeans. <laughs> weird, weird pants that will grab things. That's right. Wear uh, fluffy folding pants. That have catchable ability, so I'm on the last screw here. Almost done. <laughs> this is a great this is a bad idea, these fucking videos. <laughs> God damn it. Smoothie's here because it's a vision. We have a lot of different visions, Daspo did. This is one of them. We made for me and Ludwig Little Loader did the Smoothie episode. I recommend the cat one, of course, but you can do whatever you want. There's like seven of them. Okay, and once those four are released, it's very easy. You just pull the stick out. Okay. And you have D, di, or D, you have disassembled your stick. You've taken all the parts out. So that's how you do that. Now what I'm gonna do in the next part is I'm gonna show you how to actually assemble the new parts while you know putting them in. But of course what that means is we're gonna have to apply some of the artwork first. You've already seen us take the top off, the sticky okay. top, so I'm not gonna show you that again. But I do wanna show you in depth how to put some of the parts back in there. So I will be back in the next part once I have applied the new sticky top and we'll show you how to rebuild your stick properly. Thank you, all right. I know most of you wish we were done, but we're not quite yet. <laughs> Every video goes 12 minutes, because that's clearly the maximum I see now. But all right, let's keep going. I'm starting at 1.5. I don't give a fuck. All the parts and properly attach the wiring uh, inside of the stick before reassembling it. Um, for these buttons, it's extremely easy. As I already showed you, they're snap-on type buttons. So all you literally need to do is get your buttons, put them in the hole. Get your buttons, put them in the hole. What's next? Hold the tabs with your, your thumb and pointed finger and push it in and it'll snap securely like that when it does snap in you want to look on the other side to make sure that both tabs have fully gone through once they have you know that that button is secure don't be afraid to rotate it if you want to reposition it later you can do that um, but that is in there pretty tight so we're going to do that with all six buttons look at the quick snap yeah. You heard that snap? Get that in there. Here. So you know it's good. That's right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Feel bad joke incoming. We chose to go with Lovely. passionate purple for this stick. It's regal. It's it is. color of royalty. Actually, you're right, it is. Purple is the color of royalty. Yes. It is. Right, right, right. Our Marvel 1 Capcom side stick with Mega Man on it yet again. So it's two sticks we made with Mega Man. Lee Mint's popular. Kids love Very Mega cool. Man these days. Very cool. Now they call him. What do they call him? Mega Man Zero X. It's like the five thousand of them. Alpha fucking card captors. Who knows what the hell that shit is? It's not Mega Man anymore. 
Yeah, well, you know. He's grown with the times. Rock man uh, zero. Uh, uh. I'm using skip juice. Take one wire and attach it one each to each side of the button. Be careful because you want to be sure that it does not accidentally push the button back out of the joystick. If it wasn't insecurely, it might pop out. So be okay. Careful about oh, that. okay. I didn't want to guess that. In this case, I'm, I know that those are good. All it's right. Not in, if it's not insecurely, it might come out. Okay, got that, got it. We've got up next is brown. Brown is X. X is going to be my light kick, so I'm going to go ahead and attach those. As Howard said in the previous video, Unlike American buttons, American buttons are more complicated than this because oh. American style buttons actually have a ground wire and a regular wire. These doesn't matter. You can put either wire on either side, the button will work fine. Uh huh. Um, all right. Next, the red wires are for triangle. So, incidentally, it looks like these are actually lined up properly. That's going to go on my medium punch button. It's funny how the American buttons are more complicated but worse at the same time. That's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Strange. Ridiculous. Um, dude. Orange. The sticks are more complicated too. Orange is circle, so orange is medium kick. Yeah, sticks style. are way more complicated too, you're American right. Style. Come on, man. Heavy around house. They put fierce. I've seen it, and I said, what the well, fuck? Well, they weren't allowed to. Kick? Maybe that was like a copyright thing. All right, so we've got oh. all of our attacks. So, how, uh, here, you hear Rambo mention the copyright thing. Keep that in mind. Attachments on there, I believe. Oop, this one actually is a little. He was weird. not talking about the artwork there, of course, but we'll get to that. Just hold on one second while I reattach it. There we go. All right, let's get to these back. But when you here. get one of these joysticks, it comes with some parts. It comes with the dust covers. Now these go on top of the joystick, so you take those off. Okay. It also has what we like to call the condom, <laughs> which is basically goes around the shaft of the. It's stick. called the shaft cover. And. Uh, some people prefer this off. Some people like it on. Since it came with it, I'll leave it on. I don't like it. Um, I've never actually used the condom, so I don't know what, what... I don't get the reference here, but some people call it a condom. I don't know what that means, but let's keep moving forward. I don't use that kind of stuff. Oh, like man. <laughs> <clears throat> Hunter who the likes attained. Thank you guys for liking the stream today. Oh, Batman. <laughs> he likes it raw. Oh, God intended. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to take Jesus, this stick. Jesus, Rambo going hard, through. going raw. You can take the cover off, by the way, because it's going to fall off anyway. It's going to go through the stick, and you're going to line up, like I said, the holes of the edges of the stick must line up with the holes of the mounting oh, bracket. Oh, okay, I see, see that there. perfectly two here. On top. There'll also be two on the bottom. Oh. And just like with the stick that you took off before, uh -huh. you're going to put screws into the corners of those and you use the same screws that you use to disassemble the other sticks so here we go right right cool i need my phillips head okay there's only two videos left of this series go ahead and just lay it flat. we have to get the entire context everybody and of course it immediately moves because my stick my leg hit it because i'm stupid here we go Screw in there. Oh, this is such beauty. I, I get it completely what you're talking about here. Let's go back to this part. Oh, uh, sorry. We have to put the, the top to on the part. joystick. But for the internal parts, the internal parts are now assembled. So how do you do the top parts? Well, first yep. thing you do is your condom. <laughs> you're putting a condom on, huh? Your dust cover, one or two. I'm going to do one dust cover, okay? Do you usually wear the condom, Phil? I don't think huh? You usually wear the condom. I didn't Listen. know. I didn't know that. What was that noise? It's like a yip. You heard that? No. Yip. Is a dog out there? Must have been someone chiming in on the subject. The dogs are, somebody's yip. listening. So it, it sounds like to me <laughs> that Phil really wanted to avoid that topic, didn't it? <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> like that's a joke. That's a line he won't cross. Okay. Racism, Mr. Chicky Chag Wang. That's cool. Vietnamese sweatshop, condom, uncomfortable. You tell me. No. Yep. Is that, is that dog out there? Must have been someone trying. Huh? Usually, cover one or two. Listen to this. One listen cover. to this. This is a, this is kind of telling, right? Isn't it? Here, listen. Finally, okay. get something. You usually wear the condom, Phil. I don't think. Huh? You usually wear the condom. Huh? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that. That was that noise. It's literally. I would say, like, it sounds like someone that, like, maybe knows their parents are watching, but he, all the other shit he says, you know, that's not the case, right? But he definitely was like, I can't talk about this. And he finds, he inv invents something to take his attention away as if he's a dog that kind of, like, invents a squirrel to chase all of a sudden. Like, oh, zip, what's that? Zip. <laughs> you usually wear the condom. I didn't know. I didn't know that. 
the hell was that noise? It sounded like a yip. No noise, sir. Down. No. Yip. Is a dog out there? Must have been someone chiming in on the subject. The dogs are... Somebody's yep. listening at the window. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Don't say that, John, because people have already suspected that, and I tried to tell them no, that's just my, my shades in the back moving in the wind. They actually think I have a peeping Tom, so... Was that you, John? Look at the drunk guy next door. He could be. Could have been that guy. All right, so the final you're going to do, your ball top, okay? Okay, Philadelphia Collins heard, heard the on, noise. Screw okay. it on. I didn't hear any zip, but there we go. Look at this beautiful stick. But... Just like we did before, with a flathead screwdriver, you're going to put it into the back of your stick here. And you're going to screw this on as tight Oh, as big ups! Anime! The anime run here. This is a new addition. Big ups to whoever did the fill, run, fill, run. Big Man Gaming, that's the anime run. That's the rare one. You can, while holding the, the uh, screwdriver in place, make sure it's tight. Because I've actually had a couple of sticks that I modded, and unfortunately it wasn't tight enough. And the last thing you want is your ball coming loose in the middle of tournament play. You're like, oh, oh, oh! Now, how are you going to play with no ball? You're going to like kind of like this. I remember we took a flight somewhere, and we got off the plane, you opened your, your bag, and the, the ball was off. The ball was remember off. Remember that? Yes, I your, remember Your that. whole stick fell apart in your it suitcase. It was a loose ball, and loose balls are just out of play. We <laughs> lost that. So, that's one. Right story, bro. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to finish modding the other one, and I'll show you how to actually attach the Sumitsu stick uh, as well. That's the only difference. Everything else is going to be identical. You know, it's just the Sumitsu stick is a little bit more difficult than the Sano stick, so we'll show you that in a little bit, but there you go. There's your completed Marvel vs. Capcom 1 Capcom side cast stick. Wonderful. Cool. Excellent. Uh -huh. All right, there we go. How's the, how's, the, how's the sticker look on that? Looks fine to me. Let's look at the, the glare can show us. But you guys know better than me. But anyways, all right. Two more left. Please don't be 12 minutes. 4.33. Yes. All right, four minutes, 32 seconds. We're almost done. This is... 2010, same exact day, obviously. Joystick inst installation. Then we're almost to the part where we can dive into the depths of the SRK forums to see what people think about East Coast Customs. Let's go. Now we have another joystick, by the way. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have another joystick, by the way. This is our Super Turbo Don't Blow This Stick. Um, pretty cool. But pretty we're cool. showing you the finished product, but... This one we're going to install a Samitsu stick, and as you can Ooh. see, a Samitsu stick looks a lot different from a Sanwa stick. It's got this wider base to it. It's got this blue plastic connector. You install it the same way, just like with that Sanwa stick. You basically line it up with these mounting brackets in the joystick, but the difference here is that the, the uh, Samitsu stick does not have the same holes, and I'll show you what I mean. I like the, I prefer the Samitsu. Just want to throw that out there. Thank you, Don. The Samitsu stick does not have four screws, one, two, three, four, it has two, one there and one there, the top and the bottom. So it's a lot harder, unfortunately, to be completely honest, it is a lot harder to mount this simply because- It doesn't really fit It doesn't easily. fit perfectly, and you have to kind of like align it so that both screws are lined up at the same time and leave both yeah. screws with your hand, which is hard because of the wider base as well. Hello, Ronell. Don't fuck up. So that's already, that's good in there. Don't fuck up. The other one is going to be a bitch. This one is so hard. This took me like 15 minutes the last time I did it the other day. What was that, Wednesday? Wednesday. So three days ago? Yep. Enthralling. So enthralled. That's the air conditioner ammo. Wow, this might work easily. Because now you're a pro. You get the, once you get the experience now with these things. I got it. Wow. Excellent. I can't believe I got it on the first try, dude. Awesome, it's all about experience. Dude. So you get it in there. You got to tighten. It's a little bit harder because it's only two screws. Uh-huh. And actually, you know what? I can't finish it with this because it's so, because of this, the base. I have to use a very thin screwdriver to show everyone what I mean. I have to use this sucker. It's almost like a pencil to get in here because the base has this gap here, and that's where you need to fit it. And my other screwdriver was too fat. So I need to use Keep this that, dude. pencil so thin girth. screwdriver to get it in there. So you got to be sure you have the tools you want when you're doing this. And if you want to submit, so you need some extra tools. Get so a little harder. Tightening that in there, okay. Now the one other thing we found through experience the other day, which we didn't know. If you remember on the side, well, all you do is you plug this right into the side. For a Sumitsu, that is not correct. The Sumitsu actually needs this power to be upside down. Mm -hmm. Because if you do it this way, you'll only get down, and only down will work. No other directions. If you flip it like this, uh -huh. 
and then you plug it in, yep. it'll yep. work like a normal joystick. It's that pieces upside down on the Sumitsu sticks. Right. For some whatever reason, they've, they've got it on there upside down. Okay. It's a little bit more difficult to line it up, but I've got it. Push it in. Okay. okay. Sumitsu sticks usually don't come with right the to rock. So we're just going to put the dust cover on there. And then we're going to grab our ball top. You don't need a condom ball all the time. Sumitsu doesn't use condoms. Sumitsu <laughs> doesn't believe in, doesn't in believe condoms. In, in safe uh, assembly. Okay. Skirting around yeah. this condom thing That's again. True. Very so odd. Strongly <laughs> against it. So here you go. Screw the ball onto the shaft. Like so. And then just like we did before to tighten, so go around back, grab your flathead screwdriver, put it into the base. It's just like the Sanwa. Twist the ball to the right while rotating this screwdriver. Tighten it. Oh! Twist the ball. <laughs> now you have... What do we have? A completed Super Street Fighter 2 official Don't Blow All This right, we done yet? joystick with Sanwa buttons and a Samitsu joystick. Another lovely creation. Which we're going to actually test right now on the PS3 because this was the PS3, this stick. Beautiful. Love it. All right, it's tested. All on. right, so this, your is, this is one of four. We will probably do one more video showcasing all four of these sticks. Probably take some photos as well. So when we put these up uh, on eBay, you can basically see the high quality. Hey, maybe we should we make a thread? I'm gonna make a thread. Make a thread with the photos. With, oh, with, we'll link to each big, video big that we've done in the process, and then we'll also this, have the videos. Look at this big business decision being made here. Uh, we're gonna make a big thread, okay? I'm gonna make a thread about this. Are you okay with that, guys? Yeah, I know it's a. Uh, it's against protocol. Usually, we have to talk about it for months before I made a thread. But you know what? I'm gonna make a thread. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go nuts here and make a thread. If he, if he, I think it might be a good idea for our business uh, to make a thread, okay? So I'm gonna sort of I'm gonna use my uh, my leadership role here and make a thread, okay? And I'll also put up the template on how to do this in Photoshop. So you'll have everything you need okay. to to work on your own sticks. But these are also gonna be ours that we're gonna be putting up. So Very I have the thread, by the way. I do have the thread. We're gonna see the thread. I promise you that. Very cool. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Last one. Three minutes and 19 seconds. We got another one. This is the last one, though. Thank fuck for that. The last one. Three minutes and 19 seconds. <laughs> last one. I got to go. I got to make a big tweet real quick, but I'm going to sort of leave you with this one, but I'll be back before it's over. I promise. Here we go. East Coast Customs. Round one. Round one. Sticks. Final look. And that round one is key. Round one sticks. Uh, final look. Be back before this is over. Hang on. Joysticks, which we have created from our first batch, round one of East Coast Customs. Uh, on the far left, you have for the Xbox 360, it is a Chun Li and My Shirinui. Uh, classy makeup. Classy, classy okay. joystick. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it. We'll, we should call that on eBay the classy joystick um, with a white ball top, a uh, Samitsu stick, and six Sanwa buttons: three red, three blue. Uh, up next, we have the Mega Man stick for Xbox Ooh. 360. This one has a Sanwa joystick with a clear uh, bubble style ball top. They call that with blue buttons. Nice one. Up next, we have a freshly made uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Joystick. This one is for the PlayStation 3. This has a Samitsu stick with a yellow ball top and yellow buttons and a custom Don't Blow This logo in the bottom right hand corner. Pretty cool. And then last but not least we have the Marvel vs. Capcom 1 Capcom side uh, cast joystick. This is for the PlayStation 3. This has a Sanwa style joystick. It's a little hard to tell in this lighting but that is a dark blue slash purple uh, joystick ball and buttons. So it's a stone cat. And it's got a stoned cat in the bottom right hand corner. Exactly. What the fuck kind of fish that thing's been eating? I don't want to know. <laughs> Look at its eyeballs. It's so lit up. It's so lit. It's crazy. All right. Oh, real quick, guys. It's got a tip from, you don't have to believe this, very generous $50 tip. From Lisa Liu. Thanks so much, Lisa, for your support of the streams. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep going on. <laughs> crazy so that is a pretty cool stick too so this is the lineup these are the first four sticks we'll be putting up i guess we'll yeah I, I fucked it out you're right i have received that's what i should have said the classy stick the mega man stick the super turbo stick actually we'll probably just call this the don't blow this stick don't blow this <laughs> and the 
Marvel, uh, the Capcom cast. I probably call this the Capcom cast stick or something yeah, like that. Um, the Capcom cast stick, is that what he said? Capcom cast. I probably call this the Capcom cast stick or something yeah. like that. How many K sounds can we put in there? <laughs> we got the Capcom cast. I'm going to call it the Capcom cast stick. The ca -ca -ca we're getting to the Brack Brackets level. And the Marvel, uh, the Capcom cast. I probably call this the Capcom cast stick or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, so these will be going up on eBay sometime next week. Um, okay, hi. Wednesday. Wednesday? The day before Thanksgiving. And do a Wednesday to Wednesday auction. Wednesday to Wednesday. So that way you have the whole Black Friday weekend. Black to Friday. on these, check it out, take a look. I mean, we tested all four of them. They all work beautifully. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. Uh, I'll, I'll basically put up another video with the information once the auctions are available. Right. Uh, this is just a preview right now. A lot of people wanted to see a preview of this coming up this weekend. So here they are. Uh, this is round one. I actually ordered some more joysticks, uh, which we may or may not be modding for ourselves. For us. It might be for us, exactly. Or I actually have a tournament edition stick I've ordered a plexi top for. That might be my stick. I haven't decided yet. But these are really well done. And, uh, these are really well done. Really well done. Really well in done. all honesty, you know, awesome. Some of the best art I've seen on custom art I've seen on sticks. Some of the best custom art I've seen on sticks. Custom art. Yeah. High quality. All the time we go to tournaments and we see shit and we're like, gee, why'd you put shit on your stick? And people are like, well, because all I know is shit. And I said, well, then we're going to have to outdo the shit. Exactly. Uh -huh. We'll take a shit on that shit with our shit. Come on, man. You can't be real with this. This is just shit overload. I mean, it's not even funny. Yeah. And it comes out beautiful somehow. <laughs> All right. So anyway, <laughs> wow. little philosophy I'm dropping on you there. It's like uh, the, the the philosophical speech from Team America: World Police. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, those are the four sticks. Uh, I will give you more information as the auctions go up. But that's it for now. Comment. Let me know what you think, wow. and we'll go from there. Later. Yeah. Yes. We are done with all of the initial East Coast Customs videos. As you can see, they are going to sell these four custom, as they say, uh, joysticks on eBay is the plan, okay? On eBay, that is the plan. Now I'm going to take you to a place we normally dwell on Saturday nights, Eastern Standard Time, into the Density Scrolls, into the SRK Forum. And we are here for good reason, my friend. We are here for good reason. Because basically everyone in this thread is, is talking about these fucking sticks. All right? And I want to make this clear. The dates here is 2000, January 2010. Uh, so, you know, right... They, remember they said no, they want to put it out for Thanksgiving? <clears throat> it's a little bit after that. We're talking about three months after that. But it seems to be when SRK kind of caught wind of it, really. Uh, so, but this is 2010, all right? So 2010, there's a whole topic in itself that we could cover, but SRK has officially turned on DSP. Uh, not because of, like he will tell you, he's become popular on YouTube. It's because, how can I say this? Everyone, just people hate his YouTube, people that are real fans of Street Fighter hate his Street Fighter coverage on YouTube already. Because there's better stuff out there at this point. So just someone bitching about everything and saying everything sucks and all oh, my moves don't come out. No one likes that, right? Everyone, and everyone says just that, right? I'm here. People on SRK are clearly into the game a lot, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they want to get better. They right. want to go to tournaments. <laughs> but eat, a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. Big Up showed up. Thanks for that. I am out of Super Chat prison. Uh, but so, you know, that kind of content that Phil puts out doesn't help anybody. And people noticed that. And SRK became a lot more popular, as they say, with the 09ers, 2009 people, that when they got that new Street Fighter game, they joined SRK. So the old dogs, you know, the old heads, as they're called, the original gamers, they just ignore Phil at this point. But the new people at SRK all hate Phil pretty much. He gets a few supporters, but the people that like his stuff on YouTube aren't hardcore Street Fighter fans. They think what he's saying is funny and it's interesting, right? But they don't give a shit about Street Fighter. So when Phil comes up on SRK at this point, it's never positive, right? It's never positive. Uh, so let's get into it uh, here. And you're going to see what I mean here more. Um, so I, P I pity that FU says, so I saw one of these DSP's videos on the media page, saw his auction links. What the fuck are people smoking? I understand that some people want to support him, but shit, it doesn't even look like it took that much effort at all to put together. Seriously? 
And again, you guys saw the effort that was put into that. Um, We're gonna buy, eat, a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. Big ups to support. I can't see who it was, but big ups to that. To that. So I do have the e He's mentioning an eBay item. And not all of them are available to look anymore uh, to see. But some of them are. And this one will load, I hope. Please load. Please and thank you. Hello. Hello, hello. Here we go. So this is the auction, one of the auctions. The pictures are gone, but just to show you what it looks like back in the day, of course. This was uh, set out in December 1st, so obviously that was one month before that. This was at 113. Um, that's not what it finishes. That's not what it, it's done at, but let's read the auction here. Hello! Up for auction is an East Coast Customs creation. Capcom! Fight Stick, featuring our marvelous Capcom. For the PlayStation 3... Because oh, this, is, this, is this is not the one he's mentioning exactly, but I just want to show you what it looks like. They all look like this. Uh, so the threaded brand new sandwich joystick always get buttons. If you would like DSP and the gang to sign your stick, just ask. Feel free to ask to ask any question you may have. Thank you. And he has the thread. I do have the thread. We're going to get into the thread a little bit later. Uh, here's the playlist for that, where I found the, the playlist we just watched, by the way. Uh, so there you go. This is the auction. Unfortunately, we can't see the images, but you know what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. Uh, that was it. This is The Runner. I don't know whose eBay account that was, if that was DSP's eBay account. Uh, they haven't sold anything since then, but there we go. Let's get back to it, though. Let's get how does this fighting game community, that's SRK, think about it, right? So, uh, first response, wow. Uh, that's it. I'm putting my sticks up for sale on eBay because, wow, they were so shitty, right? They're so bad that I can do that, too, clearly. And is he wrong? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, next up, I don't know what is so special about DSP's hands. If you know, p please tell me. <laughs> Because obviously they are special enough for someone to buy a now $45 stick for $300 plus. Those sticks on eBay are now for $300 plus. Next up, uh, repeated thing, uh, price of a custom stick on eBay? <laughs> $1 million, shout outs to that. Uh, truly uh, Amber Cabal says, I want to stab the guy that made the $305 bid on that thing. I don't care that it's his money and that it could, gets hands on for DSP. I want to stab him. So there's some anger here. Uh, that's a little over the top, but you know. All I know is that D3V has a few words to say about the custom art. Custom art. Custom art. Real quick. D3V is a very good modder. Uh, that's art. That's uh, stuff was featured on websites. Uh, he's the guy that gave the templates to SRK to make these. This is D3V's work. And this is custom art. Right. They put it together made all this it's not uh stolen from it's not stolen from google right this is d this is what d3v does uh and it was featured on capcom's website this is from capcom's official website it was on right that's this is d so just so you know we're dealing with here uh let's go uh kyle says wow just wow it would have been even better if he used the obligatory chun art i painted my se and it was artwork and sandwich joystick and same Mitsu buttons. So is it now worth $300? Yes, I'll buy it. <laughs> Click Slink. Oh, hey, that's cute. He's got an SE for sale, Lamy label, button swap, stick swap, and nothing else. That's it. Oh, you can get it signed by DSP and the crew, whatever the hell that means. Well, I can't fault a guy for trying. Maybe a $70 stick. 100 if he gets lucky and someone likes the artwork. That can't be right. Please, someone convince me that it's people trolling DSP and messing with his auction. As you can hear, uh, the, 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 it's not a positive response so far, gamers. Can you troll on eBay? I thought once you win the bid, you have to commit to it. If you win the auction, you can cancel your bid in most cases before you win. Uh, you can troll. Uh, they're explaining how you can troll. Uh, this person says, oh my God, their thread. One guy said most, well, why, why do I, why do I, why do we read what he said? Let's just read the thread ourselves, shall we? Uh, this is the, this is, and look at this. This is the king of hate, circa, circa November, 2010. All right. This is the actual king of hate forums. This is what it looked like in 2010. I did not edit this in any way. <laughs> this is what the forum looked like in 2010. All right. This is the king of hate. And I love this donate, donate button. I didn't take donate donations for a long time, but there's the donation. 
Uh, let's go down. Dark Side Phil leave a post, and he says, So if you've been following along on YouTube, you know that Dad, Howard, and I have been working on modifying a batch of Street Fighter 4 SE joystick for sale at eBay. The uh, auctions are now up. And he has the video series here. And they're all there. They're all there. They're all there. We saw them all. Um, of course, I showed it to you. And also, I'm attaching high-quality photos of all the joysticks for round one. These will be going up on eBay for auction on late, later this week. Um, and this post will be updated with further info. Apply and let us know what you think. If all goes well, we are looking to release a round two set of sticks and possibly include the TE sticks this time. All right. There we go. Uh, his signature is, It's good to be the king. <laughs> YouTube partner channel, new game playthroughs, Twitter, Dark, Dark Side Phil merch. All donations through PayPal to DarksideFill at Hotmail.com. Shoutouts to PayPal already being in effect. Let's see how his fans read it. They glow with the triple prayer hands. Big ups. Uh, Exhale a bullet says, they look good. I wouldn't have the patience to do all that. Alex Gamer, same. They are very good joysticks. Most of the sticks I find on the internet aren't near as good as these. Matthew Langela says, these sticks look great. Really appreciate all the hard work you guys did to make a detail guide on how to mod the SE stick. You saw the detail guide. You saw the detail guide. Hope to see more of these in the future. Question about step four. Do, does it have to be a friend named John? If so, can I borrow yours? Funny. Oh, wait, I, I got something for that. Hold on. What am I doing? I'm going to do it myself. Come on. <laughs> yours. Yours look freaking awesome. Hoping to try my own in the future. Mega Man stick is amazing. I also like how you split colors on the buttons for giants. I really like how the purple buttons look on the Capcom cast stick too. The don't blow this stick looks nice too, but I hate yellow. LOL. If I played fighters, I'd definitely bid on that Mega Man stick. Gaming King. Phil, Howard, and John. You put a lot of work into these sticks and they are perfect. I've searched all over the web to find sticks like these. But those are all crap. You guys have good parts and nice picks. Great job, guys. Keep up the great work. Honk? <laughs> Big ups, Les Peter Guitar Jam. Onyx. Really digging the stick, Phil. Love the classy Mega Man sticks in particular. Very informative videos. Very informative videos. Very informative videos. Did you saw those very informative videos, friends. Anyways. Don't forget step four, everyone. Spill dangerous nail polish remover on your friends. <laughs> I'm going crazy this episode. I'm not going to make this one, man. Those sticks are awesome. And the videos are extremely interesting. Also, for whom who don't. Hold on. Let me try this again. I'm going to read it as it is. And the vehicles. The, <laughs> And the vi videos are extremely interesting, also for whom who don't own don't plan to mod the sticks. Cool. Very cool. Awesome custom joysticks. I have a question. Where'd you find to get the parts from? All right. Let's continue on. There's a few more pages here, as you can see. <laughs> uh, hold on. Wayback machine loading. Here we go. Oh, wait, this is round two. So, sorry, I don't want to jump ahead. I do not want to jump ahead. Uh, we're going to get to that. I promise you we're going to get to round two. There's a round two spoiler alert. I told you we'd be here a while. I told you we'd be here a while. Let's get back to SRK, see what they think here. Uh, so, the, if, if I didn't have it, that means the link doesn't work. I tried all the links, I promise. But if they're not there, that means the links didn't work. And that, we can only see the first page, sadly. Let's move on positively. Um, let's go to, yeah, the, e the eBay listing reeks of serious douchebaggery. I just hope that the person who buys this posted in my new arcade stick thread is some hot deal they got. Besides, DSP, really? I know he has a small following of fans and supporters, but his name, but his name isn't enough to justify the big price hike, on, price hike on a maybe $80 custom. I've never seen this guy in any serious tournaments this year. I'm not hating, but that's just too much of a ripoff. For that price, one could have a really fine custom from any of the well-established and overperforming modders here. Well. You're, okay, he's talking about how to um, how to how to troll DSP. All right, this is they're like literally saying how can we troll DSP live on SRK here. Um, I said a more brilliant plan. DSP or crew bid way higher than the count. Tell runner up that the highest. So he's just saying how to troll via DSP basically. 
Please, God, I know I don't believe you exist, but seeing proof of this being people fucking with DSP would really help my warm fuzzies towards humanity as a whole. That's how much this guy's hated already in 2010. It's very intense. Don't worry, Doomer. I got it. I got you, Doomer. All right, let's keep going down. I doubt anyone who buys these overpriced things knows Tech Talk and the stick thread. Tech Talk is, a, is a, the word, you know, people learn, talk about how to mod things on, the, on SRK. Otherwise, they know they could easily get a tee with custom artwork, plexiglass, matching buttons, MC Cthulhu with RJ45 and 360 dual mod without even doing a damn thing themselves. Can't fault me for clicking the report button on the auction, right? Pretty sure somewhere there's copyright infringement on the art. There's copyright infringement on the art, okay? So this is key. Pretty sure somewhere there's some copyright infringement on the art. That, and it makes me sick to my fucking stomach to call these custom sticks. By the way, I should have stated. Uh, this is the custom, uh, the talk, tech talk thread where, like, these people are hardcore into this, man. You know, it's not... It's not like they're, they're, they're idiots doing this stuff for fun. I mean, they're really into this hobby, and some of them sell their work, but they do actually put work in. Crazy mofos. Okay, I'm done. Gotta sell it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, sadly, this one... Or just laugh that DSP is scared that one of his sticks USB's cables is fraying and he might not be able to find a replacement. <laughs> so one of the one of the sticks apparently uh, was was like was uh, fraying. They still sold that. We don't get the, the the finish of that. But someone says, "Oh no!" Laughing at him. Um, wonder how much my so people just talking about. It's kind of like redundant at this point. It's the same thing. Here, here's someone answering, "Who is DSP though?" A DSP is a shitty player that posts vids of him bitching nonstop while sucking at any game he plays, yet for some odd reason, he has quite a huge fan base. 2010, December. Freezer B, what is this? I don't even. Ignorance is bliss. Terrible. Just terrible. Never paid much attention to DSP, but that shit is just awful. It's extremely... <laughs> but it's extremely difficult. Whoa, what the fuck will I do? Anyways, uh, it keeps going. Uh, it keeps going. It keeps going. Uh, here he goes. Haha, I'm sure his latest eBay stuff is getting trolled. Looks like it isn't the first time either. Okay, so is it is the first time either? Uh, then again, I wasted more time looking at this forum. Blah, blah, blah. So I might as well show it now then, right? I mean, you want to see it. He does get trolled in a big way. And where is it? Here it is. Um, so this is not even the first one. The title of this is DSP gets trolled on eBay again, right? So this is a second one. But this video here is from 2011, January 13th. We're still in that same month. Uh, <laughs> but uh, sus art here. But let's get to this person updated. This troll, the, the, the name of the account is Trolls Will Win. So there's already Trolls, uh, Trolls Will Win account. It's January 13th, 2011. Let's see what this gentleman does. The King of Trolls is his website, his, 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 his uh, username. He's got a fucking glove on, which is kind of creepy. Like, this video is creepy, but, you know, let's, we got to watch it, right? That's what we're here for. So the final price the final price of that was $440 So this is uh yeah the a <laughs> time before direct capture trolls. This was a, a video style troll job and apparently 
so I'm going to read the comment here so you can see it here. Uh, it says, um, Common sense would tell you someone as hated as DSP should stay off eBay because he is bound to be trolled. 2011, someone as hated as DSP. Uh, this was the prize Mega Man Xbox 360 stick auction from November that DSP fans were going crazy over and what Phil was banking on being his biggest sale yet. Turns out he got nothing for it. The bid went all the way up to 430, but me being the fine gentleman I am decided to swoop in with an even bigger bid at the last minute and win it all. Only I was another troll and wasn't going to pay. I sent DSP a message outside of eBay saying that they got trolled again and that he should stop selling the stuff on eBay. He never ended up selling it because the claim process took over a week after everything else sold and he tried covering it up since he never spoke of it again or relisted. I am also still on eBay and was well worth the strike against my account to hit DSP where it hurts financially. Mission accomplished. Also, I apologize to DSP cult leader and others who were expecting the video on the 1st of 2011. I was caught up with work. Something DSP obviously can't fathom and forgot about it. Damn, man. <laughs> yeah, this is th this is kind of whatever, but like it, it shows how hated he was, which I think is interesting. I didn't know how hated he was back then. You know, this is fucking early days, but he's already this hated. I mean, SRK hates him now. Like SRK has turned so hard. I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. And it's not about everyone's get jealous of him. It's everyone hates his content, right? And, but, uh, let's keep going. I want to get to DM4's comment here. Uh, so we did see that. T so it's just like, it's just like constant douchebaggery here. Uh, how much of that artwork that DSP uses is stolen from someone else? Great question. Naraz says, I'd say somewhere in the range of 100%. His how to make custom artwork in Photoshop a.k.a. how to stretch a stolen picture into the dimensions of an SC template. <laughs> it's just him stretching a prefab picture into a template. The worst part is how terrible the dimensions were of the original compared to the ratio of the template. I think D3V needs to have a word with him. And remember, DV3 is that one we saw. Uh, this person said, Did no one notice that the art for the Chun Mai stick doesn't even fit? Giant whiteboard on the right side. For fuck's sake. This person says his subscribers are too busy meat riding to notice. And again, this YouTube channel, I can't look at the comments because it's down, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a mess. It's, it's a mess. I do want to get to when DV3, uh, 2742, uh, 2846, we get back into it. Um, it's a lot of talk of this. I'm trying to get to make sure I don't miss the DV4. Uh, two, seven, I'm getting there guys. I'm getting there. Two, eight, four, six. This thread is massive dude. This thread is like, this thread went on until 2018. Not just about DSP cause it's all about tech stuff, but fuck man. This thread is one of the most prolific on the whole fucking site. So it's a bitch to get through. Two, eight, four, six. Uh, we're not going to stay here too long, but I do have to, I do have to show what the G common SRK user is thinking about this, right? That's my job. <clears throat> so DV3 is here. Uh, DV3 shows up. Um, so he's in here. Uh, and someone says, where am I at? Two eight. Two, I'm going to get to it here. Fuck it. Two seven four eight. I'll get you there. We'll get there together positively. Two eight four six. It takes forever to fucking load because there's 18 million thousand posts. So just cut up on the thread from a few days ago. Who the hell was D this DSP cat? So someone that doesn't even know who he is. Man, I'm so tempted to put a custom or two over theirs and say, how much do you think this costs just to stir up shit? $300 for a part swap SE? How the hell can they sleep at night? Shaking my head. In other news, okay, whatever, whatever. So you see, someone doesn't know who DSP even fucking is at this point. Um, there's some more pain coming though. Uh, 2920. There's some good fucking booms in here that I want to highlight. So it's worth it. Uh, and this is like way later. And we thought DSP was gouging people. Ouch. And uh, I put so someone selling a hoary thing for a lot of money. Uh, so I was selling a legitimate, like just Japanese style stick for like $400 on eBay. No one bought it. That's why he said, we thought DSP was gouging people. Paper Tiger says, DSP would need to pay me to even touch one of his shit coast custom, whatever the fuck he thinks those are. 
Remember, guys, USB cables are a hard-to-find replacement part. That's what he said in the forum, by the way. The link I can't find. Uh, I can't open anymore. You got to get the one with the second ground. But on to more important issues. So, Phil, again, these people know what they're talking about, so they know, like, it's not hard to do that. But there we go. Uh, now we go to more, um, more shit about this. I'm going to have to keep doing it this way. Uh, where is the 3064? It's just a, just, it's an endless, I, well, there's, there's probably a 500 posts here about it. Um, oh, this could get interesting. Wonder if, oh yeah, so DV, DV3, oh yeah, by the way, let me show you this. So DV3, the legend here, that's the moderator of this fucking s s thread, went to the original Capcom website, right? Back to the original Capcom website and said, is this, is this, um, is this uh, uh, fucking copyright, right? Is this copyright? And DSP responded on that thread. Unfortunately, massive unfortunately, the Capcom forms are no longer there. Wayback Machine doesn't work. But he got DV, D3V got flamed by DSP back there. Dark and DV3 apparently called him, D, DV3 called him Dark Scrub Fail. Uh, and, uh, so he replied, D3V, unfortunately, I can't see it. You know, I can't see it anymore. It fucking sucks. Uh, but he replied to him, uh, this could get interesting. Wonder if anyone else should hit the thread and take DSP down a few notches. Just post a random custom or three and note, this is what 300 should look like. Right? So people just are, dude. Oh yeah. Phil said this word too on the forum. I can't see, but he says this, my name has value. My name has value. Which is not a wrong statement when he has such a fucking huge YouTube, uh, you know, following. But it's just funny, right? It, it's very funny to say that yourself. My name has value, okay? Keep my name in your mouth because it has value, right? It's funny. It, it's a funny thing to say. Dude, art swap SEs for 300 plus repeatedly. Now, not the great stick famine of 09, skipping the whole I ain't got nothing to do with those versus you're trolling me specifically contradiction. He may actually have a point on that one. It makes me weep for humanity as a whole and baffle every core value I hold dear. But that's the one point of that one I can't argue. It may be time for me to take up scotch as a hobby. <laughs> you could just link your post to your sticky thread. Plenty of stuff above and beyond DSP, East Coast custom skill. This... this so this person says, fair enough, uh, true enough. I guess it's shocking that everyone seems to hate him, and yet there are still few idiots that will actually pay that and call everyone else haters. What's to hate on? He doesn't actually do anything other than complain about shit. I do wonder if it's because of the name or if it's because they simply stumbled on the sale page and honestly don't know any better. Either way, I'm very sad for my people, for some people. Uh, people are saying, like, I still think it was a trolled eBay sale, maybe even a friend that BS the payment. Ignorance is bliss, I guess, but if I were a parent buying a $300 item for my kid on eBay, I would at least check to see what the going rate is for that. Uh, we could go forever on this. My feeble mind cannot comprehend these buyers. He's talking about dents, by the way. I've got a bottle of blue label. Everyone's talking about that. Um, so do I make fun of DSP for actually selling sticks at such prices or the fans that actually pay that ridiculous price? Come to realize the clown is asking his fans to go to a site that'll pay him by how many people watch an entire video of his, and he asks his fans to watch the same video again and to tell their friends. Damn, I know people gotta eat, but seriously? Panhandling over the internet now? <laughs> oh, if you only knew. There's 13 years more of that. <laughs> he hasn't even getting started. This isn't even his final form. <laughs> This isn't even his final form. This is beginning. This is not even panhandling. <laughs> this is selling something at least. <laughs> at least he's selling something at this point. Okay, now this that's just stupid. I now believe DSP's fans are some of the dumbest individuals ever. That's like the oppressed being satisfied with being oppressed. Then the fans label my opposition as hate or a hater, which apparently in their retarded language makes, means some form of popularity or fame. I am seriously losing my faith in mankind as we speak. If, it's, if it isn't already lost. <laughs> it's 
So people know in 2010, right? It's amazing. <laughs> Silly DSP, leave the simple shit to other people and leave the modding to the modders. Uh, this one's interesting. If you read his post on the forum, which we can't read anymore, it would seem that he thinks that Capcom teamed up with the Mad Cats with the express purpose of him selling those custom sticks. That checks out. He also mentions that he knows S uh, Kill out of nowhere, almost as if he thinks it will shut everyone up. Everyone he's, Everything he says reeks of, me, 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 me. I can name a, at least one mental disorder this is falling into. Some person has a little bit of pushback, right? But it says, nope, just some same bullshit sense of entitlement that has plagued Americans since the 1960s. Too many people think they're owed something by someone these days. In his case, it's everyone's attention. This is why I like you guys so much. Your compliments are shown with hard work and the respect of the community, not because you've told someone you're awesome and forced them to believe it. I would move on, but there's just so many good, there's some good takes in here, you know? There are some good takes in here. Um, but I, obviously I can't go forever. It, it really does just go on forever. And there's no like, there's no like, um, you know, big thing. There's no like big, like, wow. But it's just like really, really, he's just not getting love from anybody, anybody. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, eBay is not flooded with custom sticks to choose from. As a result, it's probably not hard. It's probably not. It's probably hard for someone not in the know browsing eBay to judge what takes a lot of effort and what does not. DSP does a good job of selling his work, so people are essentially paying for his enthusiasm. LOL. As simplistic as it is, it too makes my stomach turn to see someone turn such a profit on such little work. But then again, I'm not motivated enough to flood eBay with reasonably priced sticks either. Sadly, I think the burden lies with us to educate the masses, and I can't say it's high on my priority list. Very fine take. Very fine take. Uh, I love how he's actually got a team name for his hack jobs. East Coast Customs, my ass. And this is my favorite quote. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with this. Can't say I expected any more from DSP. Talentless, lazy, and attention craving to the very end. December of 2000. And 10. <laughs> uh, we're going to end on that. We're going to end on that one. We're going to end on that one. We've seen enough there. Not end the show, by the way. We're going to end this part of the saga with that one. Uh, but let's end that. Mastermind. Uh, so it, it keeps on going. No one likes it. No one likes it. All right. Let's check out the, um, let's check out the, the, we already checked out this one, the Capcom arcade fighting stick. Let's see what else we got. We have a, uh, oh, this is, this is the round one, th the, the, uh, fucking, let me see if I make sure I can't click round two. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Nope. Thread two, thread three, Liana armed, but not Asian. Big ups. Great pull there. Uh, okay. Nope. I can't put you into the links, but let's go to, we're going to go to the round two here. So round two, unfortunately there's no vids there. Well, probably thank God there's no vids there. Uh, but we're going to check out the round two, uh, forums and this unfortunately these forums are saved in this state so it's kind of hard to read but but here we go dsp is talking here i'm proud to announce that the round two of east coast customs modified joysticks are completed and ready for auction on ebay the auctions are now up i've created a video on youtube to announce them okay this time we have the jury dj dj Mega Man, akuma hateful truth uh here are the videos of us hard at work putting these together and learning the hard lesson of what not to do as i completely destroy the body of a joystick Unfortunately, I don't have I don't have the video of these. I do not. Uh, but thank fuck for that, right? Honestly, I'm saying thank fuck for that. Let's read his uh, let's read his responses. Akuma is so off center it hurts, but I see why you did it. Great sticks. Okay, so someone has a very calm response. This is a, a forum uh, and bear, and Phil of course has to respond. If we'd centered Akuma, then one. The logo would have, wouldn't have fit, and two, the joystick buttons would have been covered most of the art, which would have made the joystick pointless. This was the best orientation, and we feel the stick is still very aesthetically presentable. 
Mega Man is a crowd pleaser. Wouldn't be surprised. The only weak ones in this batch, in my opinion, are the Akuma and Jury Sticks. Akuma is too plain for my taste, and the Jury Pink Buttons and clear purple ball top don't match enough. Nice variation of sticks overall. Good job. So a little nice, nice criticism. I'm just saying, hey, I don't like this one as much. How does Phil take that? Oh, you know we got to fucking respond, bitches. Unfortunately, they don't make a ball top and buttons that match in these colors. You'd only get dark blue, which is what we used for the Marvel vs. Capcom stick last time. But this didn't match the colors of the artwork, or pink buttons, or the purple ball top. Ball top. Ball top. They actually don't make a clear ball top or truly purple buttons. Anyways, the jury stick is a front runner right now, so I don't think it's an issue. <laughs> Good job, guys. Hey, DSP, I was wondering if you buy an SD stick, you get the free... Oh, okay, whatever. Serious talk. I'm not getting into serious talk. Uh, this is that same thread, round, round two auctions. Hey, DSP, I was wondering if... Uh, probably SF4, blah, blah, blah. The jury skin is the best looking one. Great batch of sticks yet again. Um, how about some Mortal Kombat designs? Uh, someone cl claps back and says, yes, they do actually sell the colors that I was asking for that I thought would be a better idea for that jury stick, right? So, what does Dark Side Phil say? Write a fucking book. Gah! Yeah, when I ordered, they were out of a lot of stuff. Probably as a result of the publicity they got from us in our first round of East Coast Customs. <laughs> Ready? I'll read it one more time. <laughs> I have to. I can't. That's what we're here for. <laughs> when I ordered, they were out of a lot of stuff. Probably as a result of the publicity. They got from us in our first round of East Coast Customs Joysticks. We basically shut down the website. Anyways, the ball top matches Jury's outfit, and the pink buttons match the motion blur of her kick. So we still love our choices on this stick. The copy of the game included is Street Fighter 4, not Super Street Fighter 4. Also keep in mind, it's a U.S. copy, so it more likely will work in international systems. Finally, we will be doing MK6 in the future as we approach the release of the new MK game. Anyways, that's it. I think the third one is up. I believe we have even more. Oh, yeah, I have the jury auction. Uh, unfortunately, the picture's not there. This is $189 at time of, of archiving. Let's read the description. Uh, hello, F for Auction East Coast Custom Jury Fight Stick created by Darkside and Darkside Phil and Company. This stick has brand new same it's a joystick and sound with buttons. If you'd like DSP and the gang to sign your stick, just ask the winner of this auction. The winner of this auction will also receive a signed copy of Street Fighter 4 for the Xbox 360. Same exact layout as the round one. This time, though, there's one important adi addition. Bidders with zero feedback may bid, but must send me a message to verify they are legit. All right? They have to verify they are legit because in round one, some stuff happened, right? Some stuff happened. Okay? Let's go. Uh, last thing here before we get into more modern style, modern style Phil talking about East Coast Customs. That'll be our closer for the for today. Uh, here's one more. Uh, the DJ auction, 132. Only six bids here, though. Uh, same thing as before. Whatever. Nothing crazy. And we can't see the picture, which sucks, but there we go. I tried the link. Doesn't work. DJ Arcade Stick. And I love the title. Dark Side Phil. Hi. Okay. Moving forward positively. This is October. 8th. Oh, sorry. I, I had to upload this myself. This is on King of Hate HD, so I had to upload this myself. This is actually um, November right before the sticks went live. Okay. So November right before the sticks went live. We have uh, early DSP here. Let's go. Soon, uh, we have not heard yet on uh, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2. So this is the kind of bad situation that I was trying to avoid. This is what I was telling everyone, everyone who was repeatedly contacting me and saying, "Phil, why don't you just sell your games on eBay?" This is the problem. You have real shithead haters who fucking just love to shit in the middle of your living room floor. They would really, if they could, they would walk and you would knock on your door and you say, "Hello, who are you?" And you guys are enjoying the this. stream. Please give it a like. So far, 175 likes and climbing. That's crazy thank you guys you want to see a good waddle i'll show you a waddle you came here for a waddle i'll give you a waddle if they could they would walk and you would knock on your door and you say hello who are you and they just walk in your house like this and they just <laughs> pop a squat right here in the middle of the floor and they go oh yeah nothing happened and this is what they think get their jollies from um there's sick people like that <laughs> out in the world so 
unfortunately, one of them got me this week, and that's what happens. Um, and we'll see what happens. I have two more auctions up right now. Uh, as you know, it's actually for GoldenEye 007 and Fable 3, both the collector's editions. Both of them... One of them got me, so it did. The, the op did work. I mean, it's fucked up, but the op did work. We're going for a decent amount now. Just so everyone knows, Goldeneye is actually going for pretty cheap. It's up to only thing ninety dollars, and to buy this in the store was like seventy something dollars. So, you know, really, this one, I guess, a lot, a lot of people are interested in Goldeneye, but uh, you know, Fable, however, is over two hundred dollars. But again, I have to worry about G. Even though I'm blocking people who have zero feedback and all that, is someone pulling my leg? Is someone trying to fuck with me again? And that's why, for the longest time, I was staying away from eBay, but now, unfortunately, it looks like, you know, I wanted to try it and see what would happen, and now, unfortunately, we're getting this bad, the negative stuff, so please, if you're interested, go ahead <laughs> and go take a look and bid. I'm going to include the links to these two games in the description of my video here. Okay. Um, if we don't hear any from anyone with Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, we might be forced to relist the game, which kind of sucks now because we've been really lost over a week where we, you know, people could have had it and enjoyed it because some fucking shithead hater had the fucking shit in the middle of our living room. But again, we have to do that do? again. Um, that's life. So you got to roll the punches. Um, yep. Well, I'll let you know if anything happens with that. Now, besides okay. the eBay stuff, okay. there's a couple other things going on. I'll let you know. Pretty exciting. First of all, I might have to raise the price on Titus. <laughs> Our box of parts have arrived for modifying those joysticks, which we've been talking about for months now. And uh, just to give you guys a little flavor of some of the ideas. Little flavor. Just to give you guys a little flavor. Not a taste. Just to give you guys a little flavor. You ready for a little flavor? Open up. Which we've been talking about for months now. And uh, just to give you guys a little flavor of some of the ideas that we have. I mean, take a look. We got custom buttons, all Sanwa professional grade buttons. Oh shit! This is I'm, I'm, I usually try to go from forward to back, but I fucked up here. This is this is before the initial videos were shown. I should have played this first, but you know, forgive me. Uh, we've got all kinds of different color ball tops. Ball <laughs> tops. <laughs> that that's the star of the show today is ball tops. Look at those ball tops. That's gonna be a card. I guarantee that. Give me some ball tap. Both Samitsu and Sanwa joysticks. Oh, you got so both? To decide what kind of control style we want to make these. Double, double styles, the double styles. The we're going to be doing is actually going to be these joysticks, the small ones that were released in 2009 for the release of Street Fighter 4. So Whoa. what we're going to actually do is uh -huh. we're going to go ahead. Actually, is there a better picture? Yeah, there is right here. What we're going to do is we're going to completely replace the joystick, the buttons. We're going to replace them with custom ones. We're going to oh, have shit. custom artwork, which we're going to print out for these joysticks and replace the artwork that's already on them. And then we're going to have buttons and a joystick color to match those. So this, we're going to really soup these up and make them tournament worthy. Now we actually... We're going to make them tournament worthy. <laughs> we have two for the PlayStation 3 and two for the Xbox 360. So you're actually going to be able to buy the stick and it's your choice if you would like us to sign it. Um, so that's interesting though. He already knows that eBay fucks him. So I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong with my timeline because he got fucked with his games on eBay and he's going to go back to that well again and then he does get fucked again on eBay. So, I mean, you know. Actually, with like a marker or something like that, we can nice drink there. Take a big sip. That was a self sip. You would like us to sign it? Um, actually, with like a marker or something like that, sip. we can do that. Um, or if you just want to buy the stick and actually go use it in tournaments, and yeah, stuff I want like to do that, that. You can do that. Awesome. Um, I would highly recommend that if you want us to sign it, that you have a sign it in a place where your hands won't rub, like maybe above the buttons or something like that. But you choose where to sign it. <laughs> what? I recommend you tell us to sign it somewhere where they won't rub. Don't you choose where to sign it? What? That you have a sign in a place where your hands won't do that. Um, I would highly recommend that if you want us to sign it, that you have a sign in a place where your hands won't rub, like maybe above the buttons or something like that. Uh -huh. But anyway, that's our idea. We have you sign it wherever... <laughs> okay, okay, just keep going. Where are these sticks lying around? <laughs> yeah, please sign the ball top. I want the sign ball tap, please. I'm for a while now, and I wanted to modify... Talk about my ball top. Touch my ball top? I'm touching it now. Fine, well, we just haven't had a chance. We're going to go ahead and do that, and those will go up on eBay. We're hoping, I mean, we're hoping we can meet sometime this week at the latest to try to start modifying these sticks and get our ideas together for artwork and stuff like that to start getting <laughs> these ready to go. And uh, <laughs> where, where am 
my signing. You still haven't told me. <laughs> we want to get these up for auction. Excuse me, Phil. Could you sign this on the USB wire? Thank you. Around the week of. Th could you? Could you sign this on the underside? Could you sign the literal wires that went to the buttons that you pulled out? Remember when you pulled out the bu the one button and broke it? Could you please sign that wire? Thank you. Thanksgiving. <laughs> huh? So that way it's like the week of Black Friday. So when everyone's doing their Christmas shopping, you know, those could also go up on eBay for auction. So oh, that's our sick. goal. Hi. Um, but we're not sure uh, 100% if we're going to be able to do that. But... Uh, Pretty cool. We got all these custom parts, and I actually have an idea already I have for I want to make a Mega Man stick. I think that would be really cool, especially with... 1.3 speed, by the way. The uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 coming out. Well, not that Mega Man's in it, but he might be in it. And uh, I think that might be a cool thing to do, so that might be one idea that I have. Um, okay, great. But I might have other things coming up in my head, too. It all depends on what art we can find, you know, what, what we're doing. What art we can find? ideas we have between now and the time we make them in the next two weeks. Um, now, outside of just those sticks, we actually do have the full tournament size sticks, um, the tournament editions. I have one that was made in 2009. It was the original uh, wave of the tournament edition sticks for Street Fighter 4, and then we have a Super <laughs> Street Fighter 4 stick from this year, earlier this year, and I've actually purchased or ordered, I haven't gotten them yet, uh, clear plexiglass tops for those, and the cool thing about those sticks is we can custom art sign it and put the plexiglass top on top. Of custom art? He keeps saying custom art. And now they won't smudge. You can actually use that stick in a tournament if you wanted, and it wouldn't smudge anything because you got the plexiglass top on it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't decided. I really want to make a stick for me. Right now I have nothing, you know, no custom stick for me. I'm thinking maybe that the, the one that came out this year, the Team Tournament Edition S, I might actually make just for me. And uh, But the other one, we might actually dual mod it, which means we might make it so that it works with the PlayStation 3 and an Xbox 360. And uh, that way, no matter what, where you are, what tournament you're going to, that stick's going to work with whatever setup they have there, and you don't have to bring multiple sticks or worry about, oh, gee, what version of the game is this? You'll have a stick that works with everything. So nice. we're thinking about doing that as well. Obviously, that stick would be probably a little bit more on the pricey side because it has so many features. Just the dual Whoa. mod itself, I believe, adds something like $70 to the value of the stick. But we'll see what we're going to do. Uh, right now, we're really focused on getting these little sticks done. And uh, when those plexiglass tops comes, then we'll worry about the other sticks. But anyway, keep your eyes open for that. We will be talking about that in the next couple of weeks. Actually, when we modify these, I'm going to make videos of it so people can kind of understand. Wish we had those videos. Glad we already finished watching those fucking videos. You know, what the modification process is. We've done that before. About two years ago, I did that when I first modified some sticks. But I think it's time to bring it out again. You know. Yeah, so there is a playlist on King of 8 HD about that. Couldn't find those videos, though. Again, I have to have the link to be able to download it. And if you go to that channel, King of 8 HD... They're all blocked, region blocked, unless you're in one of those three countries, apparent to the agricultural website, of course. Remind everyone, you know, this is how you, you do know, Kosovo, really crazy countries are the only ones allowed to watch those King of Fate HD videos. It's really not that hard, especially if you order crazy. Part. When I say crazy, I mean ex ob small countries that are kind of not every VPN even has them because they're so. Yeah, no, Francisco, I got a paid VPN and, and I asked other people, they don't have Kosovo on their VPN list. From certain places and stuff like that. If someone has it, please let me know because I would definitely. Love it, um, but <laughs> all right. So obscure style, smaller population style countries. I want to make that clear. I should not have said strange. They are small, obscure style countries that don't, the that don't have as many people as some other countries. Is the website thekingofhate.com? Don't want to pull a Howard here. <laughs> um, one quick response to a bunch of questions at the beginning, and then some really cool news. The response is a lot of people have been. Oh, Doomer, it's Block Worldwide. Okay, thank you then. But they're still you can still download them, which is very odd, right? You can still download them. Like, you, if you have the link, they are all downloadable, but you cannot watch them. Telling you, Phil, it doesn't work with Internet Explorer. Well, number one, you're absolutely right. The main page of the website does not work with Internet Explorer. The okay, I'm done with this. We still have so much more to go through. You heard that story about that. It was a little bit out of, out of context, but you got it. Uh, here is, again, this is, um, I wanted to show this because this is where we get a little bit of the thought of um, how, <clears throat> why he's making these sticks, okay? This is where it's important. Um, <clears throat> so this is the video entitled Laid Off My Reaction, okay? This is when he started being a YouTuber. So that's that. I'm not going to go on too much long longer, but obviously I got to get plugs in, especially now. And if you, if you hate on me for trying to get plugs in when I get laid off, fuck you. Don't watch my <laughs> <laughs> He's already saying this? His literal first video as a YouTuber. He says this. Especially now. And if you so that's that. I'm not going to go on too much longer, but obviously I got to get plugs in, especially now. And if you, if you hate on me for trying to get plugs in when I get laid off, fuck you. Don't watch my videos. Go ahead and make a negative comment. I'll block you 10 ways from fucking Sunday. Whoa. I'll block you 10 ways from fucking Sunday. Whoa, this guy's hard. First of all, I have merchandise, as you can see, on Cafe Press. It's at WW. That looks high quality. Damn, look at that high quality t-shirt. It fits well.
www.cafepress.com slash darksidephil. I actually just updated the site. If you remember the other shirt that I had, it was the, the, the logo with my face on it, yeah. which is on my Twitter page. Um, hold on. Hold so on. You can see it. Hang I on. I have it on the bottom here. This logo, um, I, I contacted the fan who made this logo, and he blew it up for me, and I've now made it. Dude, this is intentional. Listen to this blue. Listen to this blue. Um, I... I contacted the fan who made this, All right. this logo. And That's the moment the blue is unten is coming out. Look at that. That's the blue. Jasper made a sound like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. Money, money. Blue, blue. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the tit sweat. That's the bonus. That's what the, that's a good feature of this shirt, is that it catches it. Right? So that's, that's better. So we got the blew it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a feature, guys. <laughs> Who let the blue... <laughs> Who let the blues out? Blue, 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 blue. Who let the blues out? Blue, 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 blue. Who let the ball tops out? Balls. Pull, pull, pull. All right. Blew it up for me, and I've now made a whole new line of t-shirts with the bigger logo. They look great. Way better than the old ones where it was oh, way thanks. smaller. <laughs> so um, go check that out. I do make a small amount of profit off of the stuff that I sell on Cafe Press. Very small, but I do make it. <laughs> you don't have to say this, dude. Come on. I make a small profit. Small, okay? Small. You can barely even see it. It's like an ant. I do make a small amount of profit off of the stuff that I sell on Cafe Press. Very small, but I do make it. Um, oh, God. Thanks so much for saying that. I do accept donations to oh. PayPal. You go to PayPal.com. The Greatest Nation? Donation. Um, and send <laughs> donations to DarkSideFill at Hotmail.com. Um, all that information is both on the DSP Gaming page. I think it's on the King of Hate HD page. It's on the Dark Side Phil page. Um... So please, again, if anyone wants to, I'm not begging, I'm not even asking, I'm just throwing it out there if you want to contribute. <laughs> I'm not begging, I'm not even asking, I'm just saying. ...towards the cost of games, towards what I'm doing, and again, please, if you're going to donate, do it for that. Do it because you like what I do, you like, you think I'm entertaining, and you want to see me keep doing it. Don't do it because of pity or anything like that. I am not by any means asking for that. Um... Because, like I said, I'm the kind of person, I'm going to dust myself off, I'm going to get through this, and I'm going to figure shit out with my life. So, you don't have to... I'm going to dust myself off and figure this shit out. That's where you come in. worry about me. You really don't. Um, but, obviously, especially with the holidays coming up and all the games coming out, anything... This is amazing. Amazing. Like, you know, you say, like, he's never changed, but this is incredible. This is literally the first time he's made a, a video as a YouTuber without, like... You know, without like, you know, having any of the job. And he just said this exact same thing. Game's coming out. Amazing. I think that you can contribute with help. And if you, you know, if I get enough donations and I have the time, which it looks like I'm going to have, I might be able to play more games than what I even announced over here. I mean, there were some days where there were two to three games coming out. Now I might be able to actually play them all rather than have to pick and choose between them. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm obviously going to be looking for a job as well. So it's not like I'm going to 100 Spoiler, he wouldn't find that. And he probably didn't even start looking. percent be making videos. Um... But yeah, um, and like I said, coming up, we'll be looking at maybe doing custom joysticks and things like that. Please continue to watch my videos. Um, uh, <laughs> Keep watching. I wouldn't doubt if this video ends up being very highly viewed simply because of what happened. Um, so let me give this a chance to just give a shout out to all of them, for the people who've helped me. You know, all the people, first of all, and I'm, I'm not going to name names because there's so many people that have helped me, I can't even... Remember, and whoop, I apologize, whoop, but whoop. people who've made backgrounds for me, people who've made custom songs for me, and Ghost Drone, I don't know where you went, man, but, you know, a lot of people love <laughs> your stuff and want you to come back, but the other people that have done it as well. <laughs> he ran away already. <laughs> He's one person doing fan art that already ran away. <laughs> um, my friends, my family, um, the people who... Oh, God, you know, we got to get God, too? Don't forget him. I met through you two who've helped me out, um, and, and, you know, some people who actually become really special to me. Um, this whole YouTube thing's been amazing. It's changed my life in a massive way. Yes. You know, this could have been a situation where I got laid off and what? I had absolutely nothing mm -hmm. going for me. And I would end up being a depressed mess and who knows what would have happened. But because of what's going on with 
YouTube, I have something going on. And that okay. is something that, you know, a lot of people can't say. I am extremely grateful for that. Extremely I am extremely grateful for every view that I get on my videos. Mm -hmm. um, and so I do want to kind of apologize to anyone who maybe, you know, sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I, sh I, I sh when I shoot from the hip and I'm honest, sometimes I overdo it. And so, you know, I might be reading a comment and someone said, who leaves a negative comment. And sometimes it's really nasty. And let me just tell you, if you leave a really nasty comment on a video, you're getting blocked. I've said that a hundred times. But sometimes there are people who just like might say, uh, uh, not a really hateful remark, but something negative, and I take it the wrong way and I block them. So I apologize to those people. I hope you don't take it personally because I don't mean it personally. It's just sometimes I get a temper and I fly off the hook, and that's what happens. Um, fly off, that's off the hook. I go off the hook. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I am so grateful. Okay, we got to keep going. I, I could keep watching this because it's interesting, but like, we got to keep going. I still have so much to get through, and I literally have probably an hour left where I have to go. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Moving forward positively. Moving forward positively. We're going to go to the thread now with round three. Um, there was a round three as well, uh, just so you know. Uh, so there was a round three from King of Hate. The updated look here, King of Hate. This was still the same fucking month, by the way. Round three happened in January. The first one was, you know, round Thanksgiving. This is round three. Uh, DS and John Rambo have cleared wave she three. sucks his dick. <laughs> yeah. Logan says, people he met through YouTube that are very special. Could it be in Leanna's DMs here? I believe this is pre-Leanna, but uh, I'm not sure. Catherine the Hopeful, five gout crystal. Catherine the Hopeful, great card. Don't tell that to eBay. I will troll your eBay if you do that. Uh, anyway, so this one he's got for round three. Devil May Cry stick, a Wesker stick, a Spider-Man and She-Hulk stick, a Super Scroll stick. I love this, by the way. Look at this. TKOH, King, DSP. This is, oh yeah, probably, yeah, Leanna was super young here, right? This is 2011. How old was, how old was Leanna at this point? Very young, yeah. Too young. But that doesn't mean they weren't talking. <laughs> I want to make that clear. Uh, this is the TKOH King. So the King of Hate King. The King of Kate King DSP. Uh, these look pretty good, blah, blah, blah. Someone said, why not too fond of the She-Hulk Spider-Man? Why not orange buttons on, this, on the ball top of the Super Scroll Stick? Just curious. Of course, we can't see pictures of that. But Phil says, of course, I have to respond to any negativity, of course. Uh, two reasons. One, then the entire stick, including the art, would be solid orange. We definitely wanted some variety in each stick. Sure, we, we used all white on the DMC stick, but it's a stark contrast to the dark art used on the stick. We actually didn't have enough orange buttons to do all orange in the stick unless we disassembled one of the DJ sticks we still have. Because the buyer tried to scam us by paying via an e-check that never cleared, and it was too late for eBay to allow us to the second chance bidder. So that is, again, proof that the eBay troller did succeed uh, there. Uh, but they, so what he's saying is we could have disassembled it, but we just fucking didn't. Oops. You know, that's too much work. Disassemble an unsold one? Get the fuck out of here. What do you think this is, a business? Fuck out of here. You think we have a name like East Coast Customs or something? Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, uh, people keep talking. Look at this fan. If only I owed a bank account. Stupid me lost my birth certificate and have to get it resent to open one. Wow. Very mature adult there, right? Very mature, very adult, very cool. These are all awesome. I like the Wesker stick more. It looks so bass. I could read these forum posts all day. All day. Because you can see why serious people on SRK, not serious people, I should say, but people that care about, like, not being weirdos, didn't like DSP's content. Does anybody know how to make the archive? Blah, 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 nothing cool here. Same thing. Let me see if there's one more talk here, and then we'll get to, finally, we can get to modern. We'll go through the history of DSP's content, the public content, to, uh, to actually show you what he's mentioned about East Coast, East Coast Customs. Uh, DSP's response to us wondering if you could do dual mod. DSP talks about dual mod here. Those sticks are being sold as is and are not dual modded. Dual modding these sticks would have jacked up the initial starting prices to over $100, and we didn't want to do that. But many people won't care about the dual mod feature. Dual modding is an expensive process. Just the hardware alone costs $50 at minimum. Depending on what hardcore, uh, hardware is used, soldering may, may not be needed. I'm currently looking into some of the hardware from FocusAttack.com, which claims to be solder-free. Solder. I love the spelling of solder. Solder is an L, right? I believe. <laughs> yeah, thank you, M4. I, you caught it too. I was wrong. Solder. Solder. I am solder. 
Uh, but I've personally never used the hardware before. You could you could definitely dual mod this joystick yourself, and I would look at the hardware on FocusTac.com since it doesn't require soldering. Get out of here, you solder. Thanks for the information and quick response. Anyways, now Phil Pig explains eBay. Um, whatever. I'm not reading all this board. Okay, so there, there's that. Wow, the bits are really going well. Hope it's not a kid who fucked up the Mega Man stick a while ago. I don't know exactly what that means, but did they, is, like, could that be talking about the fucking up the bet? Or what, the, did someone fuck up the Mega Man stick again? It's tough to go through everything here, but, you know, I don't know what that means exactly. All right, let's go. This is, <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about the sticks here again, okay? So let's just hear this. This is 2010, same time period we were before. These joysticks, they look really nice. They're pretty down to the He's talking about round two now. This week once I get that P.O. box uh, set up. And then also I want to talk about a little bit about uh, round two of the East Coast Customs joysticks. Uh, Hi, round two. all day Saturday working on these joysticks. They look really nice. They're pretty cool. Uh, PS3 owners will be happy this time because actually three of the sticks are PS3 sticks. And one is an Xbox 360 stick. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, tomorrow. Shout out to the polo shirt. Oh, actually, tomorrow I'll be putting out videos of when we were actually working on those sticks and building those sticks on Saturday, and then probably more than likely Wednesday or later, I will be showing off the final product, just like I did last time. I'll make a video about it, uh, and when they go up on eBay, when Rambo gets a chance to work on that, we'll be doing that as well. Um, but the good news is, round one sticks were very successful, even though we did have that little road bump there with the person who basically bid in his... I hate road bumps. ...parents' bank account, or his uh, parents' eBay account, without their permission. Those sticks have sold. They went for a pretty decent uh, amount, so we're pretty happy with the results of round one, and that's why we're working on round two. Um, so round one was successful, except for that one, okay? So that's the, the facts come out there, that there was a round one successful, but they couldn't sell one. But they're still happy with the results, so there we go. Change general real quick. Now, I have mentioned previously that I ordered a bunch more joysticks. Uh, GameShark had the sale last week uh, of tournament edition Mad Caps joysticks, buy one, get one free, and also the Wii joysticks, buy one, get one free. And I did buy a bunch of those, but from what I'm understanding, GameShark apparently pretty much sucks when it comes to delivery. Um, I've not heard a thing. It's been a full week now. I've not heard a thing from them about processing the order, shipping the order, nothing. I've heard zip. So I'm really not expecting that to come anytime soon. We were hoping those would come. We'd be able to work on those for Christmas, but it looks like probably not. So we'll see what happens. If anything changes, I'll definitely update everyone. But uh, right now it's not looking too good. At least yes, this is the legal art st arcade stick arc. But here's the thing, guys. We're going to keep listening. And I haven't heard all of these because there's so many videos fucking left. But I know... <clears throat> I know that people tried to call him out for his for his for his uh, for his copyright issues. I'm just not sure it ever came to anything outside of Phil getting scared about it, right? But we're gonna go through this together. I've not seen all these yet. I just put I, when I see he's mentioned it about custom sticks. I put it in the in the in the playlist, so we're gonna see together here. For the Christmas season, maybe afterwards, maybe maybe it'll work out because maybe when Marvel vs. Capcom three comes out in February, maybe we could do it like a round three of sticks then when people will be looking for them. So we'll see what happens. Um, see what happens. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't seen it yet, my uh, I put my Christmas tree this weekend. And okay, don't give a shit about Christmas tree. That's the trolled video we already saw. Round three is coming. Are you hyped? Hi everyone, DSP here with a. <laughs> How high is this camera? Damn. He's looking up at us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good start. Um, basically, I just want to give you an idea of what's going on this week. Uh, and maybe if stuff works out, we'll go back to kind of like the old schedule we used to have where I had like a weekend preview video and stuff like that. Because I think a lot of people like that a lot more. And that structure kind of got bro broken up when I uh, was working over at Blip TV for a while. So anyway, here's the deal. I was working over at Blip TV for a while. Like he went to the office. Yeah, you know, when I had to make that trip to Blip TV offices, it was tough, you know. The, the offices were very tough there. Uh, but, you know, I finished working there now. Over at a new place over at YouTube. So, pretty cool. Love the guys over there. Really fun place. Love the cafeteria. Great work environment there. You know? You know what I'm saying? Here's what's going on this week. Uh, Monday's going to be kind of like a down day. So, this obviously is post, post Hello Chew for me, maybe a day for me to get some odds and ends done. There's not a lot going on. Um, what I think I might do is actually upload some videos which are exclusively on Blip TV uh, that are going to basically oh, be deleted. Excuse me, never mind. They're not done yet. He's still going. Maybe he hasn't said hello to you yet. On Wednesday, because I haven't heard back from those people yet. And uh, so pretty much I get the feeling they're just not going to talk to me, even though they said they would answer any questions I had. Um, so get what I'm <laughs> doing is, for example, some of the DSP tries it, the Cooking with the Kings. There's like two or three, four videos like that over there. Uh, also, there's my Game of the Year awards, which I'm 
considering bringing over, but there's a reason I'm kind of holding off a little bit. But we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, so I want to see what's going on with that and, uh, and judge based off of, you know, what videos are over there, what haven't I uploaded over here on YouTube so far. I don't think I did uh, Case West Take 2. I don't think I brought that over yet. Uh, so that kind of stuff I'll be thinking about tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday will be interesting because Little Big Planet 2 comes out, and yes, I am going to try it. Uh, I'm going to give it a fair shake, and unlike when Little Big Planet 1 came out, at this point, there's so much user-created content from Little Big Planet 1, I get the feeling right, it's going to be talk a, about a it here? Large... Thanks for the membership. Big ups, Clip Curator. Value You're legend. Dollars. Good luck so, in the pool. 60, who knows? It could be cool, but again, as I said in the past, I'm not really the kind of person that's like dying to make my own platformer game. And yes, I know that you can make other kind of games as well, like you can make FPS games and stuff. Maybe I'll fart around with it a little bit, and I think maybe if I do make a, a game that a lot of my fans might want to try it out, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, if Little Big Planet too, because as you know, it right. out, so we might have a lot of snow, and if there's a lot of snow, then Rainbow Does he talk about it here so or not? I thought he did. Um, I want to let everyone know. Besides gaming, there are some other things we're doing. Um, yes. What? Oh, Jesus, I just looked some, some avatar for the website, and it's ridiculous. Um, we are... God, it's hilarious. We are looking uh, to do a couple things. First of all, round three of East Coast Customs... Round three, here we go. Uh, custom joysticks. We completed the art, and we are extremely pleased. John Rambo and I worked on this all day yesterday. Uh, four sticks, four new sticks. These are not the smaller SE Edition sticks. These are the large round two tournament edition Matt Cash joysticks. Whoa. And, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit more than what we've been doing with the SE sticks, where we just kind of swap out the parts and put custom art. We're going to do all, like, custom bezels. We have custom colored bezels. bezels. Custom ball tops, custom uh, joystick sleeves, custom dust covers. We have everything custom this time, okay? And the art, I'm going to let you know, there's four different sticks. Um, and they're all Marvel vs. Capcom 3 related, because that is the newest release coming out in about a month now. We've got a Albert Wesker stick with some pretty cool stuff on it. We've got a Super Scroll stick. And then on the flip side, we have a Spider-Man and She-Hulk stick. They're actually both on the same stick. And we also have a Dante and Trish stick. So it's kind of like two villain sticks, two hero sticks. Um, we haven't decided for what <laughs> system each stick will be yet. We have two PS3 joysticks and two <laughs> Xbox 360 joysticks uh, that we're going to be putting up. <laughs> yeah, I agree that gambling is going out of control. So I, I made it a 60-second account to cool down for slots. For sale. Uh, what you need to do is get a chance to get together and print out the art and then start building the sticks. All we did was we designed the art. Yeah, they spent all day Googling. For possible art to Saturday, use. But it took so long because you know, we really, we, I, I have to say, we outdid ourselves this time. We put logos on them. We Whoa. got all kinds of really cool stuff on these sticks. Much Holy better, shit. I think, than the previous batches. Um, and it was kind of, we just kind of farted around with Photoshop a little bit and figured out some quicker ways to do stuff, and it actually came out really nice. So you're going really nice. to see that art, how nice it is. So it is coming. Um, I don't want to spoil it yet by showing anyone the art, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, so anyway, those are coming uh, within the next week or two. We're going to try to actually, on Saturday, I believe, of next week, we're going to try to build those. <laughs> Thanks for the port. Oh, yeah, that's Saturday. Got it sticks and uh, get them done so that we can get them up for auction sometime not this week but the week after and that way there'll be plenty of time for you to bid for you to get them shipped to you in time for marvel versus yes kikomura you saw if you saw earlier you saw all the work they did they literally just changed the art and changed the buttons capcom 3 so we'll see what happens with that uh more info on that forthcoming and uh on sunday uh this sunday which is super bowl sunday coming up there's going to be another uh don't blow this stream um on all right this done not talking about it anymore here is round three we're not watching all this, I'll tell you right now, but here's what round three ended up looking like. Here we go. Hype. So I agree. Those yellow buttons on that one look very bad. On the top right, the scroll ones that person was bitching about, look at that. Doesn't look good. All right. What is up? Out of After nowhere a long yellow. long day of hard work, it's now been four and a half hours. After a long day of hard work, four and a half hours. We've been working on these. Yeah. Uh, we've completed the East Coast... Customs round three of choice sticks. This is a special round specifically for the release of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 next month. Uh, as you see, we have four sticks. Now, due to popular demand, we actually did create three sticks for the Xbox 360 and one for the PlayStation 3. It seems like there's been a lot more demand for the 360. That red and green looks ridiculous, doesn't it? 50 sticks, which is why we did that. All the rest are fine. Like, the colors make sense, at least. But that red green is like Christmas out of nowhere. And the yellow looks bad. Uh, what we have here, we'll go through them here. First of all, the PlayStation 3 stick is... A Devil May Cry. That's special, that's fine. Special edition. It is based off of a Mad Cat's round two stick with the black sides. But you have a custom artwork on top. You've got your Dante. You've got your custom artwork. Trish. You've got the official Devil May Cry logo with the Japanese. And that's totally cool if you're keeping it yourself. But they're trying to sell this, right? That's the problem. Like, you could totally do custom whatever the fuck you want. If you're keeping it yourself, but they're trying to sell it. Kanji title as well, as well as the official Marvel vs. Capcom 3 logo. A custom stick with white ball top, white shaft, and white dust cover. Oh, and ball tat! Ball before. top counter! It is completely custom, and as you see, a white bezel as well. It is completely custom. Um, and we didn't mount anything on the top, it has the standard white button. So that is the completely PlayStation 3 stick. Completely custom. Up next we have Super Scroll. Super Scroll! 
also from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. We got his official logo, as well as the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 logo, and some really nice painted artwork uh, on this stick. We have a custom orange bezel, uh, yellow stick with yellow ball top, black dust cover, ball black top. shaft cover, and yellow buttons. And again, this is based off of a round two stick with the black sides. This one is for Xbox 360. Right. Lovely. Moving on, we have a custom <laughs> Albert Wesker. Um, Alberto Wesker. Custom. Sit down, maybe. Trying to get the, get the glare off. Uh, yeah. Here, can you lift this up a little bit? Yes. yes. So our audience can see it. Look at white. There we go. All right. This is Albert Wesker. It is Albert Wesker, right? Not yes. Adam Wesker. How are you getting confused? I'm Adam West. That's right. I think I'm Adam West. Level five. Catch it up. You got the official umbrella symbol, the Japanese logo for Biohazard, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three logo. <laughs> he he throws out those words official and custom like they're just like they're going out of style. So, no. As well as a black ball top with custom red, shaft ball top. And red dust cover. Awesome. And then you've got your black buttons with gray black centers buttons. to match the outfit that Wesker's actually wearing on this coat. And also you've got a custom red bezel. So basically, the black size. pretty sweet. It's all, it's, looks, it matches the color scheme of Resident Evil slash Biohazard. So that one's also for Xbox 360. Awesome yeah, I love that. And then last but not least, for those Christmas of you who are fans of you know, the popular Marvel superheroes, you've got the amazing Spider Man and She Hulk, who are both prominent characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. As you can see, you've got your Marvel 3 logo, you've got your official Amazing Spider Man. Is that, a, is that official logo, logo or not? Those superheroes. And we did a mix and match here. You've got the red buttons for Spider Man, and then at the bottom, you got the green buttons for Match He Hulk, and then a combo. Oh, uh, okay. So I get the thinking, but it just doesn't come out well. Ball top. With ball the, top. And at the bottom, you got the green buttons for Match He Hulk, and then a combo of a red ball top with the green dust cover and green shaft cover for She Hulk. And a nice golden uh, yellowish bezel to match the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 logo. Since we didn't want to do one that matched either of these guys, because then it would either be too red or too green. So this is actually the only stick out of the four. This is based in the uh, sides. We thought that actor up. Did tired of this? Actually, buttons, purple ball top with black dust cover and black shaft. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, with a purple bezel, purple <laughs> buttons, purple ball top with purple black dust cover top. and black shaft cover. But the thing that really makes this unique is, as you can see. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Hang on a second. I'm not sure what makes this unique. Let me see. What makes this one unique, do you think? What makes this one unique? Hang on a minute. Let me look closer. What makes this one super unique? I love how the A is too big. What? When I ordered the Plexi top for this stick, okay. I actually specially requested that they uh, laser etch my Dark Side Phil logo into the Plexi. Yeah. This is actually not on the art. This is actually in the Plexi top. Whoa. And so later on, let's say in six months, I want to change this out. I don't want Super Scroll anymore. What if he ends up being a shitty character in Marvel <laughs> 3? Who knows? I can change out the artwork and put something like maybe Wesker or someone else in here, uh, which is really neat. It's a really cool thing to be able to, to do that. So this awesome. stick is incomplete because I'm actually going to dual mod this one to work for both systems. Uh, this is a PS3 stick right Right now, so that at least if I do go to a tournament, most tournaments are probably going to be held on PS3 uh, due to that being the Evo standard. So that's why I chose that. Sponsor. Right. So that's my stick, and as you see, it's a little bit different than this one. I, we actually we we made, since I wanted to get my Dark Side Phil logo, <laughs> in the corner, we shrunk the Marvel Three logo and put it up in the corner. We moved the Super Scroll logo to make room for it. So it's a <laughs> we shrunk it. He's acting like he's got to get out there and push it from all sides to make it smaller. All right, Rambo, you got one side. We got to make this thing smaller. All right, give it a push. Push it together. Yep, make it smaller. Uh, almost there. Oh, uh, whew. Okay. That's smaller. Now we got to make the Super Scroll logo smaller. Hang on. Push it, Rambo. Push it. Uh, okay. All right. We made it smaller. That was a tough fucking work there. That was a lot of work today. Making those smaller. They act like it's work to push two buttons. With the, with the mouse. Marvel 3 logo and put it up in the corner. We moved the Super Scroll logo to make room for it. So it's a little bit more cluttered, but I think it still looks pretty cool with the Dark Side Phil logo there. It's a little bit more complicated than the more simple Super Scroll stick, which we'll be having up. So anyway, these four spent a lot more time on the, on the art of these sticks. Uh, being that we now have upgraded, instead of just doing custom artwork, we're now actually doing <laughs> custom designed artwork, meaning we actually did a lot of Photoshop work That's on this. A lot of Photoshopping. Plus uh -huh. the custom uh, color schemes of these sticks. Each one. Like, remember round one where we just copied and pasted pictures from Google? This time we actually moved stuff around. So, like, you know, some stuff was, like, 100% size, and we made it, like, 50% size. So we basically made it all custom. One is a unique color scheme that it's nothing it's like any stick you can buy out there. Color uh, scheme. These bezels, this is not standard bezels and these color Oh, uh, whoa. And, right. That's a Rambo uh, hand. All Samba parts, by the way. So they are tournament grade parts. These are ready to play with as soon as you get them. Um, these will be going up for auction. They don't need any growing time? What do you mean? They're not, <laughs> they're already ripe. You can use them right away. No need to grow them. They don't need any more education. They are ready to roll at tournaments.
That's great. This week, we're going to try to get them up on Wednesday. We have done. Okay, um, whatever. So the usual rules apply. If you're, if you're bidding, you have to send us all your personal info so we know how to contact you. Yada, yada, yada. We want no false bidders and such and so forth. So, so all right, forth. that's it. That this is, is a preview bad. of round three for the East Coast Customs. Uh, I will talk about There's four minutes left in this video. Three minutes left. How? Whatever you want to do with them. So, uh, Julie, uh, your Marvel 3, your Street Fighter 4, whatever you want to do with them. Okay. So, uh, I think they're quite beautiful. And I hope, uh, you guys, you know, if you get one, if you win one, then hope you enjoy it, and thank you. What if they don't win one? They can you go fuck themselves? If you don't win one, they're fucked. for the future. Ah, yes, because actually we will be doing some more. In fact, I actually have two Wii joysticks, which we have not even begun to touch yet because we wanted to get these out in time for Marvel 3. We also have a, uh, a standard edition stick, which was not uh, paid for last time. Okay, I'm uh, done. If successful. If people like these, the, the design of these, it's very possible that in the future we may continue to make them. And we've, we have talked a little bit about in the future possibly doing maybe custom orders if someone had said, oh, you know, here's a picture. Uh, uh, that's right. You want a Marvel vs. 3 logo and character? This is, this is it. That is absolutely correct. Uh, we actually did look this up. Mad Cats has opted not to do a run on Marvel 3. Sticks. They're doing WWE all stuff. Done. I don't give a shit about this. All right, let's go. Next one. Now we're going to get into more, more current times. Oh, fuck. This is, <laughs> this is the round three promo. It's very short, though. Very short. <laughs> I'm so dumb with Let's East Hello. <laughs> Whoa. We got Santa. We got Santa's helper. Damn, the red. A uh, couple minutes of time out of Dead Space Week to talk about something else that I'm pretty excited about, which what is are you excited about? East Coast Customs Round 3 Joysticks. Uh, as I previously talked about this week, uh, we are complete. We have completed four of the music, months, which is February 15th of 2011 in the United States. Uh, we have Can't hear you, Phil. Sticks, uh, three for the Xbox 360, one for PS3 uh, of Trish and Dante. And Trish and Dante. With the color scheme of everything really matters. Underneath and put the Blessy top back on. In the description of this video, I've also put a link to the forum thread on my website, thekingofhate.com, which has high quality photos of all the stuff. Yeah, this was. By the way, Lacky Bracky, yes, that's a good shout. This was literally Hello Jew happened during this week, right? Hello Jew, this is still Blip TV days. So he's still putting up uh, uploads on Blip TV because YouTube was having like copyright shit at this time. So yeah, definitely Hello Jew happened during this fucking week. I see him up close. There's over, I think, um, the auction starting today, and it is ending in one week, just like we've been doing. Right, I'm done with Packaging this. It comes with this window where you can actually view the stick. Oh my God, what's the on the left? Uh, collector's edition packaging uh, uh, of the sticks, and uh, it's really cool because the collector's edition packaging comes with this window where you can actually view the Whoa. stick, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I like that because, you know, some people are have been buying these just as collectors. I worked on, and they, they that's fine. Most of these sticks are now black, uh, which means if we're gonna sign the stick, uh, maybe we'll sign the bottom or the, the metallic <laughs> bottom, or maybe we do have some markers that might work on that, such as uh, metallic markers. But let us know what you want. <laughs> this looks like that meme. So you've just said a, a <laughs> so you've just said hello, Jew, <laughs> like Captain America. To do. We're willing to do whatever. So you've just said hello, Jew. If you don't want us to sign the stick, what we can do, which we did for a couple people, is we print out an East Coast Customs logo when we sign that. Whoa! Uh, and that way you have a neat souvenir outside of the stick uh, with our signature. So let us know what you want. I'm done. Too much shit left. Oh God. All right, here's a remind. It's only two minutes. Oh, what? oh God, this is a rough, rough time. Coming home from work at Blip TV time. What's going on, everyone? A very, uh... Shaggy, unkept DSP here um, with a really quick uh, video just to remind everyone uh, Agreed, of something. It's actually, I'm just about to start the Black Ops First Strike, strike Mac Pat. It's uh, Pat, Pat. <clears throat> I just finished downloading it. And I'm stuck at home today because we're in the middle of a snowstorm. Yes, another snowstorm in Connecticut. But anyway, um, I just want to remind you about the East Coast. This is 2012. This is fe uh, February of 2011 still. Fuck, we're still in 2011. Those customs round three joy six. Uh, they are still up for auction. There's one day left if you're interested. Uh, a little bit over a day, actually. I think it's like a day and then a couple hours. I think John had put them up like uh, on the later side on Wednesday of last week. But um, yeah, remember, there's four joysticks. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Double Maker Eye Stick for PS3 and the Albert Wesker Stick for the Xbox 360 are going doing extremely well, which we kind of expected. They did come out to really nicely. Um, the She-Hulk Spider-Man Stick's doing all right, but it is a lot lower uh, currently in the bidding than the other two sticks. And what I'm really surprised at is the Super Scroll Stick. I thought that was one of the best ones, uh, and my, my personal pick for favor out of all four. <laughs> in fact, if you watched a 
This just needs your buy-in, guys. From the previous videos, I actually had made another Super Scroll stick for me, and that's going to be my stick uh, once the tournament season starts, uh, once Marvel 3 is released. But uh, it's the lowest one right now in the bid, so I'm really shocked at that. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just some asshole sitting on his couch, right? So uh, anyway... I'll put the links in the description of this video. I'll also put the link to the forum thread that links you to the previous videos about these sticks and some high-quality photos of these joysticks. Remember, they're all Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, and it's kind of funny because today... All right, Matt whenever he says that, it's not going to be funny. Let's see what's kind of funny. Cats announced that, oh, we're releasing a, a series of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uh, limited-run joysticks uh, when uh, the game comes out on release day, February 15th. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's two weeks. So you're telling me in two weeks they're going to ship those sticks to all of these stores? Like, either the stores knew that was going to happen or something, but, like, no one had known that these were coming out. But anyway, I looked at the mm -hmm. art in the art. Business art. side, Phil, who understands about distribution, understands about supply chains. He knows about everything. Holy shit, the stores know. The stores must already know about that. What? Sticks trumps the art on their sticks by far. And uh, keep in mind, tournament-grade parts, all Sanwa parts, custom colors, custom bezels, a plexi top that you can actually change out and put your own art later on. So, <clears throat> Fully upgradable, fully customizable sticks, all these sticks. So anyway, just to remind everyone, you still have one more day to bid on those. Uh, and I'm pretty excited, you know, that people really like them because uh, we put a lot of work into them. So go check it out. That's it. Short and sweet. I'm DSP. We saw the work he put into them. All right, let's go. We are now in Condo Tour 2011. All right, 2011 Condo Tour. What do we have to hear? see here? Let's go. Um, this is just random stuff I've ordered, and those boxes are empty. That's actually my PS3 joystick. Um, down there underneath is a small box. Those have All right, let me reset real quick. Hold on. Three of East Coast. Oh, here we go. Yep. Boxes here empty. The two lower boxes are the Tournament Edition sticks we just sold and the, the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 sticks, the round three of East Coast Customs. This is just random stuff I've ordered, and those boxes are empty. That's actually my PS3 joystick. Um, down there underneath is a small box. Those have It has two <laughs> TVC joysticks. Here's all my boxes. <laughs> Here's all my boxes that I have. Let me talk about what used to go in these boxes. I don't clean up these boxes, but this boxes used to have this stuff in them. Thank you. That's my, that's all I mentioned about it, uh, about East Coast Customs, by the way, for that video. Here we go. This is the Dark Side Phil YouTube Primer. We're, we're back on live, you know, viewable YouTube now. Dark Side Phil channel, March 21st, 2011. Arcade, and there's other stuff we've been involved in as well, such as East Coast Customs, where we actually take arcade-style joysticks, we modify the parts, we upgrade the parts, we put custom artwork on them, custom colors, custom bezels, and we <laughs> sold them on eBay. Custom colors, custom bezels. They create colors. You thought you knew the spectrum? The, the, the visual spectrum? No, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. We create custom color eBay for some pretty considerable profit them custom colors custom bezels and we sold them on ebay for some pretty considerable profit Whoa. not only are they cool because they're tournament worthy sticks but also we usually record ourselves when we're making them so it's kind of like you own a piece of my whole uh existence here on youtube which is <laughs> pretty neat uh, <laughs> oh god you own a piece of my existence Imagine the narcissism that has to exist to say that statement. You own a piece of my existence. Oh my God. Tournament worthy sticks, but also we usually record ourselves when we're making them. So it's kind of like you own a piece of my whole uh, existence here on YouTube, which is pretty neat. Uh, and we're going to do those from time to time. We did a, a, a wave of them for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and we probably will do more in the future as joystick prices uh, drop and we, they become more readily available uh, for supply parts and things like that. Um, but that is pretty much the gist of it. Uh, I Nope. All right, next, we're going to May 8th. Now we're just five months back. Five months after that. Uh, put up for East Coast uh, Custom. Hold on. Uh, so maybe a problem with this stick is it's a wireless fight stick and number one it's not allowed in tournaments and number two it has input lag so really i don't know what i'm gonna do with this stick this may be burger king <laughs> big up cyclops 86 has custom jizz on them oh god yeah you know that had that that was all around the apartment how could it not be all those bob shout out to ada wong look where she is in the picture too that's right where we are he she's literally where phil is right now look at that now that's, that's a rarity. <laughs> Maybe a stick that I choose to modify or uh, do something with at some point. Uh, I'm not going to keep it, obviously, because I can't really play with it. It is a hoary stick, so it does have actually quality parts in it. Oh, quality Maybe parts. Be a cool stick to modify and, and 
uh, put up for East Coast uh, Customs for a fan, you know, just as a collectible, not necessarily something you're going to use to play, but a collectible stick. So I'm thinking about uh, that. I'm going to try cool. to figure out what to do with that stick. Games, I did pick up a couple games. That's it, by the way. Uh, also, this is the last mention of custom uh, of uh, East Coast Customs uh, for a long time. So this is the last at, round four. Never happened. There was round three, and that was the end of it. Um, so we're gonna get, get into what may have happened, but yeah, that was the end of. Th there was no uh, round three. Um, <laughs> um, real quick, there's a very very short throw. It's May that same month that that we just saw that video. Uh, same month, someone does this. So who's this dark side Phil dude? I'm sorry if this is an obvious question, but people seem to speak a lot of this dark side Phil dude. However, I don't understand the reference, so could you guys fill me in, please? He says, the more ignorant you remain of Phil, the better off you'll be. Some, and someone says, some fat guy that loves pro wrestling. He is everything you should aspi aspire to be. <laughs> what, a total, what a totally obvious and transparent attempt to promote your YouTube channel by feigning ignorance of DSP. Smooth move. I, for one, will not be checking out your videos. Uh, someone says this is DSP, and I think I have that for us here. If anyone's interested, right? He posted this video, so we might as well check it out, right? I mean, that's what you're here for. Let's check that video out. This person says this is DSP. He tries it. This is DSP, and I'm using the new Axe body. That's not it. You asked that's for this. It. You I'm wanted using this. The new Axe body detailer to try to take a shower here. I'm trying to not get too much water outside of the shower, which is not an easy feat. Um, I'm also using, oh, that's the Axe Body Detailer right there. I'm also using Axe Skin Contact Body Wash, which apparently is supposed to have small uh, particles, which you use in your body shower to uh, clean your, your body. Let's see what happens here. I just does. I'm not done. So I don't need to say anything. Just let it go. <laughs> in a shower. Oh, 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 shit. The one on the wall. Oh, shit. Try not to get too much water up in the shower, but you know. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> leave that there for a second. <laughs> ah, yeah. Use the detailer to wash your balls. Ah. <laughs> yeah. To scrub up its clogger balls. Oh. I use the detail inside to wash off. Oh, my God. You don't want to use the detail inside to wash your balls. Oh, oh God. Oh, that hurts. Ow. Ooh. Today has been a fucking indoor. And we're back to it. Oh, God. We can't make it. Okay. I'm going to try to wash my legs, but that's not going to happen. I'm not getting too much water everywhere, so you know. <laughs> it works. Uh, it washes your body. <laughs> uh, your hairy ass, disgusting Italian body. But, uh, disgusting Italian body? I don't remember that part. Body. Uh, your hairy ass, disgusting Italian body. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> Italian. Taylor, not too much. You wouldn't want to put that on your balls. That hurts a lot, but. Yeah, you just rub this all over your body, you wash it. What can I say? It works. <laughs> I'm fast forwarding a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Any comment? No, really, it hurts, but it scrapes the dead skin off of your body, so it actually feels pretty good. <laughs> My arm. Oh. Ow. Ow. Back. Oh, you'll love this. Watch the back. Yeah. You'll love this one. This is oh, yeah. so. Oh, God. Oh. Robust. Robust back. 
Very robust. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done. Let's get the ending shine off. Oops. So what do I think of the axe detailer? Groovy. We're going to... But eat a eat a eat a lunch meat sandwich. Was Rambo filming this and how excited is Phil? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> All right, moving on positively. Sorry about that detour. Children's entertainer, black and white, big pool. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going forward positively. Uh, um, I hate and people are saying the same thing as you guys are saying to me. I hate you so much right now. Again, fuck OP's YouTube channel and DSPs. Love that vid you made, man. Fit does playthroughs of new games that came out. He's been involved in the fighting game community a while before that, though. He liked to talk shit on SRK because he felt it brings hype. This is def. I, I this is absolutely a, 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 a. I thought it was a sock, you know, at first, but he does say at the end, controversy. He's still an asshole. So let's go. He liked to talk shit on SRK because he felt it brings hype. Although a lot of SRK members found it obnoxious. Sometime afterwards, he started uploading vids on YouTube, and that became his focal point after realizing he could be so he could be successful doing playthroughs of commentary. Of course, he tends to show the same behavior as I just mentioned, verbally in his videos. It puts off a lot of his viewers, but also seems to attract a greater number anyway. I find his behavior a little over-masculine, but of course, that allows his fan base to feed off from it and apply it to their own personality online or offline. It is unknown whether he complains uh, for entertainment's sake or that his ego truly prevents him from accepting his losses in Street Fighter. I am truly inspired by his endeavors because from all the shit he gets, he still puts through to get his videos out there. <laughs> Amazing. Cyclops, you can pull. I guarantee it. Give it a shot. Uh, anyways, fair enough. I ended my post removing anything that could be considered self-promotion. Now, someone answer my question, please. Uh, anyways, DSP is a grief management system named after the late Dark Side Phil. The core principles involve calling the game terrible, laughing hysterically, and claiming people didn't, not, didn't earn their victory. You often hear of psychic DSPs, which refers to psychically projecting negative energies onto other players by either by calling them trash for either winning or losing. I love that comment because he does that, right? If you win or lose, you're still an asshole. So <laughs> dispelling your grief and negative energies has a positive rejuvenating effect, which is why the people who practice it have such smooth skin and baby-like features. 2011. May 2011. Don't forget, it's never your fault. It's the game's fault. Got it? <laughs> oh, God. And then this guy, of course. After checking some of the videos, I'm actually starting to think this guy is kind of funny. However, it does seem like too much. So it's a little heavy on the fake side. Still entertaining for a while, though. He's a fat idiot who cries and whines every time he loses while constantly making excuses. There are no redeeming qualities to this human being. Your best opinion is to put your head in the doorway while slamming it repeatedly, screaming, I'm Madonna, I'm Madonna, until you forget you ever heard of DSP. May 2011. He's a pretty good ST player. Speaking of which, any, anyways, there's a gay joke here, but we'll skip it. Skip it. You deserve a boot in your ass for this. Anyways, we're going to keep moving. When this guy gets salty, it's comedy. DSP shits on HDR for no real good reason, which usually makes me dislike a dude. But DSP is also sometimes generally entertaining and has walkthroughs that are fun to watch. So color me torn. Nope. Yeah, yeah. No, now, it's funny that the first round, I beat his ass. And all of a sudden, in the second and third rounds, none of my moves happen or work. No blocking, no special attacks. Notice that? How's that funny? That's called cheating. And that's what everyone does online. And that's why you shouldn't play online. That's quoting DSP, by the way. That's a this legit quote. <laughs> oh God, that's amazing. 2011, man. 2011. DSP in a nutshell. I'm not sure what this is. Let's try it though, right? We have to try it. I don't think I tried this one. How can we not try it, right? We've come this far. Maybe we're willing to come just a bit further, right? <laughs> Maybe we're, we're already this further. deep, right? What's, what's the point of not going farther? Now, unavailable. That might be King of Hate, though. That's a King of Hate HD video, I'm sure. Uh, Tech Talk spits on DSP and his so-called custom joysticks. LOL. Modded Mad Cats SEs. That's it. 
All right, no more SRK. No, none of that. That was a jump scare. Apologies for the jump scare. Here is, now we're jumping all the way to 2018, my friends. Let's get back to some reminiscing time. We're almost to the end here. Nick, just did a 25 bitch here. And he says, would you ever bring back custom joysticks to sell, sell his merch? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no. The custom joysticks, if you, first of all, you may have no idea what Nick is talking about. I mean, this is something, no lie, almost 10 years old. Way back when, in late 2008, early 2009, Street Fighter 4 was released in arcades, and then it got a console release in early 2009, okay? Okay. <clears throat> For those who aren't aware, Street Fighter 4 was the big, hyped fighting game of last console generation. It was the game that single-handedly reinvigorated competitive fighting games. At the time, there were still franchises that were doing well, like I would say Tekken and stuff like that. Okay. Well, a lot of franchises had pretty much fallen by the wayside. There have been companies like NetherRealm that really had fallen out of favor. And really, honestly, fighting games were pretty much all but dead. I mean, it, it was almost to the point where people didn't talk oh, about them or really do, do much with them anymore. And then Street Fighter 4 released. And the game came out and it was good. It was a, you know, modernized graphics, modernized gameplay. It really was a basic giant step in the right direction after almost 10 years of having no new advancement in fighting games, especially from the Street Fighter franchise. It blew people away. And it caught on virally. It became a mainstream hit. Okay. So oh. during the time when this was going on, Myself and my friends at that time, John Rambo and Howard, as a hobby and as a business venture, decided to buy a bunch of generic joysticks, which were then available on the internet for, I'd probably say around 150 to 200 bucks each, all right? You could buy these generic joysticks for PS3 and or Xbox 360 at the time uh -huh. and modify them. You could buy colored parts, colored, you know, buttons, colored joysticks. You could- Hold on, did he just say that- he, did he, Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see how much he said he bought them for. Remember we heard the story there, right? For, I'd probably say around 150 generic joysticks, which were then available on the internet for- I probably say around 150 200 bucks each all right 150 200 bucks each didn't we hear how he bought them for so cheap or whatever i think i remember that but all right, right. Going. you could buy these generic joysticks for ps3 uh, uh -huh. and or xbox 360 at the time right right and modify them you could buy colored parts colored you know buttons colored joysticks you could print out artwork and put it as the overlay on the joystick and put on a transparent plastic hang on you're telling me you could buy you could print out art Stick plexiglass top and we did this for about six months we worked on these we did like three different waves of uh -huh. custom-made joysticks there were Three different rounds, sir. There was stuff for Street Fighter 4. There was stuff from other games. And oh, other yeah, I heard that too. Yes, yeah, sorry, I skipped it. But yeah, he did say my friend Howard, yes. Pop culture franchises that we had in there. There was stuff from uh, Super other games and other pop culture franchises that we had in there. Pop culture franchises? <laughs> there was stuff from uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's just funny. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just pop culture franchises. For HD Remix, which was popular at the time. There was all these different joysticks that we made at the time, okay? Various different levels, you know, there were smaller ones that were cheaper, there were bigger ones that were more expensive. Now, we didn't actually sell these as like, oh, we had a website or that. We just put them on eBay. Yes. Some of these sold for upwards, no lie, upwards of $500. One of yes. them, I think it was the Akuma joystick, sold for like 500 something dollars. It was insane. So, how much these were selling for in some cases. People really loved the, the design and everything of them. And at the time, you know, when I traveled around going to tournaments, I would bring these with me and I'd play on them. So we would see them and be like, holy shit, that custom joystick is sick. Where can I get one? You know, but this only lasted, I'd say, about six months. And then after that time, no, we, we know the truth, by the way, it's actually three months. Uh, it came from November to for February. And hang on, if you sold them on eBay, if you were selling them on eBay for one week, one week auctions, how are you carrying them around with tournaments? What? what how, would you, how did you still have them? The, the auction lasted a week, sir is sick where can i get one you know but this only lasted i'd say about six months and then after that time number one it became me and i'd play Hold on I'm at the time that. you know when i really loved the the design and everything of them uh -huh. and at the time you know when i traveled around going to tournaments yeah i would bring these with me and i'd play on them so we would see them like holy shit that custom joystick is sick where can i get one you know but this only lasted i'd say about six months and then after three, that three time, months number one it became more of a hassle to get the, the components because so many people at that time were getting into Street Fighter 4 that it became like a fad to make your own custom joystick. So the joysticks themselves were selling out like constantly online. Uh -huh. The components, the parts were selling out and it was hard to even get enough to even make- was it, Wasn't that because of your, your influence on the market? <laughs> custom joysticks anymore. And quite frankly, the other oh, reason- Oh, that was a fat and. Look at that, that was a fat one. And. Get ready. didn't get enough to even make custom joysticks anymore. And, quite frankly, Whoa. the other reason that we stopped is because, sadly, we had assholes and trolls. Trolls. Who were coming out and fucking fake bidding on, on eBay and screwing assholes. everything up for everybody. 
Whoa. to the point where it just became more of a hassle than anything else. And we were like, fuck this. We're just, it's not, you know, at first it was cool. It was profitable. And then after that, it just turned into more of a pain in the ass. It was cool while it lasted. It was a fad. It was a flash in the pan for the reinvigoration of fighting games and Street Fighter. But that's not anything we would ever look to do ever again. Okay. Just so you guys know. It was okay. actually funny because at the time, we basically got a lot of hate for it because yes, the reason that our joysticks were popular is because I had an internet presence. You know, I was Dark Side Phil on the internet. I was super popular at the time. So people would come out and, and bid on these joysticks because they wanted a collectible that had to do with me and my friends versus okay. there were other companies making custom joysticks and they couldn't even get like $200 as a bid. And they no, were, the real modders that made awesome sticks couldn't get those high bids. So angry that they would come and slander us and attack us on forums and shit. And we're like, we don't even care about this. You know, we're just trying to have fun and sell joysticks. and just You don't care about it. You respond to everything with paragraphs. And of course, we can't see the best one we really want, the Capcom forums. They're gone, sadly. But yeah, yeah it's not, let's not pretend you didn't care forums and shit and we're like we don't even care about this you know we're just trying to have fun and sell joysticks and just do silly shit we don't care about you guys and your other brand or whatever but they would come out and slander it was just pretty funny so it really wasn't worth the hassle and, and also they weren't just slandering they were saying you're using copyrighted materials and making a profit off them isn't that isn't that a problem with that right let's get real no but we'll not be bringing back custom joysticks ever again there you go there you go <clears throat> Yeah. Plus, let's face it, there's not even demand for it anymore. There's just not. You know, at one point there was. There's definitely not anymore, okay? All right. Super Bat Cat. Not listening to that. Next. Now, 2018 again. Moving on to Spawn Killer. You may not realize this Spawn Killer, but once upon a time, you know, 10... Ten, nine years ago, when I was just starting up as a YouTuber, and when Street Fighter 4 had just released, I used to make custom joysticks. It was Whoa. myself and Howard and John Rambo would put our heads together, and we would design different things for custom sticks, including... We would put our heads together. <laughs> Get all Photoshop. <laughs> different colored buttons and joysticks themselves, uh, artwork that we would find on the internet, and we would custom print it out on professional grade card stock and then trim it with, a, with exacto knives and get transparent tops for joysticks like the, some of the sticks we made were quite spiffy they looked really nice quite and spiffy. they played fine you know i used a lot of them in tournaments i had a in a cyclops 86 just rewind we played them all at the beginning Kuma joystick that i used in tournaments for an, a, a pretty long time um but that was a for, that was a bygone era you know that was Why the era of street fighter 4 uh, then after that, pretty much for a while, it died out. In fact, the joystick manufacturer, Mad Cats, who made a shitload of money off of Street Fighter 4, ended up going out of business because they lost a ton of money on Rock Band. And then, that lasted another one. And after that, there was a big crash. Crash. And it's funny because when Street Fighter 5 released, everyone thought, oh, everyone's going to want joysticks again. But Street Fighter 5 was such a flop at launch that there were stores who had hundreds of joysticks sitting on the fucking shelves and no one's bought any of them. I can attest to this because my local Fry's has a joystick <laughs> Shout section out to fries. Where, they, where they literally bought like three, four, five models of different joysticks and no one ever bought them. They're just sitting there. Uh, the, right. There was no joystick craze right. for Street Fighter V like there was for Street Fighter IV. Okay. Um, so, I used to be a hobbyist and an enthusiast, and yes, I used to make custom joysticks, but in the modern era, would I? Hobbyist and enthusiast? No, I wouldn't. And a couple reasons. Number one, because... It's, it is a pricey endeavor. You got to order all these parts from online. You got to have them shipped in. You got to disassemble your own joystick, which is a risk in itself. Fan art. And then swap out parts or whatever. And, uh -huh. you know, it's nice to get custom parts that feel a little bit more responsive. But at the same time, it's work and it's risky. Like I said, you could break something in there. Now your joystick's fucked. And that happened a couple <laughs> times when we were doing it. The bad part is it takes work. <laughs> That's why I prefer a penny. Number two, uh, most modern fighting games... Um, most modern fighting games don't need joysticks anymore. Oh. You know, there was an era. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Knowing what we know now. Double, double, double buying joysticks in current year. When you had a massive... If you think you don't need them now for new fighting games, right? ...massive advantage playing a fighting game on a joystick. But now, the controls for most fighting games have been dumbed down, like, so much that you don't even need to do the proper motions to get things to come out anymore in fighting is it's ridiculous at this point. You don't even need the you don't need the proper motions. You can just push whatever button you want. That's pretty cool. My favorite feature of Street Fighter is where you just push whatever buttons you want and it does it. It does actual moves you want. So that's pretty cool. Like just push whatever buttons you want. Who cares? Um and so 
no, I don't think that really joysticks are necessary. So I wouldn't go into, oh, I'm going to make custom sticks for myself or others. It's just not worth it at this point. You know, for the Street Fighter 4 era, oh, yeah, it was. Because that was the height and the height and the return of fighting games, you know, nine years ago. Uh -huh. It was huge, ginormous explosion in the popularity of fighting games after them being pretty dead for a while. When Street Fighter 4 came out, the hype had been reinvigorated. Everyone wanted a joystick and everyone wanted to play it. Um, it was a very different situation than it is now, okay? So, the answer is no, I would not do custom sticks moving forward. Okay. AES Cheers says, What does the 2K series need to do in order to get back to the glory days of WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2006 and 2007? Yeah, I want to hear this answer real quick. I don't know. They need quality control, is what they need. Because every year when you play. All right, I'm done. Never mind. Pretty <laughs> quality control. You're playing me third strike. So. Oh, you picked up a three? Oh, I guess you're playing Alpha Three. Spawn Killer could be too 2019. This is all from Spawn Killer, by the way. Like, all these mentions are Spawn Killer, Spawn Killer, Spawn Killer. Give me two dollars. Do you have any custom joysticks left? I think the only one I have, I'm almost positive, the only custom joystick I still have is. Um, let me think about this. I think it's a DJ stick. That's a PS3 joystick, <clears throat> and I think it's one that I made to sell, and the guy backed out, so I never ended up selling it. <clears throat> so he still has that DJ one. That was the, he did confirm. That is correct. That's the one that the first eBay didn't work. So he still has the DJ stick. <laughs> the DJ stick exists. Go for it, man. Go to Go to and I think that's it. Make sure. If you care about this Rose versus Blanca gameplay. Let's see if he gets bodied, then we'll go to the next one. We've been here long enough. Might as well stay longer, right? <laughs> wrong move. What? It worked! I did the wrong super, he jumped in and caught him out of midair. Good job. <clears throat> wow. Awesome. awesome. 2019. We go through, now he's got to go through his, his condo and we get more talk about, of course, we get more talk about East Coast custom. Today, and by the way, the underside of this, side of this table <laughs> is the storage for all of my custom joysticks, as you see. So I will close that now, so you do not get Ellie more jealous, and do not read Brad Metzl, Brad Meltzer. All right, we gotta get this. What are the magazines? The magazines are key. Yeah, so you do not. We have get Ellie more jealous. The book. Jealous and do Brad Metzl, do the read book of the book of lies. We have, I think that's modern PC. Oh, maximum PC magazine. You know we got subscriptions. Oh God, you know there's subscriptions to all these. Maximum PC. What's on the left? Cracked. Oh, co some Marvel comic something. <laughs> Read Brad, Brad Meltzer. Book to say something. Anyway, I don't even remember that book. I also have two end tables on the ends of this. Uh, oh God, couch condo. With a pretty awesome custom lamp. Two of them. Awesome. I really like those lamps. I thought they were cool. And they like, also pull like out. All right, whatever. Oh, sweet! Look at that. You got okay. LX Mirror 23. That's one half of the Cannon Brothers card. You have the right side. Now you need to go after the left side. All right? You have half, not all of it. Uh, this He does get... <laughs> I paused it on purpose here. He does get into the custom sticks here again. It's only good for weightlifters. I would say probably weightlifters and professional oh, this eaters. Is cool. like a, okay. A so if you look in the background... Way in the back corner, you could see this is when we used to make joysticks. And by the way, I have those videos if you guys want to watch them. When we used to make custom joysticks during the, the era of Street Fighter 4 when that was a huge new release. So they're, the joysticks that we used to make are stacked in the background against the wall. This was before I ever owned any statues or anything. You can see there's no statues or anything in, in the condo. So back <laughs> You then see my condo doesn't look like a complete hoarder yet? That was before that. It just used to be my DVDs and then the, the, the joysticks in the background. That's kind of cool to see that because that, that layout didn't last because then I bought all statues and shit and then they ended up getting like stacked over there. So, Kobayashi could have. Uh, he says he still has the videos. He does not. They're in King of Hate HD. You cannot watch them unless you download them like I did. So, there you go. This is, the, this is by the way, the, um, the fucking the double chicken, whatever, double double chicken sandwich. I've been able to eat a couple of these, That's but good. I don't think any normal human being should actually purchase this. How about like animals? You think they could eat it? Animals, I think, are too smart. They'll probably stay away from this. <laughs> He's earned it. He's earned it. Where's my button? <laughs> Holy shit, man. All right, let's do it next. Call of Duty, where we, we seem to get here a lot with the plunge because he just spouts when he's playing Call of Duty. Here we go. 
game? Here's my last question. What do you think of custom design designs of controllers and consoles? Would you do it if you had the money? They're cool. I used to do them. God damn it, someone already looted this. It says 2019, by the way. I used to do them, remember? I used to make custom joysticks with custom designs and shit on them. I used to have decals on my consoles. You know, it was cool at one point. But as you get older, you don't really care. You know, we're talking t 11 years ago, I cared, right? Don't really give a shit anymore. Wow, get fucked, everybody. Hobbies? Who is those? I'm a gamer. You operate a household? Do you have family? Fuck. <laughs> Let's see him die real quick. Surgical Thrilling game. Collapse play. imminent. Get to safety. Thrilling gameplay. You ran away. I have no healing. He's healing and I have none. Done. Next up. 2019 again, we get more talk of the cow. No. Now, the thing is, these are answers for 10 years ago. I haven't built a joystick since the, the dawn of Street Fighter 4. If you remember... The dawn of Street Fighter 4. Some may remember this. It was the dawn of Street Fighter 4. Some never recovered from the dawn of Street Fighter 4. <clears throat> when Street Fighter 4 first came out, I started making custom joysticks. I made a I had a Blanca one, an Akuma one. Um, I had this really amazing looking, um, oh, what was it? Well, I had, I had different ones. I had different, <laughs> like I had a, uh. So amazing, I can't remember it. Sound good? A DJ, uh, and a certain character specific joysticks that I had made, okay? Uh -huh. I was selling those online for big money and stuff. Like I sold quite a bit of those joysticks for big money online. Um. So back then, I liked making my own sticks, but you know now I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't be buy, or buying parts and building a joystick anymore from school. Now he's building joysticks, and it's all I, 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 I built joysticks. <laughs> I'm so out of practice. I wouldn't even know what's good at this point. Uh -huh. um, right, <clears throat> right. So it'd be pretty stupid for me to try to do it. Uh, like I said, 10 years away is a big deal. I'm sure there's all different companies that are making the parts now and everything. So. Um, the one that I own is a Hori, Hori Real Arcade Pro 4. They don't even make that anymore. Now I think they have like the Hori Real Arcade Pro Kai or something like that. It's the new version. Ford, Animal Crossing. For profit. 2000 and, October 15th, 2020. East Coast Customs. That's gross. Last Rambo Cheery says, talk to the villagers in their houses to get the recipes. I did that last Rambo. I went to every villager in every house and I got one recipe and it was for a cardboard cutout of grass. It wasn't even a fall related DIY that I got. <laughs> That's funny, out of context. A cardboard cutout of grass. Oh, come on, another handful of dung. You know what this is? This is one of those things, what do they call them? It's in like a sewer system, you get stuck in a pipe. It's made up of like those flushable wipes and other shit. It just becomes this big brown turd that gets like stuck in the sewer. There's a name for that? Unplug it. That's what that is. I keep getting handfuls of it. It's like the swamp thing's fucking butt, butt munch. <laughs> I got another oyster now. Oh. The swamp thing's butt munch? Butt munch. I keep getting handfuls of it. It's like the Swamp Thing's fucking butt, butt munch. <laughs> I got another oyster now. Definitely. Oh. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Furio Niku says, Conduit 2 and Body Cow are some of my favorite. Body Cow. Made it for another console. Oh, here we go. Fucking stupid. Conduit Get 2 is a game that it. made it for another console. And it actually ran well. It might have been a matched inventory. Lettuce Conqueror here. He says, "What made you want to stop East Coast Customs?" There we go, East Coast Customs. Um, right. Food put trolling. Sadly, what ended up happening was we were selling these joysticks on the internet for for profit, uh -huh. and you know I was. We were all basically sharing in, in the profit when we sold those sticks. Like those guys who helped me build them would make some money. Help me build them. 
And though to be fair, Phil did do, do did actually do work in round two, okay? But the first round you saw was all fucking Howard. I would make some money on it, and it was really good. But what ended up happening was like, two things. Number one, Street Fighter Four got so popular that it was very hard to buy the joysticks anymore. If they, if those joysticks were in plentiful supply at the time, I could have potentially kept making those sticks over and over. But what ended up happening was the joysticks became super duper hard to buy because uh -huh. everyone was buying them themselves, and they were, I thought you said it was trolling. <laughs> were sold out all the time. You couldn't get them anywhere. And then on top of that, um, trolling. I was okay, putting cool. some of these joysticks on eBay, and we, I kept getting troll bids. I'm going to drop something so I can pick this up. Uh -huh. Can we get to it, please? I'm going to drop the fucking seaweed. Fucking nuggets. How annoying. Um, but yeah, um, basically... What was I saying? I was talking about, um... Oh, come on. Remember the story, at least, please. Digital Customs, that's right. Yes. I got troll bids on eBay. So, the, the first four or five joysticks we sold, they were going for, like, hot... You know, this was a decade ago, so I was very popular on the internet. And they were going... One of them sold for, like, four or five hundred bucks. I was like, damn, that joystick's worth, like, two hundred. Maybe, maybe, you know, one seventy-five, two hundred people were buying them for, like, five hundred a pop. So, I was like, holy shit, like, these are going really well. And then all of a sudden, I start getting all these crazy troll bids. And these people were finding ways to basically invalidate the whole fucking thing. And it just wasn't worth doing it anymore. To this day, I have a joystick. I have the DJ joystick. <laughs> um, it's DJ from uh, Super Turbo. Okay. Posing on a small joystick for PlayStation 3. I never sold it. I've never even used it or sold it. It's just sitting in a box in storage. I still have it. There you go. That DJ um, stick. The Holy Grail. Let's see the here. museum. Gunner Henson. Next, 2022, we have a little video called DSP Reacts to John Rambo and Howard. Earliest content I did was called East Coast Customs. All the time, but you probably don't remember me because I wasn't part of like your circle of friends back then. Okay. Cool. That's I mean that we got history. I don't I don't remember the guy from back then. I mean then again I don't remember much back from back then. His formative years as a teenager, you know. I was like, come on it, Matt Howard, nicest guy possible, super nice guy, and basically we hit off a Street Fighter friendship. Meaning as Street Fighter friendship. Again, we were traveling to Street Fighter tournaments or whatever. Howard would come along with John and I to these tournaments. He became part of our group. All right, he really was. He was part of our Street Fighter. Sounds like a friend to me. Fighter group. Okay. Okay. Sound good? And that's really kind of where our relationship stayed for the mm -hmm. longest time. Um, when I started doing YouTube. Oh, God. We hit it with one of these again. For the longest time. Um, hit it with one of these. <laughs> All right. I'm not doing it. No time. When I started <laughs> doing YouTube. Uh huh. Howard became a part of some of that content. Some of the earliest content I did was called East Coast Customs. East Coast Customs. We went over Howard's home, and what did Why we here do? Today? We made Street Fighter joysticks. We bought joysticks. We ripped them apart. We put in custom buttons and joysticks we had ordered. We put artwork on top. We printed it out at, like, Kinko's. We printed it out, and we had these cool joysticks that we sold online for a profit. Okay? What happened then? We had joint ventures like that over, over the years. Um... And, and Howard was always welcome whenever he wanted, if he wanted to be part of a playthrough or if he wanted to be part of content that we did. Primarily, he always was interested in Street Fighter stuff. So if we're going to a tournament, he'll go with us, you know, or that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. So is, that, is that a friend? Um, or? You'll notice over the years, every once in a while, Howard was involved with a playthrough. Okay. Usually that happened if it was a game that needed more than one person to play with. Oh, Thence to Pink have Howard friendship. In, in that with us because... He's the third guy. He's a cool guy. We know him from Street Fighter. He's a friendly guy. Sounds like a friend, right? And all of that. Why not have him involved in our content? Now, by the way, he's not the only person. There's other people who've been involved in our content over there. Joe. Joe is actually a close friend of Rambo's who Rambo brought in to be part of cooperative playthroughs that Yeah, there was. Super Sloth Pants, if you haven't seen yet. It's all stolen artwork. So what, I, what I've come to find, though, is that there's a lot of memories people have of, of Phil saying, like, you know, people calling Phil out for using stolen artwork. However, I think all of the proof of that is now gone in forums that are not accessible anymore. So like I couldn't I can't find the exact thing of people's memories say of Phil saying like if you buy my stuff it, you can get in trouble because that's copyright shit. So if you if you buy it you can get in trouble. 
But I unfortunately had not could not find anything like that on any website use a Wayback Machine or anything. So, I mean, he definitely was doing that wrong thing, and people called him out on it, but I'm not sure there's any direct repercussions for that, right? That we did. You can see Joe... I, see, I already did. Rewind. I showed him. Oh, in several different playthroughs that we've done over the years, including Family Guy is one of the notable ones, okay? So there's other people along the way who've been involved in our co-op content as well. Howard was one of them. Joe was one of them, Okay. What I would say is where Howard really became prominent in my content and where this conception of that F Howard is a close friend to Phil's started happening when we started doing a series called Project 7. Right, we're not talking All about right? Project 7. I'm done with this. But Phil hates Howard. Howard's never a friend. Sound good? Closet clean out. Here we go. Clip on it is on DSP Cult later. Can you send me a link to that? On uh, Can you send me the link if you got it? Now. Nah. Super Ziggy, I would love to play that. If you got the like. Closet clean out, boys. Get ready. Time to clean out the fucking closet, boys. They were trying to make custom joysticks and sell them for a business. I was dollars on attached. Very expensive. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sorry. sorry Zacto sorry. knives are very dangerous. But okay. Uh, what's this? When Paul hey, these are all great guesses. However, my wedding ring? Why would you even say that? Down my hand. Anyway. Why would you even say that? To my hand. They're all good answers, but they're all wrong. It broke. Oh, shit. It broke. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Um, let's see if I can adjust this without... Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Burger King. Big up, Cyclops. Here comes your pull, by the way. <laughs> Outing people makes copyright stolen art. Sounds good? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Ah, Hold on a second. Well, I try to fix this because it did break while in storage. Hey, Jaha. Okay. I hope it doesn't fucking break again. All right, just get to it. Exacto knife set. And you might say, why does DSP have a professional grade exacto knife set? It's a good question. Why? Okay. I'll, I, I can answer it. It's a very valid reason. You need to go back to the beginning. You need to go all the way back to the beginning of my time as a content creator, all right? One of the first things that I actually did in 2009 is I got together with my friends at the time, all right? And we were heavily- Okay, Doomer Ziggy did come through, and we have the video proof uh, uh, proof of selling joysticks. I'll play that after this one. So we do have the proof. Thank you so much, Doomer Ziggy, legend. And Street Fighter. And we wanted to, to play Street Fighter, but also we wanted to do some fun hobbyist style things. And at the time- Fun hobbyist style things. Cool. Also, we wanted to do some fun hobbyist style things. And at the time, one of the biggest, most popular things in Street Fighter were joysticks. These joysticks that they were making for the Xbox 360, for the PlayStation 3, for the Nintendo Wii. They were uh -huh. insanely popular. There insanely. were multiple companies making them. Hori, Mad Cats, and many others. Okay? Hobbyist style. So, this is hobbyist style, one of the right? earliest things we did is we got together. Was Howard a Street Fighter style friend? We bought a few of these sticks up. We found high quality artwork on the internet. We printed it out at like Kinko's or FedEx, you know, the place you can print like high quality stuff on cardstock. We then used Exacto knives. Whoa! To cut Hold on a second. The intricate art parts out of the cardstock, the designs, the circles for the buttons, the hole where the joystick goes, is where we use these. And we called it East Coast Customs. Whoa. And we made custom joysticks with this artwork for about six to eight months. It was hilarious. And here's why we were just doing it on a whim. I was becoming popular on YouTube. I didn't do it seriously, but I said, hey, this is a way to raise money. <clears throat> if we sell some of these, I can afford the games that I'm playing on my YouTube channel, Dark Side Phil. Back then, there was no monetization of gameplay. If people wanted to see me play new games, I had to afford them. Yep, that's a good so so this is, idea. Yeah, again, this is before he was even making money on YouTube, guys. That's when he was doing this shit. That I would actually sell these joysticks along, along with the help of my friends, John and Howard, and we'd yes. all take a cut from it. And then the profit would go to buy games and things for the channel. Cyclops, okay? I'll give it to you. So that's what this was for, to cut the artwork for the joysticks and all of that. And it's a very high grade. Like, this was expensive, I remember. It's a set that came with three different knives, all adjustable blades. And as you can see, there's a whole collection of blades at the top as well. Um, very an dangerous, exception. incredibly sharp. This <laughs> will cut the shit out of you and kill you if you slit your throat with it. So be careful. Exacto wow. knives are very dangerous, okay? Very dangerous. The last thing you should do is wave them around like an asshole, irresponsibly. All right, shut up. Very expensive. Shut up. God, look okay. at the chat selling these joysticks online, and just because my name was attached, there we go. One of the funny things that happened was I was selling these joysticks online, and just because my name was attached to them, they were going for upwards of five hundred dollars online. Okay, 
people were pissed in the competitive fighting game community because they were trying to make custom joysticks and sell them for a business. I wasn't. I was just like, I'll just. We saw the thread that is he's getting this information from, by the way. I showed you the only thread about it. That's what he's talking about. People are pissed about that. Toss a few out there for, for profit to buy some. No, they weren't pissed because you were making a little money, although they probably didn't like it. You know, they probably didn't like it, I'm sure, because he was making more money than them. They didn't like it because you fucking suck. Yours were horrible. And you didn't do anything. You didn't mod it in any way. Games or whatever, right? Except you put new buttons in, okay, and then you used the, you know, stolen art. That's what you did. I was selling for $500 a pop. They could barely sell theirs for 200 and they were pissed off at me. How dare he? He's he's under, you know, why no are said this? him so much for the stick? And they, they said that even... part. He was going to, he, he tried to lie there and say undercut. You catch that? He was going to say the undercut, right? I think. <laughs> he was going to say under something, which no one said. He's he's under you know why are people paying him so much for that stick and they, what they didn't understand yeah they were saying why are people saying him so much for that stick that's not cool and sucks <laughs> they weren't buying the joystick for functionality they were buying because they were a fan of me and John and Howard and they wanted something from us unique they didn't care that it was a joystick to use a tournament or whatever that's not they just a lie a collectible that's not a lie anyway Galactic K did a five dollar tip he says you cannot fool us your wings of redemption surgeon were have been his surgeon. I think I think he's done. Highly offensive. I'm talking about the old days. So I, re I reverted back to the old days for half a second there. I slipped. <laughs> what did he say? Reverted back to the old. Reverted back to original. That was highly offensive. I apologize. Oh, I, I speak English. I couldn't have been his you. That's why you, you have that scalpel. No, I, I speak English. I couldn't have been his surgeon. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. That, oh, excuse me. Hold on. We got to hear this crazy. You have that. Scalpel. He says you cannot fool us. You were Wings of Redemption's surgeon, weren't you? That's why you, you have that scalpel. No, I, I speak English. I couldn't have... Right, let's go to the video here. Thanks to Zuber Ziggy for this. Awesome. This is, this is posted 12 years ago. Big ups, Zuber Ziggy. Uh, have... And DSP cult le leader, legend. Four sticks, uh, three for the Xbox 360, one for PS3. For PS3, the one stick that we made is the Devil May Cry stick, which features art uh, of Trish and Dante. And it has a custom colored scheme of white buttons, white bezel, and it is a small tournament grade Sanwa parts. We have three Xbox 360 sticks. Well, we saw this. Saw this fast forward past this. Custom we have the Albert Wesker. We saw the Elf shirt There's already. A lot of there we go. Compliments on that stick. I did work hard on that one. Um. There we go, boys. Okay, so someone sent someone sent a po this is my, no, this is probably the Capcom post. Dear Jay, thank you for concern. First, as a common internet troll and hater, I applaud you on actually going to a mainstream site outside of YouTube to try to make me look bad. It's a rarity that someone shows effort in trying to flame outside of their common ground. However, I hope that I can assuage you from any further mischief with the following. First, please prove that the YouTube account you've linked here has anything whatsoever to do with the person selling the joysticks. I think you'll find there is no direct relation whatsoever. Oh, he's talking about he's talking about the um, the eBay account, probably, I'm guessing, that doesn't that wasn't attached to Phil itself. Second, Capcom community allows fans to use their art on their own custom sticks. In fact, this is the reason why Capcom teamed Mad Cats to begin with. <laughs> uh, to begin with, so fans could easily modify these joysticks to make tournament-grade equipment available to the public. So he's making, that, like that person said on SRK, he's making it seem like Capcom did this to team with Mad Cats to allow people to make shit, you know, with their stuff. <laughs> Uh, Capcom in the past five or so years has become a heavily fan supportive community and the cost of rallying lawyers to sue for the sale of a handful of sticks would out far outweigh the benefits business side Phil coming in here this is amazing third the arc we use in these joysticks was not taken from a Capcom source therefore Capcom could not place a legal claim against any use of this artwork <laughs> that is so wrong so if someone else steals the artwork you can steal that artwork and then sell it because you didn't steal the artwork first. Sound good? So could someone please post um, like Michael Jackson's Thriller on your YouTube page? Because I can steal that and then sell it because I didn't steal it first. Sound good? That's exactly what he's saying right there. That is exactly what he's saying right there. Uh, and now, just for fun, totally ignoring one through three, I have, I have known Seth Killian, one of the moderators of this forum, for a long time. He is not only a very busy and important man, but he is a pro Street Fighter player, and we have mutual respect for each other. You might as well ask your own brother to send you to jail for the, that pack of juicy fruit you swiped from the corner last week. Oh my god. I have known Seth Killian. I have known Seth Killian. Therefore, therefore, <laughs> oh my god, I once knew a dude. That's the defense? 
You lose, I award you no points, and may God have mercy and say, good day, sir. Sincerely, I don't live in New Jersey, moron. And to D3V, that's the guy, the the, the main uh, uh, the main moderator of that thread. Jealous much? Not my fault that my name has value associated with it. Regards to the fact that I'm not selling these sticks, nor, oh, stick, snore, getting any benefit from them. Deal with it. And hate on, hater. So he's not selling the stick, snore, getting any benefit. Wow. Please prove that the YouTube account you've linked here has anything what's to do over that's the thread here. Here's the proof he asked for. In the auction that I just showed you earlier. Hello? <laughs> Why is Philip trying to decent stuff for the business? Here's why. Article 61 requires a signatory country to establish criminal procedure presenting a willful trademark counterfeiting or copyright piracy on a criminal sale. More recently, recently copyright holders have demanded that states provide criminal sanctions for all types of copyright infringement. And that's, oh, those are the final bids. There we go. So, well, I don't know if it's final, but there's the, all the bids in one nice place. Nice. Caught the fuck out, man. There it is. Wesker was the big one, the big seller. The Super Scroll. No one wanted that Super Scroll. God damn it. As you can see, what Phil is doing is violating Article 61, which would incriminate him and who would face possibly of steep fines or jail time. Further proof of Phil trying to distance himself from ECC while trying to profit off of his work at the same time is evident in this clip. Like, for example, you could order a custom joystick. You say, I want the Mad Cats Tournament Edition stick, but I'd like a purple ball top with purple buttons, and I, here's some art for you, Phil. Uh, you know, and obviously we would provide a template that you could submit your art, and, uh, and you say, here, this is the art that we actually want on the joystick. And actually doing it that way, it would take any legal liability off of us that there would oh, be a word, oh. like, for example, let's say the picture was from Capcom. There would be no worry from us that, you know, Capcom couldn't sue us and say, well, you're illegally using art. We'll say, well, we didn't, we didn't put the art on there. The art was provided by the customer. If you really oh. want to go try to sue some, you know, some one single guy who wanted to use some fan art or some Capcom art on his joystick. <laughs> <go ahead. laughs> Amazing. Dude, thanks so much, Doomer Ziggy. This video would not be whole without that, without this. And now it is, I feel. Now it is. That, that really made it. We had to have that context and we got it. Right there. That's it right there. Damn. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we only have one more video anyway. Let's get to it, though. We came this far. <laughs> oh, man. This was worth it for that. On here. East Coast Customs. Hori Real Arcade Pro. Remember those? When we were making custom joysticks? I have all those, those videos. Yeah, I have that Red Faction Gorilla. That's the it, original by the way. prototype playthrough. <laughs> God, that's amazing. All right, so that, that's it, by the way. It's, he's talking about what's in the hard drives. This this video is him talking about what's in the hard drives. And the East Coast videos are still on that hard drive. Uh, lastly, got to cover all our bases here. On the, the DSP gaming forums that are still up now, someone asked, whatever happened to ECC? No answer there from DSP at all. Um, so there we go. And one final thing, some of you might be wondering, and I saw someone mention it in the chat, but I didn't want to shout it out because, you know, this is the finale. You might be wondering what happened to all those sticks that, you know, some of the sticks that didn't go sold. We know still, Phil still has that DJ stick, right? But there might be some sticks that didn't get sold, I guess, because how did they give one to our old friend, the Air Raid Lord? So let's list the Air Raid Lord on the SOK, telling about when he got one of those sticks for free. Here we go. We were just chatting. I played some Killer Instinct on uh, his Xbox One. We played like an offline set of Street Fighter. We just kind of hung around and just mm -hmm. and after that. He actually, he gave me one of his custom arcade sticks. I have it in the corner over there. Like it has, but oh, wow. I think that was, it was back when he made them. Like he had his DSP logo on it and everything. Mm -hmm. Cause I play Street Fighter with a couple friends and I didn't have a fighting stick. So he's just like, here, I have like a million. So here you go. So, so that would be, so a total of five or six encounters. So it was. There we go. That is it. That's the mention of the uh, the sticks. So now, we don't know if that was one of the sticks that was part of East Coast Customs, of course. It could have been a random stick he had. We saw he had a lot of random sticks, but Phil did give him one of those sticks 
And there we go. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. What a fucking show it's been. Long as shit. Didn't expect that. Where does East Coast Customs go now on our precious, precious iceberg? The WPIG iceberg supersized today. Supersized this week. Twice it would double, double plunges in one week. Don't get used to this, but it was fun. East Coast Customs was a fun ride. And I'm so fucking glad we got to that point with that video. We can see the real thing. Uh, the, the kind of the closing. Uh, I believe, though, that the um, East Coast Customs is probably, probably, mm, everyone knows about it, but it's, I don't think it goes here yet, but I think right here. I, I think right here is, is good. Next to the medication, right? There's some deeper lore there. Uh, Doomer Ziggy says bottom. All right, what do you think? Where are we putting this? I guess I could do a poll. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to do a poll. It's too late. But it, what? a lot of people forgot that it's a scam. That is for sure. It is 100% confirmed scam. Absolutely. Um, uh, okay, Black Doom is saying bottom. Doomer Ziggy saying bottom. Okay, b uh, okay, let's just do a poll. One minute poll. Bottom or second from bottom? This is, we're doing this together in droves. Where do? Go. Bottom or second for bottom? Only two options. And all of those uh, commands, you can go in chat and get the link. They're also in, in this. Uh, yeah, I got to get titles for the levels. I agree. DJ realized. I don't have levels right now. In that paste bit is all the links to all the videos we've done. All those, everything you see we've covered in a video, in an episode here. So. Um, we'll see where the, with vote goes, but we got to get out of here finishing right on fucking time. Got to pick up the spawn, pick up the non declawed sons. But it looks like second from the bottom is winning, dominating 70, 30. We'll give it another minute. But it looks like it's going to stay right where it fucking is. And, uh, there we go. So that being said. It'll stay there. Poll now ended. That being said, it's starting in an hour. So I'm, gonna, I'm done to... Oh, so Rodrigo, Martina, that's the beauty of this. Look at this. If you do monkey spank, you will see... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There it is. So there you go. Rodrigo, monkey spank in chat. Click that link, and that'll give you the monkey spank story. All the stories are, are linked with hyperlinks. But I got to get out of here. I'll uh, put on... I'll, I'll end this stream and then start some music for you, just to lead you up in that being said, and then that being said, it'll start. So. You're all fucking legends. It was a lot of fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I never forget, East Coast Customs. Bye.
chose to broke the law, live with the consequences. 